Welcome to Let's Play Beavis and Butthead for the SNES. This is Ron Moore with some special guests. Beavis and Butthead. Uh, what? <coughs> yeah. Alright, so, I played this game years ago, but, eh, didn't do it for me that well, but, oh well, I'll try it again here, see what happens. This is gonna be cool. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, 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 that's me! What's going on here? Who cares about you? <laughs> Dumbass. Shut, shut up, butthead. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, this right here, it's still on play one player, but it looks like you're playing two players. Kind of like Sonic and Tails action here. Hey, uh, Beavis. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Looks like somebody's using a game genie. <laughs> cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. <laughs> Yep, I am using actually semi ECW mode. Yeah, ooh, guar. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's me. I'm saying that right now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> These two remind me of We Got and J Man. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> Sounds like a dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> Douchebags. <laughs> yeah, free, free, free commands. Like this game knows uh, my mind. <laughs> you're not going to be talking so much shit when we send Todd on your ass. Oh yeah, Todd. Ah! Todd is cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So here's stage one, higher, higher. Higher. high or high. Ah, school sucks. <laughs> oh, what well, Elvis is there? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's Todd. Watch out. Oh, butthead. What are you flickering constantly? Oh yeah, now you're in ECW mode. One hit, and you get invincible. That's right. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> a hard knocker. <laughs> right now, Beavis is invincible. Yeah, yeah. Not from me kicking his ass. <laughs> Shut up, butthead. <laughs> you fart knocker. <laughs> hey, where the chicks? <laughs> Beavis? <laughs> well, first you guys got your own movie, and then now you get your own video game. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> yeah, but uh, Beavis spent all the money on nachos. <laughs> yeah, for the nachos. <laughs> Actually, the game came out first before the movie. Never mind. Uh, well, I think it did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's <laughs> that's Butthead's locker, the pink one. <laughs> yep, yeah. Butthead. You fairy. <laughs> Was it skate or die? Skate, skater, die, 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 die. <laughs> oh. Why is Todd running from you guys? I guess he's scared of you. Uh, <laughs> yeah, beer the bang just... I'm, I'm just, I'm surprised there's not more fire. Yeah. Yeah, fire, fire, fire. <laughs> I can't say that because it'll cause kids to actually start fires and burn down their houses. It's like dumbasses. <laughs> Remember that guy, Stuart? Oh yeah. Do a little thing. Is he in this thing? Should game? go raid his house again. Whoa, there's Bear. Yep. Just ran him off. <laughs> bear, come out. No, nope. go away, diarrhea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> diarrhea, diarrhea. Cha cha cha. Diarrhea, cha cha cha. Hey, Beavis. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know that one time you got your ass kicked by a girl. <laughs> hey, shut up, button. <laughs> <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was. <laughs> I totally touched her boob. <laughs> oh, there's Bear again. No, you didn't. <laughs> yeah, I sure did, but then shut up. <laughs> you got your ass kicked. You didn't score. You guys are never gonna score. Shut up, Ronnie. <laughs> uh, but I, I already scored. <laughs> Not as much as Skip Rogers has. There was like this one time that we cut off our hair and then we glued it to our faces. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, but uh, you two are expelled. Uh. <clears throat> you got caught, butthead. <clears throat> Loser. <clears throat> that was you, dumbass. <laughs> no, that was you. <laughs> I thought running so that he wanted to have to get pressured by you guys to join his gang again. Uh oh, look out. Nah, run away. You suck, McVicker's dicker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Suck, suck, suck. Boy, oi, 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 oi. 
Uh, uh, shut up! McVicker is gay for Beavis. <laughs> yeah, wait, wait. No, shut up, butthead. <laughs> You're gay for Vicker. <laughs> Oh, this, sucks. this so far, this game is much better than Rocky Bullwinkle. Yeah, yeah. Why do you keep, you keep attacking Todd? Todd is cool. <laughs> Todd owes me nachos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm riding your butthead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go forth, go forth. <laughs> uh, I can't see. Alright, now this is remi remind me of Barbie with NES. Well, instead of those plastic beach balls coming out, you just basketballs now. <laughs> yeah, balls, balls. <laughs> fun, fun. Ow. Beavis likes balls. Shut up, Bunhead. Come on. <laughs> Try not fun here. What the heck is Todd using a giant wrench? Yeah, because he's a tool. <laughs> he's a tool. <laughs> win, win, win. That's gonna do. I'm gonna win. Uh um, like, we keep blinking, and, uh, uh, it, it sucks. Yeah, it sucks, it sucks, make it stop. <laughs> <laughs> You're invincible. Invincible con horio. We still need to score. <laughs> yeah, score hoop. <laughs> There's no score <laughs> system in this game, so you can't score. Uh... No. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Points, points, score, 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 points. <laughs> oh, in the back, on the wall says Beavis sucks. Ah, oh, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> I wrote that. <laughs> Dang it, buddy. <laughs> Better get ready, asswipe. I'm always ready. <laughs> ready for Conorio. Who's that douche? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I guess you can't kill him. Take it. Take it. Yeah. Oh no, shower. Uh, 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 enemy. Uh, showers. Uh. Hey, taking showers. <laughs> Yeah, say the music rocks. <laughs> Buzzco, what the you, heck? Where'd he go? You dropped the soap. <laughs> oh, this is punk music again. <laughs> this music rocks. <laughs> but hey, do you or do you not give a rat's ass about your companionship for Beavis? Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, shut up, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you love me, Beavis. Or butthead, damn it! <laughs> you dumbass! <laughs> Shut up, butthead! But hey, hit the showers! <laughs> Suck it! Ah! <laughs> oh, you got home. <laughs> you got what your ass kicked! I'm <laughs> gonna teach you about personal hygiene. <laughs> this sucks. Yeah, just uh, yeah. hurry up. Uh oh. I'm trying, I'm trying. Game's so slow. What's all the fast action? <laughs> yeah, action, action, score, score. <laughs> it's in my pants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boy, yo, 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 yo. Oh, just pwned buzz cut. <laughs> Take it. <laughs> Yeah, buzz off. Door, <laughs> door. There you go. Hey, can't go through doors, <laughs> idiot. <laughs> hey, this is a long level. <laughs> yeah, right. Beat butt head again. <laughs> but we going in circles here, or <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I never tried much at school. <laughs> oh, finally the boss battle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take it, take it. Uh, <laughs> Come on, buddy, do something. <laughs> yeah, buddy, just stand there. Uh, well. <laughs> yeah, kick his ass. <laughs> this 
This is worse than TV. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what's the music videos? <laughs> There you go. <laughs> There's blue. Yeah, button. we did it. Uh. Hey, where are you going, butthead? To your mom's yeah, house. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah password. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a password to my computer. <laughs> what a bear, dude. Couch fishing. Guess is the bonus stage. What is this? Come on, get it. Yeah, I'm trying to get the meat. Get the meat. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yum, yum, yum. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, looks like you're off the hook. Why yeah. wasn't there any nachos? Right? Yeah, where the nachos? <laughs> oh, Streets of Rage? Oh, no, Highland. <laughs> Highlander. <laughs> yeah, yeah, can only be one. <laughs> Drop that old hag. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, get out of here, hag. <laughs> <laughs> he all oh. died from a shopping cart. What the hell was that? Uh, uh, I thought we were supposed to be, like, invincible. That's after yeah, where's invincibility? After you lie. In each segment of the game. Mm, like no, right you now, lie. You gotta get hit first, then you're invincible. Um, You're a segment? Now is invincible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, look at that. Now I'm invincible, not you, butthead. <laughs> yeah, suck it. <laughs> But you still suck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, your mother. <laughs> no, dumbass. We're trying to go see your mother. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, what is go this? See my mom. Doctor Jekyll and Mister Hyde now for the SNES. You got birds pooping on you. <laughs> yeah, where's my cane? Uh, <laughs> we're not even stupid enough to play that game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dr. Be Beavis and Mr. Butthole. <laughs> butthead. Because <laughs> that's who you are. You're Butthole. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're supposed to be... We're supposed to be trying to go to the Guar concert. Yeah, yeah Guar. <clears throat> yeah, stick out my tongue. <laughs> oh, I want the tongue action more. Do that again. <laughs> Where's that guy's house that we live next to, and he wanted us to, like, mow his lawn, but we destroyed, his, <laughs> we destroyed his house and property. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, that was fun. Uh, Hank, Hank Hill? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Where's Hank? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think his name was Anderson or something. All uh, right, you guys can't ride the fence here. Come on. Oh no! <laughs> hey, you got boxes on your head. <laughs> Watch out, guys! For you get clotheslined. <laughs> yeah, close up, close. <laughs> Funny joke. <laughs> He's got pwned by poodle. <laughs> no, that was butthead. <laughs> Are we supposed to work today? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we gotta get to Burger World. Burgers, burgers, nachos. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nacho world. Nacho mama. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why don't you want to talk about it? Because I'm not your friend anymore. We gotta make some French flies yeah. and rat burgers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yum, yum, yum. Night crawlers. <laughs> Damn it. Yes, da, 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 da. Night crawler. Da, da. <laughs> yeah, yeah, more rocking tunes. Yeah, yeah, I like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cool. See, even me agrees with me. <laughs> Suck it, butthead. <laughs> you can only agree with yourself. <laughs> yeah. I bet you agree with yourself all the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Never wrong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shut up, butthead. <laughs> manholes. Uh, the soda. <laughs> yeah, manhole, manhole. <laughs> ah, ah. 
<laughs> I said hole. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that looked like the Simpsons house. <laughs> <laughs> ah! You fell in the hole. <laughs> Shut up, buddy. <laughs> hole. Like Courtney Love. You fell in the hole again. It's gonna be so funny if you were doing it. <laughs> uh, remember that game, E.T.? <laughs> <laughs> the extra testicle? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Extra. That's a good one. He just has cancer. Shut up. Shut up. Alright, fuck it. That shit was funny. <laughs> Where'd my head go? <laughs> <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> oh, there you are. <laughs> hey, he's in cooler now already. <laughs> uh, I'm like the real butthead and stuff. <laughs> no, you're not, dumbass. You oh, ass wired. Butt munch? This is funny. <laughs> Beavis wins. <laughs> yeah. Beavis wanna kick your ass. Ah, uh, crows! No, get out of here. Get ready, dude. Uh, uh, <laughs> dude. <laughs> dude. Um, this looks like the same thing that we just did before. Yeah, yeah, I like it. It's really I almost had a, I almost had a thought there. <laughs> that would be funny. Whoa, there's two beavises. Man. Hey, what are you doing here? I'm the only real beavis. <laughs> no, wait, butthead. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, shut up, butthead. <laughs> A tool. Yeah, that's funny. Oh, Mr. Anderson. Oh, wow. Get out of here, Mr. Anderson. Look, he's using his tool. Yeah. That's funny. I thought I told you boys to clean up my yard. Hey, you ain't boys to spray paint my cat's butt, are you? No. You know, I went down to the Home Depot. I was gonna go pick out some. Spanish tile. Yeah. Yeah. And you I filled my pool with concrete. I was looking for him for 20 daggum minutes. Could you like shut up? Uh, uh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, shut up. <laughs> yeah. Take these apples. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it, be with hurry up. Uh, yeah. uh, Join the harness. You hurry up. Could you like give us nachos? Yeah, we're the nachos. <laughs> like, <laughs> now? Come on, buddy, do something, or stand there. Yeah. Get it, I'm the winner. <laughs> you suck, Yes. The bullshit. <laughs> uh, Beavis? Oh, yeah. Beavis? Get off me. Yeah, yeah, cool. yeah. That was fun. <laughs> we'll see you guys in, like, part two and stuff. So, uh, God bless and take care or something. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> um, Beavis? <laughs> yeah? You're not going to eat a bunch of candy and drink a bunch of root beer and go crazy, are you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Welcome to part two of Let's Play Beavis and Butthead. This is Ramor, along with Weavis. Hey, that's me, Weavis. Yeah, what are you talking about? <laughs> and I'm a butt mower, I guess. No. I guess so, but I heard I, I was told that Beavis was in the last part. Too bad I didn't meet him. Yeah, you yeah, already. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Couch fishing. Yeah. Couch fishing. Oh, off the old hag. So interesting. She looks so much like my old algebra teacher in high school. Jeez. What was her name? Miss Crabtree? Uh, it's actually Miss DeBose, and some people call her Miss Debo because she was so mean. Velvet Debo? No. Oh. Highland Hospital. It's the next level. We're there, dude. Yeah, we're there, dude. Let's go. Yeah. A little Goldeneye elevator music? Mmm, soothing. 
Yeah. I mean, it's a hospital. You can't have the rockin' tunes in a hospital. Yeah, yeah. Well, not yet, at least. What's that dork doing? <laughs> I've got a hammer! Yeah. Thinks he's Mario. Thinks he's MC Hammer. Alright. There's no time for that. <laughs> to quote a famous black person, ain't nobody got time for that. Yeah. Oh, oh, dang it. Well, the pizza disappeared. What the heck? Oh, I hate it. That's why it disappeared. <laughs> okay. If you ever question why the pizza disappeared, just look at me. You know what happened. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> this is a crappy hospital. It got holes all over the walls. and what the, Well, not holes, but dents, whatever. This, this whole town that this fictional place takes place in doesn't seem too good in any regard. Yeah, really. There's that door well, I mean, again. Oh, I forget. Does this does be somebody to take place in a fictional town somewhere, or is it like an actual like place? I read in Wikipedia. Of course, I know you can't believe everything you see on Wikipedia, but uh, I think it says it's supposed to be somewhere in Texas. <laughs> Highland, <laughs> Texas. Well, I mean, yeah. that's that can, it's kind of a given, but... Well, yeah, because a lot of people in this series does have do have southern accents and include mr anderson so yeah that would make sense all right it's a good thing we're in the hospital because i think we're about to get hurt in the elevator going down <laughs> it said going down <laughs> <laughs> actually no oh. i think it went up but okay, right here uh <laughs> well this is dangerous yeah yeah, this is a to on rail segment basically, so you gotta get that rockin' music going. Ow. Well, I hope you just go ahead and have Obamacare. <laughs> if they get on the website. Yeah. Oh, wait, this game is 1994. There's yeah. no internet. Have Clinton care. Unless. Which is funny, when they brought it back, like, the revival, like, was it. Did it still take place in the 90s, or is it, like, still updated, kind of? Yeah, I forgot. So, well, both. Like, are there computers and cell phones? <laughs> um. In the new episodes, I forgot, but I mean, it's, you know, it's a cartoon, you don't have to really, uh, it can be upgraded, but at the same time, everybody's going to be the same age. Yeah, everyone's the same age, and the, everything looks the same, it's like, it's funny, interesting. Yeah. That's why, you know, Bart Simpson's still in the fourth grade, 20-something years later. Oh yeah, that's true. I guess, not much to question with that logic. Yeah. So you're shooting water, and you gotta watch out for the buckets, and cool. Of course, again, semi-ECW mode. Hey, yeah, with flashing Beavis and Butthead. Yeah. Which isn't an unappealing thought, actually. Flashing Beavis and Butthead. <laughs> Whoa. Like, hey, yeah, yeah, look at our junk. <laughs> You're flashing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Flash man, Big man too. Man. Man. Yeah, get out of here quick, quick, man. Yeah. Watch out, you don't want to crash, man. Yeah, oh, jeez. Ah, I, I, idiot. <laughs> I see a pattern with this game. You have like your standard like section with like the first part of like the levels, then you have the on rail segment, and then you have the jumping on platforms segment. Yeah. So this and then is the side scroller, side scroller slash platformer. What the heck? Oh, so it's not it's not like uh, the streets of Holland where you can get attacked by dogs and then jump back up there. This is a one hit kill right here. This is serious business. Yeah. What does it say? Operate? Oh, I thought it said overheating theater, and I was like, oh, operating theater. <laughs> you can't moving read. So, you're moving so quick, I can't see it. Ah. I love these tunes, though. Yeah. I have the soundtrack on my iPod. It's pretty damn good. We guys, SNES 16-bit stereo, coming soon. I wish. One day. I wish I could do something different with Super Nintendo music. Uh, it's so good. Like, of course, as per usual, I mean, most people don't think this game is that good, so it's like, what's the best part about it? Oh, the music. I mean, yeah. go figure. Yeah. Whoa, look out. You look a little pale, Beavis. <laughs> you looked a little pale? Oh, I get it. <laughs> uh, or I thought you meant pale. I think you meant pale, right? Yeah, yeah. Not pale. Said, Never mind. I thought you said pill. No, well, maybe I did I say it right. <laughs> You, you got the, it wrong. You're on the pill. <laughs> it, it's yeah. Funky Kong all over again. That don't work, but it man. Yeah. I got plenty of O2 around. Or oxygen. <laughs> Aging Dr. Butthead. Uh, Aging Mr. Herman. 
Whoa, Whoa sli slip and slide. Okay, I'll let that slide. <laughs> Gosh darn it. <laughs> You're not getting a... Uh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna catch... If, uh, I'm gonna catch you slipping. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, don't slip up. Yeah, I was trying to think of a pun, man. Puns are hard to think of. I've got a pun in the oven. <laughs> Hot, fresh, ready for... Oh, some elevator for... action. Oh, what, a t what a terrible game. At least on the NES, I think. I Arcade know. version, fine, it's fine. I've never played that. I mean, arcade, it's, you know, whatever, it's OG, so, go original. Again. One thing I like about this game, it really, it's kind of repetitive for these levels, we did, doing this again. I mean, it's a little different, because now Toss coming after us, but, I don't know, some of these levels seem a little too long. I guess. Okay. That reminds me. Oh, go ahead. Actually, nah, I was going to say, it reminds me of Toy Story, because there's, a, like, an on-rail segment. It just reminds me of that. You should probably play that game. Yeah. That one part right, right here, where you go through the x-ray, reminds me of, uh, Total Recall. Oh, yeah. What do you think it's better? Oh, this one is... <laughs> this game is much better than that. Total Recall is total bull. <laughs> they should have totally recalled it. Yeah, really. <laughs> I don't want to recall playing that game. I, I don't recall it. I totally don't recall it. Yeah. <laughs> it's making fart sounds. <laughs> uh. Whoa! It's Todd! Yeah, I know! I know! How's it going? Ow! Ow, watch it! Oh my god, it's like Beavis and Butthead are really in the, in, the, in the room right now. Yeah. Oh, here we go. This Who's the boss? The boss? Who's the boss? Not Tony Danza. Whoa! <laughs> what the? I oh my goodness. It's Nurse Butt. Yeah, no kidding. She's really making an ass out of herself. Man, it sounds like she's making like a T-Rex noise or she, something. She was she, she trying to twerk? No. Dude, she twerked before it was cool. Ugh. She's got the diamond blue eyes though. Jeez. It's haunting. Ugh. You did That's it! Cool. Oh, but it's flashy. Da -da -da. Oh god. Jeez, Beavis. <laughs> it really looks like he's on meth or something. Nope, they both look like they're on something. Yeah. yeah. Alright, so that is the end of part two. Or level three, the hospital. We'll see you guys in part three. So until then, God bless. Take care. Ooh, can't wait. Welcome to part three of Let's Play Beavis and Butthead. This is Ron Moore along with the J-Man, the Wee Guy, Where's and the Purple. There, Couch fishing. I'm there, dude. This is cool. <laughs> I don't know. Suck. They could have done something better with this minigame, I think. Or something oh. different. What's well, a cool concept? I mean, you know, Couch Fishing from the episode Couch Fishing and... This is a Great idea for a bonus level for this stage. I guess it fits uh, in the context of the game. I can't catch the grandma. I don't know. That's part of the obstacle of the bonus stage. All right, Tur Street Fighter 2 Turbo Mall 2000. Oh, there, dude. oh sweet. Tur turbo time. Yeah. Turbo from uh, American Gladiators. Hopefully, not taking chances. Whoa. Nope. You should have hooked the old yeah. lady. Look, she just beat the shit out of you. I know, right? <laughs> Lady. Oh look, that was the uh, that's the um, police. What do you look like? Damn it! Hey, if you go in here and get a rat, you can get a pet rat. No, oh, there's Pete the dog. No, Pete. No. Where's Snowflake? Uh, the snake ate him. Uh, I think maybe kind of. No, it looks like a hamster. You can't hit the snake. That sucks. <laughs> Dude, that's, that's violation, man. Yeah. That's the, right. Yeah, Stuart, you dork. That's <laughs> Stuart. Oh, he's little. Stuart little. Yeah. 
little underwater now. Sweet, I'll <laughs> see you under the sea. What is this green dog now for SNES? <laughs> you so, see green dog? Uh, you know, ah, force reference. Oh yeah, I get it. Oh. I'll just run through this because I'm yeah. invincible right here anyway. Might as well just run through all this garbage. Yeah, I, was, I was just uh, wondering why where the uh, danger was. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the danger for Rhino. Whoa. The only danger is being bored. Yeah. The only danger is commentating on this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Quite deadly. We're gonna pick it up. Oh, I already got one. How stupid are you? Snake! So I'm guessing uh, this is a two player game and both players can have a. Yeah. Whoa! Look at that glitch! <laughs> Whoa, look at such a glitch. Whoa, oh, what? that is a glitch. <laughs> Play ball. Yeah. That was pretty interesting. More yeah. glitches, please. Yeah. Part of a healthy breakfast. <laughs> I don't get why they attacked the woman. They should have been like, dude. dude. Yeah, yeah, really, because that woman was on, on their side in the episode where they helped her rob that store. <laughs> Oh yeah. She's oh no, the groceries. I think she has a coffee in her hand too. Hey, was that was that Japanese foreign exchange student that was with the beast player in the mall? He could have been in this level like spitting loogies to help you out. <laughs> well, that would have been considered racist. Never been like the 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 super attack. Remember the episode foreign exchange student? <laughs> Uh, anyway, no, I don't, but, uh, he, he spit I the don't. he spit the giant loogie. He spit the giant loogie from the top of the balcony. If that was cool, ha, 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 ha. Um, I remember the great cornhole. Yeah. <laughs> Who's that? I don't know. I know that's not familiar. What the heck? This is kill the ants or spiders, whatever the heck they are. Those are too big to be ants. Okay, apparently there's another glitch going on here. I guess only Butthead or whoever's flickering or not flickering can hit him. Uh, you suck. Okay, now attack Beavis. Now they can get hit. Oh, yeah, can't you uh, select which player you're going to be? Yeah, yeah. Can. I like Dr. Kong Country. Yeah. Yeah, because this game's exactly like it. Yeah, it's like Sonic and Tails and Donkey Kong Country. Uh, the Swizzy Players thing. Really? Yeah. I thought these are two monkeys we're playing as. Yeah. Uh, you're a monkey. Oh, you're about to get spanked. What? Oh. God dang it. Don't make that reference. <laughs> what are you, chicken? Are you choking? Um, I like soft hey, sensual kisses. <laughs> are you a virgin? Dang it. This part, this part of the level is real tedious. More like... More like, um... Uh, or like the game knows you're cheating and they're like, ah ha ha. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Alright, elevator yeah. action. Why are they going up? Yeah. Because it's a. It's a. No, yeah. In the middle of. <laughs> the only thing going up is the. Not the view count. Wait. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. not the subscribers. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, what the heck? How'd that look? Well, it can't really go down either. You can't lose subscribers you don't have. <laughs> yeah, really. You just can't gain what wasn't there. Yeah. Dude, there's a lot of Guar concert posters on the wall. Oh, Dude, yeah, it's all about It's the point of the game. It's to get the Guar tickets on. Oh, green cop. I'm gonna go in the bank. There's a green cop? Oh, yeah, that's probably the mall cop. All blart? Mall cop. Uh, like uh, Tom Green kind of. Yeah. Or like freaking uh, the mall cop from Observer Report. They're like on, they're on their way to Goats and Cows. Whose name is Ronnie, by the way. Huh? <laughs> oh yeah, that's what that guy looked like, the cop. I was trying to yeah. figure, think of a name, and I was like, yeah, it's uh, like Tom Green. Yep. Man, he hasn't been relevant in years. 
Um, you were saying his face. Next player, we just seen him in a movie. Uh, Freddy got what? finger too. Nope, throw hard boys. Well, I mean, it's all right. Uh, uh, anyway, uh, this is a uh, Pearson Blade for the SNES, not Tom Green for the SNES. Uh, not, not. What do you mean, you wee guy? Cool, butt fighter. Oh, uh, dude, I love Bud Fighter. Space Droid. <laughs> streets? Oh, I like Streets. Where the hell is Seinfeld for the SNES? Right? That's what I'm waiting on. Oh, Kickstarter. Awesome. Get a Kickstarter going. Uh, well, I, I donate all my money to the Skip Rogers Kickstarter, so I can't donate to anything else. Right? Oh, you did it to the Chris Hansen Kickstarter. I already, oh, yeah. donate, I already donated to the Chris Hansen one, so... Yeah. <laughs> Imagine Chris Hansen confronting Peterson Butthead. Why don't you have a seat? Oh, wait, you guys are miners. Well, never mind. Yeah, but they've been... See, he would he would expose them. You see, we had your chat logs from 1994. Yeah, oh my you god. You 15 years old. You say here, I'm a butt munch. What does that mean? Uh, I'm going... It says here, uh, you are Cornholio, you need TV for your blank. We seen you go to that trailer park when there was a tornado. Yeah. And those girls were underage. Or would it be, or, <laughs> how about the case where they're underage, like, the people's mud well, I mean, they are, yeah, but, you know. <laughs> They're going after the chicks that are older, so the chicks get in trouble. Yeah. Twisting the, the twisting the around. Get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know it's. Remember that virgin question you asked me earlier? <laughs> oh, what? Are you a virgin? I got to. I want to blank your blank. Ask yourself. <laughs> yeah. Learn about women. <laughs> and again on the pogos. Get up before you go go. That's an odd enemy to have in this stage. Let's okay for the mall stage. Let's have spiders at the enemies. What? Yeah, you know, spiders common uh, mall enemy. Yeah. Haven't you played um, the game where, you know, there's the spiders in the game? No. You suck. Spider-Man, yeah. Let's find Spider-Man in the mall. It would be better if you could just grab them and smash the spiders with the stilts or whatever the fuck this is. Oh, ghosts. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Stilts. Yeah. I can't remember the last time I pogo on a still. That Actually, was, uh, this would work out better if you were on still. So yeah. That. Like the shot guys from Yoshi's Island? Oh, stilts, yeah. I was thinking of uh, what you use when you're like, your legs, like, you know, like, broken or whatever. You can use Wheelchair? those. No, like the uh, things you put under your uh, armpits. Crutches. You, yeah, crutches. crutches. I was thinking of those. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Did you say crosses? Crutches. Crutches. Oh, that's, that's the Lord's uh, crutch. That's when you don't have them no more. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, you just break it. You're going to cut your leg off. Well, hey, we're... Well, here's what we're going to do. Hey. Dario's in the commentary. Uh, uh, Diary? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, Diarrhea. Yeah. Oh, you finally got past that part. I think it's boss time. Oh, Sweet. I'm so open. <laughs> finally. Oh, it's that fat guy. Oh, JBL. Like... Oh, JBL really let himself go. Oh, J-Man. Oh, JBL. Yeah, J-Man let himself go, man. <laughs> what tarnation? I want to kill you, boy. Hey, it's just like J-Man. He always has a wiener in his hand. Wait. <laughs> I didn't mean to say it like that. I meant. Uh, Wait. 
Oh, I think you got a little confused. You're always thinking about you having my wiener in your hand. No, no. That's oh, yours. Oh, okay. No, sausages. Not the sausage. Oh, okay. Now change your story. I was changing nothing. I'm clearing it up. I have the chat box. <laughs> no, no, no. Don't release them. The guy with the summer sausage in his hand. And that is the end. Part three. Of Let's play Beavis and Butthead for SNES. We'll see you in the final part. Where we go to the Gore concert. Welcome to you. Let's play Discuss of Beavis and Butthead for the SNES. This is Ron Moore. With once again with Wee Guy, the J Man, and the Purple. Hey, yay! You know, couch fishing again? That's a bonus stage every time, yeah. At least go couch, like, yeah. surfing. Yeah. Couch yeah. surfing. How about oh, yeah. Couch, couch, shut up. Let's, well, at least hook the old lady. Yeah. You can't, because that's the obstacle that we're yeah. in the bonus right. game. Just yeah, man, I know, yeah. yeah, man, I know you like grandmas and all, but I mean, come on. I'm, you know, I like mature women, but. Yeah, you like gilfs. Why don't you have a seat right there? <laughs> go play with a cat or something. Yeah, yeah go play. <laughs> cat uh, scratch fever! Da -da -da -da. I take it you're a bird. <laughs> the heck, I, I, one stage is over. I right? like your guys' thought processes about all these weird, wicked things that you're, <laughs> that you're creating here. Well, We're I'm about to process mm. this commentary right here. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Makes me a bit worried here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't be worried. Be glad. Yeah. We got ECW mode. Not to. Not to worry. It's all this crap dropping on me. It's from the blimp. Uh, oh yeah. The blimp's way back there. Oh. Oh wait. <gasps> the Zeppelin's crashing. Oh, it's, the <laughs> it's, it's. It's the Hindenburg. Yeah. It's was the, the Hindenburg. Blimp? I thought the blimp was in the background, but it's actually a small tiny blimp above you. What? No, it's just perspective. Oh, it's it, like it looks guards. like it, it looks smaller when it's all the way up there, but it's actually much bigger than you think. Yeah. Answer J Man's comment <laughs> now. That's what we guys said. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, was, I was waiting. I, purpose, I purposely set that up so J Man would take a stab at it. Yeah. I, I, I lured him in like Chris Hansen. You want to? <laughs> you want to stab my what? I want to blank your blank. <laughs> I bet you do. <laughs> So I hear you want to go to the Guar concert. Much have to see. <laughs> what was your plan here today? Hey, what does Guar stand for? Guys wearing gay we guy. Press. <laughs> <laughs> no. Gay we guy anal reverse. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Verse anal. That's different. I take it you're a virgin. Oh, dude, look at that crowd. They're so energetic. I know, right? <laughs> That's not a ECW crowd. Wait, what? The, wait, there's the crowd, and then, like, what, the crowd's facing the crowd? Oh, I guess, yeah, perspective. It's like, like kind of Bill and Ted's. That's a, that's a TNA a crowd. Yeah. That's a tits and ass crowd? No, TNA wrestling. Get your mind out the gutter, we got. All you think about is, uh, cows. No, they are <laughs> up like that because they want tramp stamps. <laughs> <laughs> Like Lady and the Tramp. Lady and the Tramp step. Dang it, I was gonna say that. Oh, look who got there first. Oh, oh shut up. <laughs> that could be a good thing or a bad thing. Yeah. <laughs> well, in, 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 in context of the commentary, it's a very good thing. Oh, poem that's okay, There's really not much to say about the game itself. Honestly. Yeah, really. No, Soundtrack's awesome. Let's talk about that for the rest of the video. So I like uh, it when it goes down and down and down. Probably a different, right. different track in the game, I believe, right here. Yeah. This is this last area of the game? Yep. Even the track's called So Close I Can Taste It, and it's fitting. Whoa. Oh, dude, is that a. What the heck? Why don't you have a seat? <laughs> so I hear it's you, like. So I hear you went out with some 14 year old boys. It's a brony. Oh wait, my bad, we got Jabroni. Yeah. If you smell what the Ron is cooking, 
And it's pizza. It's probably burning. Whoa! Yeah, probably. Whoa! That looks like Bigfoot. Alright, here's the final boss battle right here. Get ready. Just kidding, that's the end of the game. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. The, the final battle is to get Divas to stop blinking. Yeah. <laughs> As the predator dances on stage, or oh, there he is, back in the background. <laughs> That's the end of the game right there. But they finally made it to the Guar concert. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. They actually look kind of upset. <laughs> now they're just jamming out. <laughs> yeah, kick my butt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that's the end of Let's Play Beers and Butthead for the SNES. So here's the less discussed portion. And as I said, part one, I played this game years ago. So this is kind of like a, more like a long time no play. I think I played the Genesis version too, I don't remember. But I know I played this one for sure. And I mean, I was a big fan of Beast Butthead back then. And so, you know, when I heard about this game, I said, well, I got to check it out. But eh, it, I just didn't really like the game that much. It's, I guess it wasn't what I expected, but it's still, uh, it, it's still a good game in terms of, you know, they... Uh, you know, I had to make video games out of movies, and they don't really uh, pertain to it or do a bad job. Where I hear they really stuck with the characters and, and you know, and how the cartoon is. And so, and, you know, the voice acting, of course, Mike Judge, I, I assume, did the voices on here. I don't know, but uh, it, but before it is, though, it's not bad. I mean, it's well done. It's definitely uh, like it's supposed to be, Beavis and Butthead. But just the gameplay itself, just didn't really care for it that much, so. This game didn't do it for me that well, um, so I'm, I'm about to give it a 5 out of 10. We got? Yeah. Well, I've actually never seen the full game before. Um, I mean, I've always remember seeing like the first like few levels, and yeah, as you said, like for what the game is like in the context of like the world and just give us a butt hit, it's it's, a, it's it does well in that in its source material. Yeah, the gameplay didn't look like too in in enthralling i'm pretty sure uh with you know two players co-op it's actually like a decent game to like get through but instead one player it looks like a nightmare but yeah i'm sure i could do it and if i wanted to play through this game but um yeah everything to like yeah like the graphics like cartoony kind of like the like the show and uh you know, they stick with the sorts of material well even if it suffers with the gameplay but of course the best part would be its soundtrack here from uh Eric Swanson and Greg Turner, good job on those guys to just just replicating a really nice like rockin' soundtrack for the uh, for the game. Not even like using like the real like you know like some games like they actually sound like a guitar in like I guess like a uh, Arcade's Revenge like you know with the, like that guitar. But here it's like I don't know there's something more I guess sort of metal about it. Like they're able to capture like I guess almost the essence of Guar, even though I think they're much heavier in sound, but. Either way, the soundtrack is just really great. I definitely recommend checking that out if people don't want to play the game. So yeah, I'd probably uh, I'd probably give it the same. It, it's pretty much an average game, a five out of ten. Yeah, soundtrack's not that bad in this game. Um, all right, J Man. Uh, played the game back in the late nineties when I first heard of emulators. Uh, the game sucks. Music's pretty cool. My rating is check out Virtual Insanity. That's a great somebody head game. Nice. All right, Daria. <laughs> Not funny. <laughs> I'm not funny. Diary. I've played a very short portion of this game before on emulator, and I started video games, but it was pretty okay. And um, my rating is: we guy needs to put like forty bucks in the like jar. What? Hmm. This one over my head. Yeah, what? He said like like a hundred times. Like, uh, like, uh, come on. I'm not a blonde girl or anything. Well, it's like the end of this commentary and this LP, so that's it. We're out of here. Ron Moore? All right, we guy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this LP. Uh, that, <laughs> uh, should I put it in? You talk much, man. Uh, yeah, I'm um, like, I uh, like, uh, take care and God bless. Uh, yeah, me, <laughs> me, <laughs> yeah. Wait, there's one more. Hello, how are you doing? Can I tease and please your blank with my tongue? <laughs> Maybe we should hook 
We can hear it. Welcome to Let's Play Rambo for the NES. <sighs> this is Ron Moore, and I'm with the Wii Guy and the J-Man. It's over! 9,000! No, nothing is over. <laughs> oh, yeah. Man, the way you said it, I didn't get the reference. It's over! Man, it's not right. just... Oh, come on! That's it. It's, it's over! Jeez. <laughs> oh, my God, here start! Finally. <laughs> And Jamie oh, no, was this waiting. Is a cool, cool soundtrack. Oh, no, you didn't hit start. Yeah, it takes a while for it to load. Yeah, don't you know this is the days we had to lo wait for loading? <laughs> yeah. Wait, Rambo's Indian and German? Yeah. That's new for me. <laughs> yeah. I thought he was like full American. Nope. <laughs> All right, a mission from God. So I did this game five years ago in the low-budget reviews. Yeah, t yeah, way too late to start an LP now, eh? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Ronnie already did it. Yeah, yeah, this has never been done before. Yeah. It hasn't, actually. Not in the SC2K. That's right. You haven't been done the before. S2K, the S2K is losing its Rambo virginity. Aw, uh, happy... How old is it? I take it you're a virgin. Some of us. I feel better in prison. <laughs> of course, you can't start the game if you pick that. And as you can tell by looking at the top of the screen, I am in ECW mode. I thought we were in Zelda 2. Oh, yeah, that's right. You are in 80s hot pants. No, that no, this isn't Predator. Yeah. Uh, hey, I'm Erickson. I'm a douchebag. I'm glad to work with you. Oh, dude, Rick Erickson? Neat. Rambo, forget about your absurd hand-to-hand -hand fighting. Military technology will work best. Go to the hangar. What's it, stage seven of Contra? I'm at hangar eighteen. Yeah. Hang ten, good buddy. What the heck? Ah, oh, it's going in circles. Come on, man. Well, I go go down. Oh, we gotta hit up, even though the arrow is pointing down. Okay. Yeah, come on. It's it's oh, it's easy to go down. It's all right. Now here's a douchebag. Big lips. <laughs> uh, the big lip douchebag. It's bag. easy to go down. Big lips. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what if you called him an asshole and you were like, "It's easy to go down, asshole," or whatever? Uh, I think I'm trying to correlate two things together too much. <laughs> I... Oh. Correlate? More like orrelate. <laughs> I'm sorry, there's too much Chris Hansen oh, talk going man. on. I mean, what do you do when you're waiting for Rambo to just go to <laughs> point A to point B? Right. Can I edit this video, please? <laughs> <laughs> well, you didn't say Arnold Schwarzenegger yet, though. Uh, well, I said Arnold Schwarzenegger on accident one time. <laughs> Oh great! Actually, just put this. Actually, it'd be funny. Just put like a little bleep there. Actually, boom, boom, boom. people know. Boom, boom. Or you can just edit the whole thing out. Actually, you know what? Just just play the soundtrack. Actually, just no commentary. Let's just just be a soundtrack <laughs> yeah. with gameplay. Sound bites. What about yeah. every time that we guy talks? There's bleeps. <laughs> yeah. How about every time you show up online? There's bleeps. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alright, finally, Rambo, I'm gonna get into action here. I have to play Ninja Gaiden? What? Woo! And I love this track right here. Even though the music in this game does not fit Rambo, it is pretty catchy. Who cares? It's a bit. I know, who really cares, but still, it's like... Not, I'm gonna start to talking about the, the soundtrack and Nightmare on Elm Street don't fit the game, but it was still cool. I think, I think that fits more than most other... Most well, any games, like, with the source material. Yeah. It's all dark and brooding, and it's just, like, moody. Fits well. Whoa. Alright, infinite ammo here. Um, where do you get the super jump and the, uh, like, the extra potions and stuff? Uh, I don't know. I just got ECW mode, and I got everything I need to do that. Uh, 
you go down the, to the old man. I, I think you'll like yeah. you enemies or something, yeah, and then you can get uh, arrows, get experience points and all that. And then you, you find the guy that says, I am error. Yeah, or Bagu. Yeah. Error, right, Bagu. This, this. Oh, I just blew up that hornet oh. one day. Oh, my video for it, so I don't know what's going on. Actually, I'm just kidding. I, I just want to lie. <laughs> As I usually do, online. So anyway, uh, when you use a machine gun, I, what, it's not what are you concert. doing on yours? Uh, nothing. Hey, why are you more red? Oh yeah, you're Indian. <laughs> Sergeant Slaughter. Oh, no, that's five. racist. Yeah, says the one who said the the comment the watches, before. The watches in Redskins are gonna be pissed. <laughs> yeah, every, this this commentary is just a whole bleep. Too much rate. Too so, much. Too much. The machine gun right here. I mean, when, I, when I used it, it's not like in Contra, you just hold down the B button and it rapidly shoots. You gotta keep tapping the button. That's not a machine gun! Just get a Come turbo controller. How about you get a turbo shut up? <laughs> that, that's kinda intuitive. You can't <laughs> intuitive. If I was turboing my shut up, I'd just be a constant, like, you know, rip rip. Dun, dun, dun. This game it's... really sucks! But the music is quite nice. It's all good. Uh, EC Double U. Yeah, it's a good old packing video sound. Great. Uh, this game does. I've I seen ABG and Spunkies review this game years ago, and yeah, they're right. It's, it's a big maze here. Pretty much a Zelda 2 clone, yeah. I hate maze games. My least favorite. Not really, but I just hate when I I like knowing I like just linear progression, you know. I don't like this open-ended BS. Yeah, that's right. I said it. Skyrim can go suck one. All that open open-ended BS. Wait, I don't know why I'm correlating. So I think I'm playing Karate Kid here instead. Well, it was the same developer. Well, oh okay. No, it wasn't. I lied. <laughs> oh, well, no, okay. <laughs> Got so you, Karate Kid meets Rambo is what this real game is. is uh, Ram Kid. Wait. Whoa. Well, it's actually uh, not that different. Common's carry is uh, SGK meets failed troll. Yeah, really? Shut up. We're trying to get Red Super 8. We've been trying for like three years now. <laughs> yeah. I don't think you have to like try. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I don't really because we just need you and then we're going to get Red Super 8. Quite easy. Bring along the J-Man. <laughs> Uh, I'm that would be awesome, and, and and if I pull it off, well then, uh, hell yeah. Uh, don't pull it off. I don't know how you're gonna get it back on. <laughs> uh, Whoa. What? Uh, we're done with Beavis and Buddy. You don't have to go uh yeah. anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Th these S2K videos remind me of those videos that do news items, but they have gameplay footage in the background, and it has nothing to do with the actual gameplay. <laughs> I should just yes. do that. Yeah, why not? Uh, so. The, them Redskins, eh? We just do a God sky call. We just do a sky call from now on, and then have footage in the background because we don't talk about the game anyway. So basically, this is like a, a review tech USA. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, wait, was that a poem? I guess. Just that was another black person. Oh, it's fact, a woman. Yeah. Uh, there's Ko, she's white. Uh, that's a woman, we guy. That's a no person. You're making a someday. Hey, I need no purples in this game. Well, okay, maybe not. Shut up, J-Man. <laughs> Rambo's I face. What did AVGN say? That's like a hairless gorilla or something? I don't know. It just reminds me of you anytime I see that picture. You had that profile picture of that. Oh, yeah, that's stuff. right. With the open stole mouth, that, he's like, actually uh, stole that from, stole that idea from Kevin. He had it first. Well, uh, no one cares. Oh shit! Kevin did it first. Well, I mean, but Kevin, I mean, Kevin's Kevin already an did it. <laughs> Kevin's an astronaut. <laughs> All right, so he now gotta, like now Co is supposed to be with me, but she's not. Well, she is. You can't see her. And now we're gonna go back to that dock. We're gonna go back to the yeah. boat. Yeah, come on, man. Progression, progression, progression. Uh, uh, progression. Objection. Exactly. WWF progression CD. Oh, I'll just go back to wrestling. What is yeah, the boat? 
Yeah, you always go back to wrestling, I go back to Chris Hansen, and J-Man goes back to whatever the hell uh, he is. You always go back to music, the video game music. Yeah, that yeah, is true. But true. Is, Chris Hansen's just topical lately, for us. Check out his Kickstarter. Yeah. To the three wait. viewers. Yeah, we got the Kickstarter. Oh, wait. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm actually gonna actually, you know, do... Um, I don't know. <laughs> Are you gonna pledge? Allegiance to the flag. Of the United well, States of BCW. To no, to uh, Vietnam. Because that's where we are. Oh. I'll, Get okay. on, hurry. I actually got it looks like Mario in this sprite. On the screen yeah. here. Not the... <laughs> Rainbow, Rainbow Co. Rainbow Rainbow like a, a failed Sergeant Slaughter. Yeah, really. Okay, well he don't want to talk. I guess I'll talk to her. I'd rather do that anyway. I don't like men. Don't talk to men. What does this pin to mean? Ooh. Hey, wish me good luck! Good Not to know! Me. Keep this pendant! Please take it! Wait a minute, she don't give it to him. She dies first. Spoiler! And then, <laughs> in the movie... Then oh, damn it. it! Yeah, but we're gonna get flat for spoiling first blood too. <laughs> yeah, this, this video is just a whole bunch of controversy. Hey, I waited 30 years before saying a spoiler, so we have plenty of time to watch it, people. Did you just jump across the lake? Yeah. That's Rambo, dude. You know, gotta right, go through the village. Place. Yeah, yeah right. okay. That's a good one. Yeah, I found the Here's village people. Are we gonna are we gonna play platoon now? Y M C A Oh what? Are we gonna play platoon now? No. Oh. I I have never played that game. No. I've seen it. As I mentioned before in your Doom video years ago, I, I said I thought when I first seen the cover box of that game, I thought it was a, a game where you sing. Because on the cover, the guy looks like he's singing or something. I'm like, what the heck is this? Platon? What? Platon. <laughs> I'm not sure which is worse, though. This or Platoon, but at least I know for sure this game has a catchy, has a catchy soundtrack. And Platoon has a catchy soundtrack, too. I don't know. I see yeah, this not... review of it. I couldn't hear the music. Well, I mean, you'll probably think this one's better since it's more lively, because they... The NES is... it's basically the Commodore... Because it's Rambo. If Rambo would have been the game, Platoon, well, it'd be awesome. <laughs> well, I'm saying, like, the Platoon music is basically a conversion of the same music from the Commodore 64 original version. So, you know, they stuck with the original source. Hey, all, all I know is Master Hand would be pissed right now. Why? Why? Oh, because off-topic. Yeah, off-topic! Oh, yeah. All right, now I don't have the lamp right here. I forgot how to get it. I think I get it in that village I'm supposed to be going uh, to. Well, when you exit uh, from Zelda 2, you go in that one cave and you get the right. lamp. Right. This game has nothing to do with Zelda like, 2. Seriously, right here, this is a complete ripoff. <laughs> oh, this game ain't similar to Zelda 2 at all. This is a war game where you're supposed to go to Vietnam, rescue POWs. You don't do that in Zelda. It's basically the same thing, except replace uh, Vietnam with uh, Hyrule. I'm about to replace you with Bear. Because he's. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, I actually Whoa. take offense to that. What is this Castlevania now? Oh my god. Wait, no, what those are in Zelda 2. They just look a little different. Hey, look, it's purple. Oh, never mind. Oh, I get it. I wasn't talking about the skulls, I was talking about the wall. I'm not calling purple a skull. I was talking about the Kool Aid flavor. <laughs> Who's this? It's it's like ball -headed. Missing in face. Ball -headed yeah, it looks like J Man. That no, was a ball headed Bin Laden. Oh, he let himself go. That's how Jamie let himself go. He grew a beard, got bald. Here's Gomer Paul. Oh, Where'd God. Where'd you come from? What? Why do you come here? You should have should have saved that remark for for that. <laughs> what, you have a big nose? <laughs> okay, well, anyway, I got the lamp, so... <laughs> In part two, I will go back to the cave and rescue some random kid. So until then, God bless take care. Uh, like, please say we guy. Uh, you gotta be kidding me. Kid. <laughs> kidding me. Nice. Kid. Like a child. Kid. Kid. Welcome to part two of Let's Play Rambo for the NES. This is Ron Warren, Word. the wee guy and the star soldier. Or do jogging in spot. Yeah, Rambo was jogging in place there. Yeah, I was about to say, like, is that supposed to be like a joke or something you were about to explain? But... No. 
Well, here's a joke. When I captured the screen, I forgot to capture the top part, but oh well. Yeah, I was gonna say, this looks almost, like, uh, like, cinematic almost. Like, there's yeah. no, like, status bar. It's like, pure raw gameplay. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> oh well. Is that pink iceberg that fell on me? Yeah, what the heck is that? That's a stalactite. Yeah, well, I remember those from the movie. Is. Ah! Ah! <laughs> we got what? Me. What the hell is up with that kid? <laughs> we got. Ah! I can't find Tim Bolin. I'll help you find him. <laughs> Run, kid. Here's my favorite part of the whole Rambo movies when you fight the giant spider. Yeah, after rescuing the kid in the cave. God, that was my favorite. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's quick cut through all that garbage and just get to here. Whoa. <laughs> All I did was rescue the kid for a villager, I guess it was a side quest, I don't know if it's relevant, but whatever, whatever. I'll say. Oh, and I need to, uh, tell Star Soldier, I am in Rambo mode, I mean ECW mode. Cheater. Pumpkin eater. Oh, come on, Rambo's ECW, so, why not? I would get kicked out of Twin Galaxies if I did that. Twin Galaxies? Yeah. What is that? <laughs> That's where I get my high scores from. Yeah, oh. that's where he holds his Airsoft World Championship record? Duh. <laughs> no, I never heard of Twinkie. <laughs> I thought he held a record just by in a Ma Nintendo Power Magazine or something. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, you showed the magazine, did you? The Twin Galaxy Magazine? Well, it was originally an EGM magazine, and then it got moved to Twin Galaxies, and the Guinness Book of World Records. Uh. Well, I'm trying yeah, to make that. Well, I'm trying to break a world record by cheating. <laughs> oh, and, and cheating, video game cheating. You can cheat the most on YouTube. And, and I'm talking to Ko here. Yeah. And the Chinese the... girl with blonde hair. Yeah. Or Vietnamese. So now I gotta go to the camp and rescue the POWs. Some pieces of. No, I wanna rescue some ECWs. Some ECW, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. That would have been like the uh, the off-brand uh, POW uh, video game. It was ECW. Yeah. But yeah. Instead of <laughs> breaking out of prison or escaping prisoners or whatever, you just wrestle like, um, uh, who would you? That's a run? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That'll work. No, new, new Jack. <laughs> okay, well, well he will cut you. <laughs> yeah. And you can use blades in the POW. Yeah. And this game. And I did do it. Let's check out a POW a long time ago, Shameless Plug. I didn't, so you don't have to watch my channel. <laughs> <laughs> you should. Right. You got enough subscribers, dang it. Let me get some subscribers. Red from SC2K, who are most likely already subbed to your channel. <laughs> yeah. Dang it, another dead end. That's what I hate about this game, just the uh, annoying navigation and, and, you know, I know Skip Rogers tell you to make a map, but you can't. We kind of can, but... Yeah, the arrows are pretty annoying. Plus, yeah. you don't... Yeah, you go to one wall, and boom, you can't go through it. Yeah. A lot of these, uh, Contra bubbles here. Yeah. There's all the two bubbles. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. There's all the two bubbles. Yeah. Really? Uh, a, a pink flamingo as Rambo's enemy? Uh, come on, man. <laughs> oh, well, at least I get to still listen to this cool track. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Which motivates me in life. Yeah, I would think if you had to pick, like, some of your favorite NES music, this would certainly make the cut. Watch this. Oh! Oh! oh. oh the grenade. Oh. ECW. ECW. Man, don't make me cut you. I'm on the cutting edge. I'm not sure if I actually have the exploding arrows, just regular arrows. I'm not sure. I think you get those at the end. Oh, cool. You're gonna, you're gonna get it right at the end. I want to blank your brain. Okay, that's enough. That's from the previous LP. <laughs> yeah, no, no more, more, no more Hanson. Yeah, I tell you what, Chris Hanson won't be able to easily interview and interrogate Rambo like he does off the break. <laughs> Rambo just grabbed my throat and li literally rip it out. Ah, oh, come on, man! I was at the very end right there! Ah, you're almost there. P.S., <laughs> man. Oh, well, that's your gift for cheating. No, shut up. 
the game the game is cheap anyway it's cheap so I had the right to cheat I mean Metroid is the right kind of hard but this is like this is BS maybe you should just be better at the game maybe you should be better at shutting up <laughs> no man right, so what the heck is these hens coming after me or angry birds for the NES Angry Birds, they're on the moon. Is that a real song? I wouldn't no. be surprised. No, <laughs> I just made it up on my... I don't listen oh. to real music anymore. <laughs> Angry Birds, is that... I guess I should say like real music. I meant... I guess to say, like, actual, like, musical artists, as in, like, bands and stuff. <laughs> I listen to just video game music now. Let me get this right. Jump right here. There we go. Oh. Oh, man. Oh, this still came from the gr ground. <laughs> oh, well. I don't know, man. It's like it's like the game's putting ECW mode on you. It's like, if you're gonna cheat, I'm gonna cheat as well. Yeah. Oh, at least I can't die. <laughs> I'll go ahead and tell myself. As he, he says to himself. himself. Yeah. I see. Oh, I see. Talk to the white woman. Right. I see what? I see cold? Now in the, in the camp. POW camp. Yeah, now it's POW. To only take, I'm supposed to only take photographs and not rescue the POWs. Yeah, this is really, this is really turned around from a, from a photo shoot. Yeah. That would have been so cool if this was like the first Pokemon Snap. <laughs> This would no. be cool if this game was more like Contra. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Machine nobody, gun. nobody can't. Nobody could copy Contra. Like, don't they would just say we can't do it. We we just can't. You know, no. Mike Mate had a good point though about Contra and Pro Protector. Pro Protector is a better name because Contra sounds like contraceptive, or a contradiction, or a contraband, or contras yes. in general, or controversy. Huh? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Can't yeah. you see it? I d <laughs> can you? Uh, yeah. I can see that dead end right there. Yeah. Probo is it? Oh, oh. was it Probotector? That's what it was. Are we in Woodman yeah. stage? Do 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 do. The worst soundtrack in Mega Man Two. What? <laughs> At least in my opinion. There you go, Bash and Mega Man again. Alright. Do I know where I'm going? Huh. Apparently Contra is also known in Europe as Grizor. I guess in the con on the arcade con uh, cabinet. That's interesting. Brendan Frazier? Oh. Grizor. That's, that's an interesting... The same six-lettered uh, name, but... I think Contra is better than Grizor. But Geyser? Phil. Doesn't even, doesn't even sound like, like, yeah, like, sounds like some kind of weird, like, like, Godzilla game. Grizor. Yeah. Man, that guy's really sore about his name. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, really. That's a shame. Oh, well. Maybe she should machine gun up. I mean, I know it's not helping right this moment right here, but I know she can't shoot machine gun up. That's lame. Nice oh, well. to actually go into these huts and actually really do rescue POWs right here. Or take pictures of them. I mean, from what I gather so far, POW is a much better game than this. You know, take pictures of them with your digital camera back in 1985. <laughs> Turn the other way, you idiot! <laughs> Jeez! Freaking Castlevania Summer Quest Panthers over here. Is this the first time we're actually finding people? Yeah. Or the vehicon? Yeah. I mean, part one, I think, is mainly just uh, bees. Whoa, what the heck was that? The bees' knees. Oh, that's, um, is that Fred Flintstone? I was thinking that, or Street Rage character, or the. No, Target Renegade character, those baseball bats, or. I forgot it. Never mind. One of those Target Renegade characters, they look, they look like. They got those big muscular arms. 
stage two or three. I forgot. You should know what we got. Come on. Uh, well, you know. <laughs> oh, oh, there it is. You got the status back. There we go. All right. You've upgraded. Now I can get farther because the status uh, screen is showing us. <laughs> Top part is showing us. All right. I hope I don't burn any bridges right here. <laughs> it's not even a bridge. Dude, the bridge is in Madison County. I guess it is a bridge. Not the bridges of Terabithia. More like bridges of shut up. Right? Some have gone, some, some gone to me for that. you never seen the bridges of Terabithia? I said, no, what the heck is that? You act like it's, it's a, movie, a God of movie where a kid dies. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I want to see you right now. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. Let me get oh. the rope ready. There's a POW. What? No grenade will break this apart. No, no grenades, machine guns, nothing. But a knife will. <laughs> Good old-fashioned knife. Yeah. Noid. Please rescue me. All right, oh, man, you did, drunk. Shaggy. Hey, <laughs> Shaggy. Or Scooby-Doo. Like zoinks. <laughs> I said sorry, my dudes just take photos. Bye. Ah, oh, dang! Now Please. I'm walking here with him. <laughs> now you're a POW. Yeah. Or P I'm POS. POW. Like. You're a POS. That's what you are. <laughs> Please rescue Scooby too. Zoinks! <laughs> All right. I think Edge played the character of Shaggy in the movie. But anyway. All right. You better keep up. He all follows right. Simon Says, or Rambo Says, I guess. Alright, quick cut through all that. Now we got to get to the extraction point. Wait, she gave me her pendant, but she's still wearing it. What the heck? You freaking Indian giver. <laughs> hey! What? <laughs> you know I hate him, right? <laughs> what? Hey, Star Soldier. Uh, commentating over a different game right here as I'm on back on the ship. <laughs> oh, now we've been set up. Look, there's an enemy boat. We can't show it, but we'll just tell Sergeant you. Sergeant Slaughter, you freaking traitor again. <laughs> What's Colonel Mustafa at? Oh, whoa, whoa what was that? Mo? Oh, did you kill him? Oh, wait, Mo again. Okay. Wow, look at those big noses. Yeah. Easy dub for you. Ah, this is the worst infiltration ever. Yeah. Or whatever this was, a, 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 an ambush? Oh, jump cut. I just killed Donkey Kong. Welcome to Donkey Kong Country for the NES. Actually, there was an actual Donkey Kong Country game on the NES. Really? It was yeah, a pirate game. Cancel? It was a pirate game. Yeah, no, it was a, it was a pirated game. Well then, no. Well, bootleg. Well, I mean, someone actually converted it. It's that not NES real! To NES, or, yeah. So it's, you know, yeah, just boot it. It's real, but I mean, oh, not something to recommend. That's like saying the Zelda CDI games are real. Well, it's, well, I mean, it's because it was real. It's just not official. It's bootleg pirated. It sucks. Well, yeah, of course it does. <laughs> there he is again! <laughs> <laughs> that looks more like Donkey Kong Jr. Yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah. Very small Rambo's Donkey bigger. Yeah, Rambo's bigger than Donkey Kong. All right. Whoa! Whoa! Stand and do now. All right. Come on, man. Ah, oh, fail! Oh, you don't have ECW jumping. Yeah. No, I don't. Oh, there and we go. Try it again. <laughs> you have ECW states. Yeah. Oh, this looks. This looks like worse than. Well, actually, it doesn't look that bad. I can say it's like the bar in the versus the world, like those jumping segments in that one stage. Yeah. For Predator. No, oh, Predator. It's all oh, right. I, I can I can do with Predator. I can work. With I it. can't. Of course you can. You're not skilled. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, not you, smart. <laughs> no, if you were smart, you wouldn't even play the game. All right. <laughs> so I'm sorry, I can't take you. What? Take her, you idiot. I can't. I'm already married. You have your visa. I have. <laughs> I only do MasterCard. Alright, let's go. <laughs> oh, ouch! What the hell is going on? Yeah. The the soldiers are, uh... Not like in the movie, but the movie they use uh, that, uh... Not rocket launcher, but something I forgot. Here, these are freaking missiles. Alright, Martin Cove, let's go. Hurry up. 
No, don't stop the mission! Emergency, stop the mission. Oh Man, no. What, what an intense storyline. I'm so enthralled. There's men down there! Our men! <laughs> now come on! Come on! What the heck? <laughs> you shot the Chinese thing in them. Yeah. What the heck was that? <laughs> well, <the main> <laughs> that barely explained it. Whoa, J-Man? Whoa, Pedo Bisky? Oh, Pado Bisky. <laughs> oh, Pado it looks like he has a third eye. Yeah. Lieutenant That's racist. Almost looks like Chris Hansen. I want all your details of your mission. I want you to have a seat here. Hope <laughs> <laughs> uh. yours. It says here I want to blank your brains out. What do you got to say about that? F you. It's <laughs> nothing. Just dot, dot, dot. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh, Yushin. Yushin Thunder Liger? You're only an experimental animal for Sergeant Yushin. Their command has abandoned you. Do you still protect them? Probotate them? Yeah, probotate. You must make <laughs> contact, otherwise, your friend will be killed. No, not her. We knew so much about her. <laughs> She's not going to America, by the way. That's not Petrovsky. Come on, man. I don't look like him. Oh, he won't do it. But you have to, of course, or the game won't proceed. You should, man. You should be. You should be punished for choosing like the not correct answer. Just like game over. Yeah. Start yeah. over. I mean, it would suck, but your learn your lesson. Your friend dies if you do not answer. Put it in his eye. <laughs> Where's Matlock? Dude, where's Murdoch? Where's Mr. T and Face and Hannibal. <laughs> I get it. I'm coming to get you. His mouth! <laughs> I know, is, is, is that like supposed to have- is that like him supposed to be angry? Like, I'm coming to get you! Yeah. <sighs> but instead, it looks like he has his- looks like an idiot. <laughs> yeah. Will Co save Rambo? We'll find out in part three. Until then, God bless and take care. Does that mean it's going to be co-op? <laughs>
<laughs> I said bear racks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bear Actually, racks. no. I'm... Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Talking to. Oh, Colonel Gall again. No, she don't act like the general's wife. She acts like just a Vietnamese prostitute in the movie, from what I gather. But anyway. No, I'm looking for some? What? I'm looking for some. Whoa, what? what are you looking for? I think you may say someone, and they messed up right there. A typo. English, like English translation. Gotta love it. Well, she's Vietnamese, and you guys don't know the good English. I don't know. She's pretending to be Vietnamese. Yeah. She's not really Vietnamese. <laughs> well, in the game, she's not, because there's a white woman right here, but in the movie, she is. Oh, yeah. Well, you know. Gotta, they gotta make it a little PC for the kids or whatever. I guess. You gotta have some Simon's Quest typos in here. Oh, what the heck is that? I thought it was right there. I don't know. Okay, well, he won't talk. He's stuck up. No, no. No parts to do for me. Yeah. Too much money. Oh, but I'm opening the door now. Thanks. Okay. Good conveyance to the player. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, it's Rambo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Duh. Uh-oh. I've been spotted. Now here we go. Ah! I'm back to action. Yeah. This epic music again. I love how it's like, this is like the Rambo theme. Yeah. I wish they would have put the actual Rambo theme in this game. That would be pretty cool. 8 bit version of um, It's a Long Road. Yeah. It could have. I mean, it could have, but no, let's not use. Trademark music and video games. Let's be like LJN and use well, music that's not related to the game or the, the movies. Well, I mean, I don't know. I, I think well, it's interesting. Like, if you get licensed for like the property of like to base it the, a game off the movie, do you not like get the music rights? Is that like a different thing? Maybe it is. I don't know. I just, but either way, it's lame. Because there are certain ones. Because of course, like this is Activision that published this and. Uh, Pagan Video, who developed this, also did a combo thing with uh, Thunderbirds, based off the TV show, and they actually did, like, the Thunderbirds TV theme. Well, I guess TV show themes are a little bit different than movie themes. Uh, Whoa. Am I fighting the Fonz here? Well, he's did. I don't remember from the movie. I didn't know the Fonz was in the freaking uh, Rambo. Oh, yeah, you never saw the lost episode where the Fonz goes to Vietnam? Oh, yo. Yeah. <laughs> of, uh, the show he was on? Uh, wow, why is the show not, it's not coming to mind? I don't know, but what the heck am I fighting? Here's that guy, red guy with big ears. Tell me what it is, so I don't look like an idiot. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. The Fonz, what show is he from? Well, happy Days, duh. Happy Days, good. I, well, yeah, like I said, I, it wasn't coming to mind. I need a reminder. Thank you. Alright, uh, that's the Platypus Tiger again, as Venom put it in our low-budget review. He's gonna put it. Don't put it. Back to the village. Come here, I'm talking to you. Thank you, Simon's Quest Priest. I want a green beard. Right. Actually, if it's, it's probably just moss. He like became one with the, with Vietnam and nature and just started just putting moss on his face. Hello! It's all natural. Goodbye! Let's cut what? here. Oh, I was gonna say, like, does he take you to the waterfall, the non-exist, non-active waterfall? Yeah. Or was oh. it the waterfall? No, not a cave again. Oh, look out! The acid can kill you. Oh no, I'm caving in. <laughs> What's this cave story? Mm-mm. Far from it. So, what's your cave story? <laughs> cool cave story, bro. I wonder if I gotta find another giant spider. That'd be cool. Unless the giant spider and in uninvited where you get killed instantly. <laughs> ah, good old uninvited. This is long pink pink snakes. It's weird. It's like the pink panther. Yeah. Da -da -da -da. We are pink and we are snake like. Steve Martin. Uh oh, it's so What are you okay. saying there? Am I playing as Jesus here? You see that? Oh, walk on water. Cool. I think, I think that's ice. Uh, I guess. 
I mean, I don't know where in Vietnam they'd be no, like ice. It's not, it's not cold. Vietnam, anyway. I mean, well, maybe it's a mountain or something. I don't know. Whoa, what's with the big? What was with that just big black? That's dead. I mean, it's dead end. That's weird. I've never yeah. seen that. Yeah. <laughs> Graphics designer got lazy. He's just like, eh, just put a big b b b black box here. It oh. means it can't go any further. Yeah. Oh, okay, now I'm. Uh, what's this, Mario Bros. 2 here? A little bit. What's Maybe this? it was just the side of a mountain. There's Ko. What the heck are you doing here? Going to Thailand. I think it's Thailand, obviously. <laughs> She's still wearing that pendant. I thought Rambo has it now. You're in danger here. Let's go back together. They're saying this as if they met for the first time. What the heck? Well, right here in the movie, this is where they, like, fall in love and stuff, and... Ugh. <clears throat> Ugh. Like, yeah. She gets shot, and their relationship lasted, like, one minute. <laughs> Rambo, I wow. can't go with you. Why? Because I'm dying. Yeah, that part of the movie was sad, but then... Was all <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Love when you just kind of flip her, just flip the picture sideways and close her eyes. Yeah. Go. No! That's a sad moment in the movie, but the epic part is where Rambo gets into ECW mode. You should play sad music right here to coincide with the with the sad moment. Yeah, and we will see the ECW Rambo in part four. The let's discuss. So until then, God bless. Take care. Ooh, I can't wait to. Do this co comment. Uh. <laughs> Fail. Welcome to Let's Play Discuss Rambo for the NES. This is Ron Moore, and I'm with the Wii Guy and the J Man. Yo. This game sucks. Well, what doesn't suck right here is Rambo is about to go in ECW mode here as they killed his two-minute girlfriend and now he's out for blood. First blood? Nah. There's been too much blood spilled at the scene. Yeah. Ah, this is NES. You can't have blood. Heck, it's all over Vietnam at this point. Yeah. Now, when I was a kid, I thought Vietnam was the name of the war. I didn't know it was a yeah. country. The Vietnam War. No, I didn't know it was also a country. Like, you know, the Gulf War. And then there's... I thought they... It was just called Vietnam, but I didn't know Vietnam was the actual place. Right. And then, it's, it wasn't even a war. So, yeah. Well, here's a war going on right here. Jeez, getting pwned by these... Uh, the Russian uh, Spetsnaz or KGB agents, whatever they are. And I'm fighting an enemy from Rad Gravity here. What the heck is that? What the heck is this? Is getting too futuristic now? Oh, you, oh! I remember the, this part in First Blood Part Two where you fight a freaking spaceship pod, wherever the heck it is. It's like one of those pods you see in Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, this is what you get for cheating. No, this is why I get playing a sorry game. Well, okay, that's it. A sorry game. I mean, I can't. Uh, I can't be legit in these LPs like Torn Shack and others. I mean, so I cheat. He doesn't play to have <laughs> fun. He plays so he can just cheat. Oh, uh, we uh, we should play Sorry for the NES. <laughs> Only Monopoly. Or spot the video game. Uh, <laughs> trouble. Yeah. You're trouble. Who? Candyland. No, that's Bible Buffet. <laughs> Bible Buffet. Yeah, I'm gonna buff it out with a with a saw blade. Okay, what is this a little bit of codename Viper going on here? With Jimmy. Jimmy who? Buffet. Oh, okay. Whoa, nice nice cut there. Yeah. Uh oh, what's going on here? That's such a clean cut that you Yeah. Hey, look how big the helicopter is! Aw, oh, dang it! I gotta look for the key! Okay, oh, wow. so now I'm cutting to the part here where I fight... Sergeant Yushin. Yushin? Yeah, Yushin Thunder Liger from WCW. You shouldn't cheat. 
<laughs> you should shut up. You... okay. <laughs> ah, dang it, dead end. Hey, what's wrong with you? Never played the game before? Idiot. Actually, I never gotten this far. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think anybody has. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Corn Shack and ABGN. Or Mike Patel. No, uh, well, Corn Shack doesn't count. He's like he's like a machine. <laughs> he's a, yeah, a cheating machine. No, <laughs> he plays his. No, I think he plays his up. He's legit. Whoa! Jeez. Oh God! Jamming, you six. really let yourself go. <laughs> well, where's he at? Ah, dang it! Oh, hey, found the key. Yeah, I did. But, oh shoot! I gotta fight the boss and target renegade. What the heck? Oh, 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 oh my god, what the, why, why did that happen? Well, every time you hit a boss, his face gets big, lets you know what you hit him. That has to actually be one of the best kind of mechanics for hitting, if you hit somebody. Yeah, whoa. Wow, that's actually quite amazing. This is lame, this is not how they fought in the movie, he threw him out the helicopter. Oh! I'd rather be, I'd rather be thrown out of a helicopter than watch this game. Well, Ash. have at it. Wow, speaking of helicopters, here we go. I got to keep the helicopter. Now I'm going to, camp to rescue the POWs. And when I rescue them, they will no longer be POWs, they would be ECWs. Are those uh, prisoners of Wee Guy? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's all the people that Wee Guy got locked in his basement. <laughs> He forces them to watch his uh, shitty LPs. Oh shoot! Is that oh the, the helicopter following me? Is that uh I forgot his name in the movie. Uh, Sergeant Pepper. Oh um, Lieutenant Doctor Pepper. Uh, Swatowski or Trotsky, whatever. Hmm, I like troubles. All right, here we go back to POW camp. Rescue the POWs. Piece of work camp. Yeah. POW is, POW is better than this game, by the way. Oh, POW is a pretty, it's a pretty, it's a pretty good game. Even yeah. though that's like a rip off of Double Dragon 2, but I mean, everything, everything's a rip off. Well, at least not a rip off of Zelda 2 like this. True. Even though the song is really cool. Oh, <laughs> I look like Robocop. <laughs> that LP's piece done for a long the time. Heck yeah, play. Like, freaking. Look like uh, Marty McFly and how he dressed up in Back to the Future 1 when he was trying to scare uh, George McFly when he was asleep. Oh god, Darth. Yeah, like Darth. Yeah, he's yeah, just in a hazmat suit or whatever. Yeah. Are you wearing your protective hazmat suit when doing the LP? <laughs> this game is dangerous. It's known to cause uh, insanity. I think I think Jamman's got his on. I think he's got a safety helmet on too. Don't want any brain damage from this game. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Mr. Rogers. <clears throat> well, yes. You got Rogers. your, uh, got your got... safety jacket on? D dude, always have my safety jacket on. F full metal safety jacket? Yep. Yeah, it's good for like the first 30 minutes and then it just and it stops being interesting. It's like yep. the movie. It keeps the neighborhood, it keeps the neighborhood kids away. When the neighborhood kids are away, the big boys will play. Rambo. Another boss battle. I think this is where you fight General Swatowski, whatever the heck is Swatowski, whatever. Oh, oh God. God. Yeah, that's him. I think this is. I think this is where Rad Gravity got the inspiration for the big heads. Really? The freaking. Uh, I don't know, are kind of remind me of the some enemies from Ninja Turtles One. I don't know. This is weird. Yeah, they look like, they just look like, I don't know, I guess any of the mechanical-like enemies. Yeah. What the heck is that? Who's, who's that? Oh, that's, uh, General, um... No, that's Sloth. That... <laughs> there he is again! Guys. I love you, uh... Do, 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 now here, rescue there. POW, probably the only one I'm gonna rescue, just him. So it's like it's like the same time you did it the first time. Yeah. 
Oh, you all right? I came here to get you home. <laughs> Shaggy! Shaggy! I'm weak, I think I'm dying. Be strong! We can make it! Artist, get here! Now here we go, and he, he's somehow with me, even though he's invisible. And now here's the final boss of the game, even though Petrovsky's dead, so I don't know who's flying the helicopter. Um... Let's just say it's... Um... Hmm... Yo mama. Uh, maybe yeah, it's the maybe it's the, uh, the the bad guy in part three, because he also flies that helicopter. Yes. Yeah, so this was like a future, uh, like a prediction. This is like Karate Kid. It's combining the movies. Yeah. This is ridiculous. It's a good thing I'm cheating because there's no way I beat this. This is this is this talk about a bullet hell. Yeah. Forget Mario three. Dark World being a bullet hell, this right here. You can't even tell if you're doing damage to it or not. I think if your grenade doesn't fall back down to the ground, then you hit him. Yeah, but you know, most games should be like, damage should be flashing or something, you know, there's some indication that we're doing damage. Yeah, the head of the helicopter should just grow big. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah, it looks like the enemy's getting big-headed. He's not gonna get ahead. Just have big head mode like NBA Jam or GoldenEye. DK. <laughs> Jeez, come on. Yeah, this guy really does take a lot of hits. Ridiculous. More hits than Krang from Ninja Turtles 2. Come on, there we go. It's a nice explosion effects. Into the chopper! Hey, that's Arnold's thing. Yeah. Goodbye, Niam. <laughs> no, it's Rambo. <laughs> now back to the base. Be cool. They could have made this part right here where you can actually show the helicopter. It's gonna be like some Thunderblade action. Nah. Where well, you can find the helicopter that was following you earlier, but no, I guess not. Nah, man. It's all cinematic. Your face cinematic. Oh snap! What the heck? This helicopter just blew up and disappeared. Yeah, man. Gotta destroy the evidence. Now I gotta throw my uh, Japanese symbol at Murdoch, wherever he's at. That's I think it's the POW I rescued. Is it? Yeah. Like, zoinks. Yeah. What was that douchebag Murdoch? So Why didn't they ever make an A-Team game? Right? There he, he is. Shut up. I don't make the orders, I just take them just like you. <laughs> oh god, that face. This was supposed to happen. It was just supposed to be another assignment. Ah! Mission. Yikes. Yeah, oh, God. Ah! Take a face staring contest. Out there. Find them. Or I'll find you. <laughs> I already found you. Ah, dang it! No! <laughs> Come here! What did you, what did you do? Uh oh, now it turns to the enemy frog from Kung Fu Kid. <laughs> oh, you can still talk to him, though. That's weird. Oh. He's back to normal. What the heck? That's so weird that you can do that. Like, what's the point? Stupid. Where's the colonel? There he is. I don't know. I'm going to wherever the third movie's taking place. Yeah. You get a second medal of honor for this. Oh, really? I love that game series. You should give it to them. They deserve it more. <laughs> the people deserve another Medal of Honor. John, why don't you come back with us? What's there for me? My friends died here. Peace of me died here, too. Ah, oh, that's deep. Or everything that happened. Maybe it's wrong. 
but don't hate your country for it. Hate it. I die for it. So what do you want? I want a Snickers. <laughs> I want what they want. And you're the guy who came over here and fought his brother of guts once for our country to love us as much as we love it. That's what I want. Where you go from here? How, uh, how you gonna live, John? My how goodness. Live, John, day by day. Yeah, they're just recreating the ending of the movie here. <laughs> yeah, even though it's not verbatim, but... Of course. Wait, Rambo, the battle is over, but there's a sequel and then another one 20 years later. Thank you for trying. We, what do you mean trying? I beat the game. <laughs> Thank you for trying to like the game. Thank you for trying. I, yeah, my, my. Oh my god, two Rambos! <laughs> what the heck? Which is the real Rambo. You should have faced the, what, the game over face. Oh yeah. Well, at least... Yeah. Script right, script right, script wise. They went with the ending of the movie. That's kind of cool. That's what they show more, more of a cinematic visual than just the stupid text boxes you see through the game. Yeah. But anyway, that is the end, thankfully, of Rambo for the NES. Um, yeah, this game sucks. It's at least it's not as bad as Dirty Harry. Probably the best part of the game is the Rambo face. Um, but. Yeah, this game could have been much better if executed right, but it wasn't. Um, so yeah, but the soundtrack, you know, pretty decent, kind of catchy, uh, even though it don't fit Rambo at all. Um, then again, neither does the soundtrack, I guess, Nightmare on Elm Street. Well, yeah, soundtrack of Nightmare on Elm Street kind of does fit in a way, but I mean, if Rambo, um, the soundtrack don't really fit for this type of game, but... Not bad. Um, challenge is kind of BSy. Um, the actual controls and gameplay sucks and was not executed right. Um, I might, off the top of my head, I might have to give it a four or four point five out of ten. We got. Let me see. Well, I have actually not really played Rambo. Of course, I've seen a lot about it. I doing it. Played like the first like little bit of it, never really got um didn't get really far because I mean there wasn't really a drive to really like play this game. It doesn't really entice me that much, but for what it is, I mean, could be worse. I mean it's a standard, yeah, Zelda two, um, I guess clone or whatever. You know, it seems similar to other games like I guess like Friday the thirteenth and like the like the directional arrows and where you have to go and how to navigate the world, but I mean, it could have been worse. I'm sure one day I'll probably play through this game like legit and try and beat it, but as for what it is, you know, not that bad. Of course, the soundtrack is the best part, definitely worth a listen. And, uh, yeah, just Rambo. It is what it is, and I'll probably give it, mm, I'll probably get like a 5 out of 10. It's just average. All right, J Man? He dropped. Really? Yeah. So I guess you will either wait for him to come back and you could just cut this part out of the recording or... Uh... I guess we can't. Can we add him back right now? Yeah, well, he joined. He actually dropped twice. He dropped the first time sometime in the middle and then came back. And then, yeah, yeah he just dropped again. Yeah, I th he's, in a, he's in an environment right now where the, it's not... I don't think he cares anyway, so... Uh... I, I guess I'll speak on behalf of him. He might say, you guys are too nice to this game. Um, game sucks. Uh, I give it like a 2 out of 10. J-Man has spoken. F off. <laughs> Sounds about right. At least this game's not nearly as bad as Rocky and Bullwinkle. There's no redeeming qualities about that game at all. But yeah, Rambo, definitely. a few redeeming qualities about Rambo. It's definitely not the worst game out there, but I mean... Ugh. I'm a Rambo fan, and so I never played this game when I was a kid, surprisingly. I mean, but uh, I remember 2010, did a low-budget review of it, um, and that was fun to do. But um, the game overall just really sucks. Could have been much better. It really frustrates me when a game like Nightmare on Elm Street, Friday 13th, Rambo, 
they have so much uh what's the terminator games so much potential to be great and then some dumbass uh developer or publisher ruins it oh and rambo was one of those games that had potential but it failed and wasn't executed right but yeah so i guess that is it uh we are out of here i'm ron moore uh the wee guy J Man 46241. Alright, God bless, take care. Bye. Welcome to Let's Play Mega Man 6 for the NES. This is Ron Moore along with the Wee Guy and the Star Soldier. Hey. Yo, how's it going? Or the also the Airzonk, Tetrasphere, Bunks Adventure, Mega Man Five, World Heavyweight Champion. <laughs> I'm actually thinking about becoming the Mega Man Five World Champion. I think I mean this ain't bad, but I think Mega Man Five's still better. <laughs> oh, believe me, it can't get much worse than Mega Man Five. Uh, Mega Man 1. No, Mega Man 1, 1, 1 was good. <laughs> At least Mega Man 5 wasn't BS, Ghosts and Goblins hard. Yeah, I had a nice challenge too, where Mega Man 5 was too easy. <laughs> yeah, but at least not BS. I'd rather have an easy game than a BS hard game like Mega Man 1. Oh, even though I landed on the these platforms, it still says I fell off. BS! <laughs> Come on, I could beat it. Well, you cheat. Unlike me, I, I never cheat. My game. I don't need to cheat. <laughs> you it's good to hear you two oh. argue. Yeah. Well, well I'm just six here. Yeah, I just laid back and have a flame star soldier here. <laughs> yeah, good segue. <laughs> or uh, Arabian gas man. What the heck? Ooh, the oil fields. Is that like the rice fields? Yeah. Yeah, I kind of like the theme of this game where you're going across the world. It's a lot of that Street Fighter in a sense, but at least it gives you a reason why you're fighting all these different characters. Or Mega Man 5, oh, just random characters. You know, Choo Choo Man or Gyro Dude. Who cares? Here, it actually made sense. You're anyway, fighting. as Star Soldier fails again in his Mega Man 5 arguments, we talk about Mega Man 6. <laughs> so basically, Mega Man 6 has the best plot. <laughs> Yeah, because there is a plot. There oh, is yeah, a because... reason for these eight characters to come together. Oh yeah, so Mega Man 6 is not predictable though, like Mega Man 5 is. Oh, Mr. X, I wonder who really is the boss of the game. <laughs> we all know who it is at this point. At least Mega Man 5 didn't <laughs> rip off Sega. Mr. X, let's use that name from Streets of Rage as the boss. <laughs> well, Streets of Rage, you know, they've been doing that for years. like. Mr. X, that's like in like Speed Racer and all that. Speed Racer? <laughs> <laughs> Who is Mr. X? Well, I mean, this was 94 when this was released, so, you know, they're trying to trying to be popular with the name Mr. X. Yeah. And they're trying to tie to Mega Man X. Oh, yeah. Would you look at that? Yeah. And th that's why this one is so much better than that stupid Mega Man 5. <laughs> Okay, no one believes your BS anymore about no. Mega Man. That's why your Mega Man 5 video got 10 thumbs down. Anyway. Oh no, people like it. Who? I think it got 10 thumbs down. I like that. One thumb down. No, if you meant his video then. I wonder who. Check again. Yeah. <laughs> Two I made, thumbs I made multiple accounts and I thumbed down. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, I'm getting whooped by. Uh. I don't know what the heck to describe that thing. Let's call him a fire golem. Yeah. Fire robot. Yeah, the fi fireman. I wanted something more creative than that fire robot. Oh, how about that? Creativity. Yeah, that was actually pretty ingenious. Online Big Man 5. <laughs> okay, as Star Soldier again fails as a troll, we were ignore his Big Man 5 comments from now on as a fight flame man. Maybe this is a visual representation of you, Me uh, Ronnie, being Mega Man, and Ryan being uh, uh, Flame Man. <laughs> I'm like Fail Man. 
It's like, it's the battle, who will win? Mayweather finds better. No, no, Mayweather sees better than five. It was uh, too easy and not, not creative. Yeah. He can't oh, he... these fires, Ron Moore. Yeah. Oh, Ronnie fires back with a, with a, with a peaceful comment or something, or rather. Oh. Ryan's firing back with some flames. Oh, troll, troll, troll. Damn, he's missing. Oh, he's missing. He ain't getting Ronnie with them trolls. <laughs> It's close! Oh, oh my god, it's close! Him. I'm gonna get him! <laughs> well, this really decide who which Mega Man is, is better. Yeah, Firewall with oh, the Did I really just lose the flame? I man? told Come you, blocked you. Come on. <laughs> yeah, because you can't win the debate, you gotta block me. You got <laughs> burned, face it. <laughs> nice. Looks like you've become Ash Man. Yeah. Burned to He's ashes. He's on fire! Boom shakalaka! Boom shakalaka! Let's try this again here. Yeah. Well, that was good. A, that was good. Yeah, round yeah. one. Now it's round two. Come on, Flame Man. I don't know if it's just me, but it does seem wrong that he, the Flame Man, has like a turban almost on his head. That's what it looks like. Well, yeah, I think it is a turban. Like he's supposed to. Eat. I don't know, from the Middle East, because he's oil-related, and... Yeah, Arabian, the oil fields, it's... yeah, yeah it's his... <laughs> so... At least they're going multicultural. I don't think it's too offensive, I don't think people were too offended by it. Hopefully not, uh... I don't know, you Arabian viewers, what do you guys think? Was Flamin, you know, a bad stereotype or not? I got Flame Blast. Yep. First Power Adaptor. Finally, a useful weapon, unlike Mega Man Fight. Right, next, Blizzard Man. And you even got an adapter. Hook that up to your radius. Yep. The Reminds game is Buffalo. Alright, the Canadian guy. That's racist. Oh, yeah, the one, Why is it the one that won? Yeah, in the <laughs> contest. I gotta admit, that was very offensive. I said sue, sue Capcom. Yeah, Canada's not always cold. Yeah, it's actually pretty cold here right now. So they're right. <laughs> what are you, Australia? <laughs> Quit being cold when it's supposed to be summer. I like the remix, remix music in the uh, PS2 version of Eggman 6. You mean like in the collections? Yeah. It was a remix? Yeah. It, can... it has some remix music. That's interesting. You didn't know that? No, I was kidding. <laughs> no. I mean, I don't need. I had no need to play them since I own the, the real cards. Real cards? What's that? I just Card emulated yeah. all my stuff. Ryan. <laughs> Why do you know me? Well, I thought I knew you. <laughs> it's all a lie. It's all green screen. It's always green screen. <laughs> oh, look, Splatoon. Get your game today. Get it? Because it's a Fire and Ice meets Mega yeah. Man 6? Yeah, you can't even con commentate in Splatoon. I guess, you know, they don't want the whole Xbox Live instant. Yeah, Platoon's a great game. For Splatoon. They can't hit you yeah, in switch I... rooms. Right. <laughs> Transforming. More than meets the eye. <laughs> it's kind of weird, yeah. You know what else is weird? Um, uh, the fact that the spikes are, uh, closer to you. I thought they were supposed to be Mega Man. Where's the hardness? <laughs> oh wait, that was in Mega Man 3 with Hard Man. That's right. Silly me. There's still some relative challenge in this game. It's not, like, super hard or anything, but it does have its moments. Unlike Mega Man 5, which was way too easy, and dumb, and stupid, 
and hard to play because it was so bad. It's so bad. Yeah. Yeah. These platforms those. right here remind me of Yoshi's Island, which I just finished on the Ron Moore channel not too long ago. Good plug. Except, uh, <laughs> when we first step on these, they blow up. Like on the Yoshi's Island, you can step on like three times and then they disappear. It also reminds me of those platforms in Mario World. Oh, what? Yeah, well, I guess Yoshi's Island stole the idea from this since it came out a year later on the yep. Super NES. Maybe they took a page out of the first Mario World. Alright, now let's take a page out of Blizzard Man because he is, um, he's like a book. <laughs> because he's, we're gonna rip right through him, like, I don't know. <laughs> Come on, Canadian man. Canadian man. Has a maple yep. leaf, and he's like, hey, hey, what's going on, eh? Let's, uh... <laughs> Ski right over him, eh? Yeah. We'll go for it afterwards. Yeah, I wouldn't have been surprised if they had actually made the decision of being like, well, this... Oh, the guy who made this guy was a Canadian. Let's just make it all, like, uh, Canadian-themed. <laughs> yeah, you fight protein robots, and... I don't know, there's pretty much nothing else about Canada that's too special. We have ketchup chips, but you probably have that in the States too. I, we're America. We get it all. <laughs> Alright, Blizzard Man just got fired. Oh, we got the B attack, so the... Is that the, is that the bull <laughs> attack? Blizzard attack. How about the, uh, how about the Batista attack? Uh, here comes the lamest robot master ever, Plant Man. Jeez, really? <laughs> Wait, did he come from the Flower Garden and Lil Nemo the Dream Master? Oh, look at me, I'm a flower. What? I thought I just no, he's from away, plucking away all his petals. She loves no, me. He... Not. She loves me. Just freaking tear him apart. No, oh, he's from the forgotten area. I wish he was forgotten. <laughs> hey. hey, man, I I I really like plants. <laughs> uh, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Plant man, that sounds very cool. <laughs> Yeah, don't let Flame Man and Plant Man hang out together. It's gonna be a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> we are joined by Butthead. <laughs> we we already yeah. did the LP, Shameless Plug. Yeah. What a what a what a let's play. Or as I like to say, let's pretend. That's pretend pretend Plant Man don't this pretend Plant Man don't exist. <laughs> Too late, yeah, you're in this world like now. The, yeah, it's almost like the Mega Man 5 Robot Master. It's very dumb. Well, it could have been he, worse. It could have been Flower Man. Could have been Choo Choo Man. Flower Man, let's just, uh, the, the flower you cook with. Could have been Crystal Meth Man. This is Walnut Man right here? What the... <laughs> is this the Woodman stage now? <laughs> I'm um, pretty much. No, we're in Spring Man. We've already they've already predicted their Mega Man uh what was it? Uh seven inclusion of Spring Man or was that eight? Ah, that I was forget. seven, yep. Yeah. Alright, cool. Spring Man was seven. I fight this giant walnut again. Yeah, He's Flower a Borilla. Man is gonna be Mega Man twelve. You mean eleven? We just have to figure out what words they haven't used yet. Oh uh, way to skip eleven. Not even gonna give that one a chance? <laughs> no. It's gonna be right. It's gonna be like Ryan's five. Yeah, they're gonna make a new Mega Man Eleven. I guess in about oh. years, and it's gonna probably suck. <laughs> Whoa, the instant respawn, man! They got better with the uh, the respawn in these games. Yeah. <laughs> I could totally tell that was legit. Ah, oh, come on! Oh. <laughs> yeah, look at that! You res you it's jumped magic. right out of the water. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> what magic! Come on, open up. There we go. Soundtrack in the PS2 version here, that was pretty good. Oh, that was not good. Right, just like, no, you're wrong. OG is best. Well, I'm going to have to take a listen to that then. 
see how different it is. Come on, it's been so long since go. I played it. <laughs> it's I, been so long. I have to long. remember. Whoa. Time to spring into action here. The spring yard zone. <laughs> oh! It's springtime. Ah, oh, that's not fair. Now I think it's the spring too. Why not? It's fair. Uh, it's it's spring equality. It's not spring anymore. The summer's around the corner. Or it's still spring, but not for Jerry, long. Jerry, Jerry Springer. <laughs> Is there Jerry Springer, Jerry Summer, Summer? Springer. I, I don't even know her. Right now we got Weed Man or <laughs> it looks so <Nope>. stupid. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Man. And guess what? It's just a stupid shield. <laughs> it's just a yeah, clone of, of a shield skull barrier from. Yeah. <laughs> it is Wood Man. <laughs> oh come on. Okay, we need yeah. our Wood Stage. I better not lose the plant, man. <laughs> nah, you got this. Yep, your sprinkles are doing awesome on it. Oh, come on. Ah! Nice. Nice jab. <laughs> and now you get the generic shield weapon. Yeah. That's pretty much found in the every skull big barrier. Oh, the skull the shield. Three flowers! Oh! The jewel thingy from Mega Man 9. Plant yeah, barrier. that was cool. And that is the end of part one of Mega Man 6. We see you guys in part two. Until then, guys, let's take care. Welcome to Let's Play Mega Man 6, part two. This is Ron Moore, along with, once again, Star Soldier and the Wii Guy. Yeah, that's us. Yeah, we're here. Yay. Now Welcome. we face the Tonka Man. <laughs> Tomahawk. The Tonka. Points of reference? Well, the few times the game actually has Parallel Strong and it's this level. But, yeah. you know, whatever. <laughs> yeah, good track right here in this stage. Yeah, very nice and bouncy. Yeah, I would agree. Probably one of the best from the main eight. Okay, that, that that little enemy right there is from Mega Man 4. <laughs> oh, it's a B-Tool machine. Look, you, you know what they say, reuse and recycle. Yeah. In a Mega Man game? Never. Me too. Yeah, <laughs> they never recycled anything from Mega Man. <laughs> yeah. I look how the sprite difference in... Oh wait, Mega Man looks exactly the same. Never mind. <laughs> the hard hats, uh... Dirter scoots to the Mega Man hits, right? <laughs> Do what? I think I've been in Eddie. Too. Yeah, he's exclusive to Mega Man hits. <laughs> no, he's been in I think, four and five. <laughs> I'm looking at the beautiful sunset. Ah, the sunset. They stole that from Rygar. <laughs> <laughs> from Cigar? What's it called? No, no, what is this, Skull Man stage now? Get out of here. Those me tools, they're such tools. Come on, Ronnie. <laughs> You're better than that. What? <coughs> yeah, miss <that? coughs> you, you know. Better than the jokes. <laughs> I was choking on spit for You a need bit. NyQuil, man. <laughs> yeah. You mean, I need NyQuil man, or I need NyQuil man? <laughs> NyQuil man, <laughs> yeah. From Mega Man 11. You need some NyQuil man. <laughs> I don't. When I'm choking, See you in the future, the man. No. Yeah, Michael I, I, puts I, me no, to sleep. Why would I need that? You need some plant, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't know those me tools are called me tools for the longest time. I was called them hard hats. I guess I, mean, I read that in, in an NES game atlas or somewhere. I forgot where I read it. Technically, they're called me tools. I'm like what? Oh well. What the heck hit it? Ah. Oh come on! I'm totally hit. Oh, it's gonna be close. I don't think you're strong enough. Forget it. I don't, don't want to die in the spikes. <laughs> I 
I guess Mega Man oh. don't like Spike Lee. <laughs> Spike. That's racist. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you think why do you think Mega Man has to have uh, an agenda with yeah. with race? He's just a robot. Yeah. yeah speaking of races, here's Tom Hawk Man. Yeah, really. <laughs> Can't be as bad oh, as uh, too bad stereotype. Yeah, it's yeah. not as bad as uh for was it Flame Man? Yeah, because I mean he was like Turban and all that jazz. Yeah, ah oh, fail. It's alright, let me start over with full energy. I mean he doesn't look Native American. I mean besides the you know the the that's hair, it. that's about it. Yeah. yeah. Oh wait, I did something stupid right there. I was trying to fill up on energy, I forgot to start over. <laughs> so give him give him the F blast. Wait, so I got quick boomerangs now? Oh cool. Yeah, so there's a lot of stereotypical robot masters in this game. Well, you know. Yeah, but I kinda like that. You know, being part of Native American and all I you know, it's a good Yo, know, good to have a native character in the game. Wait, you're part Native American? Yep. Oh, cool. <laughs> Did you notice my skin was kind of dark? No. <laughs> and I have he's a funny accent. Oh, oh come on, oh, hair. Don't lose a night wolf. Come on. I, mean, I can hear Ryan being, you know, saying things in like Native American language. Yeah. He's got the deep voice for it. Yeah. The snobby. <laughs> the snobby. <laughs> And he goes, hey, how are you? Hey, how are you? Fail. <laughs> <laughs> Is it Bobby the Brain oh, in reference? He's doing. <laughs> My people. Alright, so now I defeated Tomahawk Man. And I get Silver Tomahawk. Ah, Silver T. Is that like Mr. T? It's T Hawk. Yeah. Alright, here we go next. I predict Windman. Damn it! Yamato man. <laughs> tomato Yamato? Man. Yamato tomato. Yeah. Does the impregnable fortress? Yeah. Oh my goodness. What what are they hinting at yeah. there? This is racist, it's too Japanese. Yeah. <laughs> this is music. No, go go break the thing. Aw. Yeah. Lame. What thing? I even know notice a thing. There's a thing at the bottom you could have smashed with your power suit. Oh, SC2K is a thing. <laughs> yes, it sure is, Ronnie. <laughs> what? Oh, wait, video is a thing. A what? A video is a thing. Yeah. Pencils are things. Yeah. <laughs> How did we get at this topic? I don't know. <laughs> Look, Mega Man brings out the most, yeah. the deepest of, uh, of commentaries. We had to talk about your mentals. Yeah. Whatever the stage is. Yamato? Yeah. yeah. The heck is a Yamato anyway? <laughs> you mama so fat that she has to beep up when she bats up. Or beep Wait, or... what? <laughs> what? <laughs> you mama so fat that she's... <laughs> really, really fat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's like an anti-joke. I just yeah. destroyed a robot from Mega Man 5. <laughs> Oh, please don't remind me of that game. All right, I thought Jay was with us for a minute. Oh, oh, oh it's like really bad. Oh, oh. Okay, I hope it went down. I hope it went down the right path. Right there, cause <laughs> some of these stages have the fake robot master, and you have to continue on through the stage. That's a thing. Yeah, you know that? No, I've stupid? always played through. I played through this game flawlessly. Right. You get the Wii no, I have. Well, I mean, you know, once again, it, like this, this is still like among the easier, easier ones. It's like you know, I don't know, like number three easiest. <laughs> no, number five is still the easiest and still the worst. I was waiting for Star Soldier to say something. <laughs> I don't know. I usually, I would. Hmm. I I. <laughs> I have to think. I have to think about it or mm. play it again. Think fast. No. <laughs> I remember. It, I remember oh. four being quite easy. Yeah. Yeah. Four. To me, bosses had a lot of energy to them, though. I guess so. At least make me five. Turned out the Mega Buster. Holy crap! Took yep. a lot of hits. I hated fighting Pharaoh, man. Oh yeah. He wasn't. He didn't fight Pharaoh. Yeah. 
Hi, Yamato Man. I'd rather eat a Ferrero Rocher than fight Barrel Man. <laughs> okay. Okay, so he has a spear, so that it's narrowing it down a bit. Yeah. Y okay. Yamato. Uh, I, I give up. Yes, there we go. <laughs> I'm gonna say it has to do something with ancient Japan. Yeah. Yamato was so fat. She, I thought she was a sumo wrestler from Japan. <laughs> oh, man, jeez. <laughs> I don't think there's even female sumo wrestlers. Not that I know of. Yamato Spear. Nobody would want to see that. I would. Well, I'm a sumo well, that's, that, that's, yeah, why well, not? That's just, well, that's just BBW at that point. Well, speaking of ECW, uh, the next robot match we're going to face, Nightman, who was created not by Capcom, but by Nintendo Power Contest winner. Oh, sweet Nightman. I uh, forgot the name. I got to do research on that. Savior of the night, man. Ah, uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I wish you go night, night rider, man. Yeah, cool, cool track in the stage two. And uh, yeah, I mean, I really like the remix version of PS2 for the uh, Mega Man Anniversary Collection. But yeah, I don't know the name. I forgot the names. I gotta look them up again. There are two contest winners. Nintendo Power yeah. Magazine. Michael Mark. Douglas and Ryan, Ryan, Ronnie Green. Ryan Juno. Right. Yes. <laughs> you, you, you were the Canadian. I'll, I'll cool. just take the credit. <laughs> Watch out for these Mario 3 spikes here. Man, that's not fair. I'm trying to rush through there and then they try to stop me. <laughs> they try and stop me. robot design. Yeah. Oh, jeez, I thought you were going to find the spikes. I would have laughed. And I would have slapped you. No. Take... No, you wouldn't. Oh, there we go. Yeah, don't slap, man. That would be a cool robot master. Slap, man. This is a... Yeah. <laughs> you get pimp slap. You get a... You get a... Yeah. You get backhand. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they really put that in the Mega Man game. Yeah. Give it a nice teen read into it. The robot is the shape of Master Hand. Nah, I just want like a fan or someone to do like a ROM hack. Or just create it from the ground up, do like an M rated Mega Man and just have like the most obscene kind of robot masters. <laughs> yeah. Penis man. Ah uh, what? <laughs> Come on. I don't think I don't think he could. That joke wasn't that funny. Come on. Don't lose <laughs> your concentration. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Yeah, they should have. Uh, I know this is NES, but uh, it'd be kind of cool if they had like, uh, I guess, uh, where we're at in the castle. It's like dungeons now, like have people being chained against the wall, being tortured, or maybe robot robots being tortured to be more politically correct. <laughs> Nintendo of America wouldn't wouldn't like that. Yeah. Or just the whatever the standards, the policies. Yeah. What is that nerd robot? There needs to be lightning in the background. That'd be more cool. Just like in Kung Fu Kid. So was he gonna take you back to the past to play some crappy games that really suck? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Background here. You know, that probably would have really solidified this this final Mega Man. Summon like it's, it's nineteen ninety four. I mean, yeah, they could have added some cooler cooler effects in the background. Yeah. I mean god, there were games probably in ninety one that were doing that before, you know. Yeah. Before ninety four. Yeah, they could have done some, like, little Samson, or, you know, Return of the Joker sort of, like, effects, but, no. Yeah, and once again, <laughs> they, were just rush, they were just rushing it out. Heck, <laughs> rush. Just make yeah, it rush. better one. <laughs> yeah. Do exactly the same stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They'll buy it anyways. And then Kakon said, okay, don't make any more. Yeah. I oh, mean, this is hard. I'm we lost get... any Funi. Just power, just power hit that thing. Or, oh, you can okay. hit that thing? Yeah, well, I mean, I remember doing that. Ah, shoot. I guess because... Ah, I'll try to, try to get... <laughs> I try to get invincible Lights for a few bad. seconds. I try to get inv invincible for a few seconds and I can walk on the spikes to get to the door. Kind of find out that's the wrong door anyway. The real robot master is up here. Oh, that doesn't make sense considering how the bottom one was kind of like hidden. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it just helps you get letters, eh? Or... Yeah. Oh yeah, that's the thing. 
Nightman, cool concept, but weak Robot Master. <laughs> yeah, it's like day and night. But that's all he does. Like, yeah. There's difficulty. Yeah, day and night, man. Look how easy that was, man. Talk about Mega Man Five being easy. <laughs> Charge Man was more challenging than that. Yeah, well, we I think they were just like, hey, he's a, like, hey, he's a really cool design, but uh, we got nothing for our last Robot Master. Let's give him the simplest pattern. Yeah. <laughs> they could have had him on a robot horse with a lance and coming after him. I don't know. Ooh. But anyway. That is it for part two. We see you guys in part three of Mega Man 6. Until then, God bless. Take care. Mega out. Oh. Fail. I mean, that guy's mega out. Six. <laughs>
I wonder what input they have besides being like, yeah, we'll publish this one here in North America. Yeah, if King Nintendo said, alright, we'll just put a name on it, that's it. <laughs> Upside down water, that's epic. Yeah, there we, here we go. Creative ideas. Yeah, there you go, NES. Yep. Taking advantage of the system. Just as creative as Gravity Man stage was in Mega Man 5. Ah, yeah. come on. Pretty good. Oh, get out of there. Oh, just made it. Make it before you take it. Oh, where'd the water go? <laughs> where'd the rum go? Where rum gone, I feel. Where, where? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Alright, there's Eddie Guerrero. Hey, Eddie. Eddie. <laughs> Did you know he... Yeah. Should be like two more of him. Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Two more went inside of him. <laughs> No, two came out of him. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. Christ. This, reminds me of, ah! this reminds me of Mega Man 3 <laughs> here in uh, Gemini Man stage the water part. I guess. I wish we could have Rush Marine here, but I guess you don't need that much. Yeah, you... <laughs> yeah, Rush is busy being a part of you so you can have your punching and jetpacking. Yeah. Yeah. He's trying to be more than meets the eye. Yeah. Transform it. More oh, than just the, the, uh, the rough. Yeah. What? Because he's a dog. <laughs> oh, that was rough. There you go. See, I'm just setting he's up a giant joke vacuum cleaner here. Yeah, it's just like you, it sucks. <laughs> oh, background of Bubble Man stage here, they're trying to attempt. More like bubble gum. Alright, now we'll get ready to fight Centaur Man. I don't know why I said it like that. Or like Centurred Man. <laughs> Stan Birdman? More like Stan Lee Man. <laughs> here we go, here we go, Centaur Man. Is he more like a man? <laughs> Be a man. Be a man. Use the night power. Yeah, that's the moon name of the movie, The Night Terror. <laughs> the Nightmare. The Nightmare. Now how do centaurs freeze time and teleport? I didn't know they could do that. He's a wizard. He's Gyroman's, uh, I mean, uh, whoever was Robot Master was, made me father. Yeah, yeah, Gyro hold. Break man. Break, break Tamlin. I need a break after this. A Kit Kat bar? Yeah. Kit Kat man. <laughs> yeah, it's Cat Man. Like, Mega Man should seem to always chalk up our names. Yeah. Hershey Man, uh, it's Twix Man, Snicker Man, Beach Tea Parts, Butterfinger Man. Yeah. Beach Tea Parts, ooh. Yeah, use Bart Man to fight Butterfinger Man. Mmm, yum yum. Alright, oh, Wind Man. Alright. Uh, uh, the, the other robot master that was created by someone not with Capcom. He or really not. Close. He was the Canadian winner or the American? I think he was the American one. Well, one of them was Michael Leader, I think the name, and another one, Daniel something. That I might be totally off. Daniel, Canadian last name? Uh, Jano. Yeah. <laughs> That's an awesome name. Hey, That's quite awesome. Hey. Dang it, freaking World Wildlife Fund Panda that sued Dota B is trying to kill me here. <laughs> I would ask about that, but I don't know. Yeah, points of reference. Well, yeah. basically, yeah, yeah, the basically, only references you ever do. They sued the WWE for having the letters WWF. Oh, we had it first, and so that's why it's WWE now instead of WWF. Oh, well, that's that whole thing. So yep. that's why it's that now. Yep. Yeah, well, it's like, also Canadian company, too, I believe. Mm. Well, different companies can have the same uh, abbreviations. Not according to World Wildlife Fund. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, watch out right here. Ah! This stage blows. <laughs> that, was, that was my response to your joke there. Yeah. Just a... Just a <laughs> yep. The quiet cough in the midst of silence. <laughs> where where this, when you, when you select Wind Man, where did it say it, the stage takes place at? Um, I think it says Chicago, I assume. Chicago? What? 
<laughs> Why Chicago? <laughs> it's the Windy the City. Windy City. Is that really? I've never been there. Yeah, me either, but... Come on, I'm Canadian and I knew that. <laughs> yeah. Of course, you're closest to Chicago. I've been, I've... Well, actually, wait, no, you're not. Or are you? I don't know. Yeah, you are. Because <laughs> you're on the far end of Canada. Yeah. To the east. Love the track to stage. Panda bear. Ah! I thought it was a fan. Ow. Dang, I'm so used to fans blow me up. I thought <laughs> That's it was not a very fan. sad panda. Bonnie, you can't rely on your fans. I know, right? <laughs> now, uh, what? Hold on. Oh. Wow, you really suck. Here we go. Oh. Dang it. That wasn't even a wind joke there. I thought you sucked. You That's just the sucked. stupidest thing about transforming into that, that you can't slide. It would yeah. be the perfect uniform if you could just keep your slide. Well, yeah, but the, the propellers in the back, you can't fit through certain areas. That's why you can't slide. Yeah, he's got too much junk in the trunk. Yeah, like Junk Man. That's right. Maybe I was thinking Junk Man, not Jump Man. I don't know. And then they met if, up if, if the Robot man. Master's going to be white, it, it's not going to work. It, Never mind, that's a racist reference. That's a racist reference. No drunken drunk, 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 drunk man. Yeah. <laughs> Flat butt. What? Yeah, the girl's got no junk in the trunk. Mm. Flat ass. Yeah. I think that's way racist towards white people. Yeah. Oh! Oh, too much, too much blowage. Yeah. Yeah. Ha! Oh, come on! <laughs> <laughs> oh. This stage just makes you want to get glowed. Jeez, jeez. I, I can see the frustration there. <laughs> but do, doesn't it, don't you mean you want to blow off steam? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Maybe this video will go viral and we'll blow up. <laughs> yeah, the only thing that's gonna yeah, blow up is Man. Yeah. Or Air Man. Windman vs. Airman. Alright. Or stupid look at Robot Master Man. <laughs> I don't look that stupid. I mean, he won the contest. Yeah, he did. Nightman and Windman were good concepts. <laughs> they had to come. They see, Capcom was running out of ideas, so they said, let's get some help. Let's, let's, get, some, let's get some North American help on this. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, screw Europe. <laughs> <laughs> we don't get enough sales. I have the power of the wind! Windstorm. Ooh, the, the West Storm. Oh, he stole the air tornadoes. No, they're gray, see, and they don't <laughs> fly up. It's different. Yeah. Totally different. Yeah. Totally rad. Alright. Make man to sue. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Capcom USA should sue Capcom Canada as we get ready to go to Mr. X's stage in part four. I bet the streets are really going to be mad with this one. Yeah. Until then, God bless. And take care. This is going to be exciting. Excellent. <laughs>
because obviously this is the appetizer before we get to the real uh, castle. I love this track right here. That's a Cossack? It's <laughs> another Cossack. Jeez, man, I hate these grand things getting balls. You hate balls in the face, eh? Yeah. Alright, balls to the wall. Man, that's hardcore. Your face is no, hardcore. No, wait, there's two moons. There's a blue and green moon. What is going on? Billy Two Moons from Tattoo Assassins? Wow. I don't course. even know what that is. <laughs> that's a horrible reference. No points for reference. <laughs> Yeah, it's a game that wasn't officially released. Well, it was in the arcade, but yeah. I wonder why. <laughs> tattoo assassins? What do you go around just putting tattoos on people without their permission? It's the worst version of survival arts. Survival arts? That's survival horror <laughs> if I've ever heard of it. Yeah. It's another version of Bloodstorm. Tiny oh. Killers. I uh, blatant rip off of Mortal Kombat. All right, and go down here real quick. No, oh, dang it. Nope. No, you're not. <laughs> well, I did, but I couldn't. Like, you didn't choose a, choose a cool yeah. path. There was a broken window earlier you could have took. Yeah, since we're watching footage, so it's hard to do that now. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, we're playing this live as I use the plant barrier. One day we will have these Let's Plays be live. Yeah. Streaming on Twitch. No, because we get swatted. <laughs> Again? Yeah. Home. That's a, that's a sixth time this month. Yeah. The cops never believe me. <laughs> I just tell them I'm playing Mega Man 6 and they're like, that's, that's no, that's bad. I'm gonna swat you. <laughs> Only if it's Mega Man 5 will they swat. I'm about to swat you in the face. Move, move, move. Now wait a minute here. You talk about Mega Man 5 being fruity. What is this? This has got it's pink purple. levels too. Purple is awesome. Purple is pink prince. You're colorblind. You're more colorblind than I am. That's pink. This is fruity delicious. Yeah. Mm. You got Plant Man and pink walls. This game is pink more fruity. Think of it as grape and strawberry flavored. This game is Ooh. more fruity than fruity pebble. <laughs> Oh, I like that. I like the sounds of that. I use a rush jet again. It's constant switching. You have to do that, Mega Man Five. I can't wait for the HD remake where they map it to uh, to a trigger. Oh wait, it's not gonna be. That's not gonna happen because we're already getting the what is it, the Legacy Collection for Mega yeah. Man. Yeah. Just straight up ports, or apparently they are like HD scaled ish. Ah, who knows? Yeah. <laughs> it's what I thought the original Mega Man collection was supposed to be. Nah, with stuff like that, it's just basically, let's just take the, these ports and put them on mo the, at the time, modern consoles. I wonder if they're gonna, if GameStop's gonna release another Mega Man shirt. What, was that like a promotional thing? Yeah. Remember my Trippy Jake's Gemini video? I had the Mega Man, Ma Mega Man 2 robot shirt. Oh, that's from GameStop? Huh. Yeah. That didn't sink in. It's back when they were cool. <laughs> back when they did Everybody that was cool back then sucks now. GameStop, Crapcom, Konami. Even Why Nintendo. Be cool? Yeah, even Nintendo for some people. <laughs> Come they, on, uh, they weren't that bad this year. No pun Except Nintendo. Except for that stupid Metroid game. Oh, man. <laughs> no Samus Metroid. Yay. Yay, I can't wait to play Metroid Prime Colonial Marines. <laughs> I don't know, it might not be Junior. Bad. <laughs> Junior. <laughs> yeah. They all look like, you know, chippy characters. Alright, here's a weird looking boss. Oh, dude, the, the, the wall machine that throws rocks. Man, that's my favorite. Yeah, he's a tomahawk. Uh, chop, whatever it's called, Tomahawk Chop. Tomahawk Chop. Can I buy that from the, uh, the shopping network? I to buy Val. What is this, Will of Fortune? What's your Pat Sajak looking? Uh, oh, you I'll take you guys an idiot for 500, Alex. Oh wait, that's Jeopardy. Never mind. 
Big bucks, big bucks, no whammies, no whammies. And <laughs> stop! Do you smell what these rods are cooking? <laughs> yeah. Dang, they're cooking me right now. I think the recipe is death. Break down the wall, Robot Jericho. Yeah. Break down the wall! Free Berlin! Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, not the wrestler. Why am I surprised that there's a wrestler? Oh, man. There's a wrestler called Berlin? Yeah. Yeah, for a very brief period. He bodyguard, he had a bodyguard, his name was The Wall. Can't stop The Wall. Jeez. Oh, wow, gonna... this is... Oh, boy. You're gonna need yeah. some length, some reach. Yeah. Come on. Yes. Wow. Talk about a close call. Yeah. That was just mayhem. Close Skype call? At least we're almost done. Yeah. Yep. Just two more stages. Yep. And that'll <laughs> yeah. be the entire game. Yeah, oh, that'll be done with the yeah. game. Yep. You ready to fight, Mr. X? I already got my scores ready. I'm gonna give this a uh, man out of ten. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, F's out of X. Perfect ten. That's why they call it Mega Man X. Because that will be the new name for Mega Man. After you defeat, you know, Mr. X, he'll say, Congratulations, Mega Man, you're now X. Alright! Okay, That's and... Yeah. But Brian knows his facts, man. Get the E-barrels. And Mega Man will say, all right, that's an excellent name. I'll keep it. <laughs> Remember Dr. Oh, Hard uh, Snow at everything. Remember and Al I'll Snow? Be a whole lot smarter. You remember Al Snow was having Dr. Harden with him and, um, makes, I know he was helping Steve Blackman to get charisma. And he had Dr. Harvey Wolfman out there as the Easter egg. And he goes, Hap have an excellent Easter, Steve. Steve Blackman <laughs> just got mad and just kicked Al Snow. I don't remember that. <laughs> well, anyway, here's about to something that's cool to remember. Mega Man 6. Oh, well, that's not cool to remember right there. Oh, no, this is a good game. No, I mean, well, I failed. <laughs> well, we got to try throwing the words because he hasn't said nothing. No. It's only been a minute. Don't worry. I'm, I'm waiting for my time to strike. What is this, the Magus podcast? Oh, thank you. Oh, look at you talking smack. Time to die. Played a smack down on you. Smack. You never heard of SmackDown? Come on, even non wrestling fans have heard that word. No, I'm just. I was trying to. I thought that was a rush hour reference. But that's uh, just. Well, The Rock invented it. Yeah. Oh, get that one. Yeah, that's there an extra go. man. Oh, you, that's like that death never even happened. You could have just cut it from the, from the, from the run. Go. What from the run? That death. <laughs> nah. I thought this was deathless. We're not watching a speed run. I've been no, like, this ain't, this ain't one of my challenge videos. That I failed. That's okay. We all can't be perfect at Contra. We all can't be Skip Rogers either. Skip Rogers don't know jack about Jim Power though. Oh yeah. <laughs> Jim Powers, the WCW jobber. Just, just plain old Jim Power. Oh. The video game. Earthworm Jim Power? Yes, yeah. I reviewed that game, man. Cornshack did, too, I think. He through. doesn't review games. He does? Play I know, just, make, just making a joke. Well, you know. I just consider his things informational walkthroughs. Yeah. At the get, yeah, at the end, he does, does a little brief analysis saying, This game is horrible. I don't like it. I don't know why I play it for so long. <laughs> Only those with the true test of might can be able to prevail in such difficult games. I hope Cornshack isn't watching. That was a horrible impression. Well, time you to send this video to Cornshack. 
After that Bullwinkle video, it's like, man, shh, unsubscribe. <laughs> hey everyone, Bullwinkle here! Ah, <laughs> uh, my favorite. Yep, much- I mean, oh, this game's much better than Rocky and Bullwinkle, so let's try to talk more about this. Nah, uh, Rocky and Bullwinkle's the game of the year. <laughs> Bell of the year? In the dustpan. Tom Sawyer for NES is better than that game. Oh, I love Tom Sawyer. That's a pretty good game. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. Much better than Rocky and Bullwinkle. Yeah. Ah! Nice. Okay, now I'm Brock Lesnar, man. Oh, not no more. Now I'm... Now, now you're out of commentary. <laughs> yeah, man, yeah. It's always, always come down... It always comes down to the references to, to the wrestling. Yep. Why don't you get into something else like hockey? Get some hockey references. Alright, well, here's Wayne Gretzky now. Wait, what? I tried, and... Are you, you going to take off your skate and try and stab somebody? Yeah. Well, speaking of hockey, uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin did drive that Zamboni to the ring and attack Vince McMahon. Oh, God. Now, you just see, oh, here's a hockey related, I guess. Blizzard attack, because it's cold and ice. <laughs> Stone Cold? Yeah. <laughs> Ain't that right, Star Soldier? Oh, yeah. Cold in Canada? <laughs> yep. Actually, it's quite warm here. Oh. <laughs> kind of humid. That's racist we got. Racist? Come on. That's, that's country is or Canada is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Canada? It's never cold here in Canada. Yeah. Alright, the final stage of the game, next. Yeah, thank goodness for global warming. <laughs> it's all a conspiracy. <laughs> thank goodness for the final level here. Oh. Here we go, a X Castle. Yeah. <laughs> the same awesome track again. Na 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 Easy dub. Whoa, oh, wait. Did I just see a cut? What? Yeah, but why would they only have one music for the final few stages? I don't know. Oh, wait. Unless there's more stages after this, but Catcom, they wouldn't do that. Yeah. No, never. Not the sixth time. Yeah, really, they wouldn't do that again. Come on. Uh, yeah, actually, in the first few Mega Man, they didn't do that sort of junk. Yeah. Okay, so, <laughs> the third time. Maybe it'll be Sigma this time. Yeah. Or Bowser. <laughs> Bowser. <laughs> Maybe it'll Ooh. be a twist, Dr. Light. What he twist? Maybe, maybe a pretzel. Pretzel yeah. twist. Yeah, I'm trying to get the E. Move! Maybe it'll be the movie Twister. <laughs> yeah. Bill Paxton. <laughs> Helen Hunt. Um, Philip Seymour Hoffman. Hey, the E's over here. I could have gotten the E over here the whole time. I thought I'd slide over there and get it. How stupid am I? I think I have a problem. It's not healthy to get the E. Yeah. E's for ECW. Now I'm in ECW mode. Now the E stands for idiot. <laughs> Excellent. Wait. <laughs> no, you're right. Starts with the knee. Let's start with the net. Oh. Ah, oh, no, no. Watch out, beat. You're supposed to be on my side. What is this, Flappy Bird or Angry Bird? Uh -huh. He can't be beat. Yeah. Beat, 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 beat. Go base side. Wow. There's a points for reference. <laughs> <laughs> Anything that reminds me of Kelly Kapowski, you know, is a good reference. Yeah. I remember when we guy was in those episodes. I mean, no, that's Screech. My bad. How dare you compare me? How dare you? For, for, how dare you? <laughs> Think of me as somebody else. Because like, you're smart. Uh, that's why. You're smart. I'm the one and only Wee guy. Because you're a nerd in, in a good way. I mean, I did beat Jim Power, so... High, yeah. high level props there. Well, I could do it too, if I cheated. No, with a game like that, you can't cheat. You gotta go hardcore or it's nothing. <laughs> what, you think I you're gonna try and play the game for fun? Yeah. 
I play for championships. Yeah, of course. I can't wait to become the Gym Power World Champion. <laughs> Jeez, that'd be an accomplishment. I mean, the game it does have a high score, so or a score, so it could happen. Yeah. yeah I had to check the database, see if it's on there. Probably not. Who the heck would run that game? It has a score on it. I, I want you. You need to get the Action Figure Two Championship. <laughs> I don't even think that game is on the database. Yeah. That one color of dinosaur and not on a database. <laughs> but not color a dinosaur. Oh man. Collar or dinosaur, yeah. How about co color this game with more pink and purple stuff? Well, color me. Well, color me purple. Purple stuff. Pink. Sun, purple stuff. Sunny D. Oh wait. <laughs> <laughs> I want oh, that. Geez. I want that. I, want I that always grape want drink. the purple stuff. Sunny I want D the is grape drink. Crap. Yeah. You hear that, Sunny D? You're not that good. I don't care if I, you drop me as a sponsor. Was that a rapper? Sunny D? I think that's a juice product. Here, Here it is, final, Mr. Final boss. X. Yep. Yep. Uh, uh, he totally did, did not it, look We did it! I forgot it's what weakness to over. use. I forgot, what we I forgot what weakness to use, so I'm using the Mega Buster here. Or the X Buster. The X Buster, Mr. X. He's gonna Man, you're giving. Mr. X. Don't he look like Dr. Wally? Transition into Mega Man X. He looks like Dr. Wally a little bit. I don't know. What makes you think that? Impossible. No way. <laughs> I don't My know what you're talking about. Domination has fa fa they spell failed wrong. Fail. Uh, fail. Whoa. What? <laughs> Again? I never saw that coming. Wow, oh Dr. Wally, my God. We, we'll see you guys in part five in the final part as we head to Japan to Dr. Wally's dojo. Until then, God bless and take care. Welcome to Let's Play Discuss, Mega Man 6. This is Ron Moore along with Star Soldier and the Wii Guy. More Mega Man action, times six. Yeah. And we actually get to find the face of Dr. Wily. Yep, here in Dr. Wily's dojo. Yeah, who would have seen that coming? I was totally caught off guard. Yeah. Oh, come on. The, the Brock Lesnar man right here can't bash the hard hats. They gotta wait till they peek their head out. Yeah, man. Head sensitive. Helmets are durable. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Fly this past where, everything. This is where you gotta really watch out for the spikes. Whoa! We did well there. Whoa! Dang! Oh. Here we go. This is oh. where it gets oh. serious. Yeah. <laughs> See, this is what it's all about with Mega Man: dropping and dropping and avoiding spikes. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait for the mobile Apparently game. He's the only one that can do. Yeah. Ah. Well, that was um. That was sad. <laughs> yeah, uh, here we go. Back here again. Oh, please let it happen again. Dang it! Ooh, close. Oh boy. Yeah, just use the rush shaft for Mega Man 3. Oh wait. Yeah. Ah! Uh, ah! Oh, so sad. Come on, come on, man. Come yes. on, man. Safe state. Yeah. I Who wish I could use safe states in Twin Galaxies. Oh, you're a bush. You use safe states. Safe states not approved. You use emulation. We don't believe in preserving games. Ronnie, how could you say that? 
think he was making fun of me. Oh. I said that to him yesterday. Oh. Wait, what? Oh, Jesus. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now just pretty much bash said that. Just bash the people that get butt hurt on emulation. <laughs> it's a it's a it's a problem, you see. Well the problem is this boss coming up right here. I think it's a dinosaur, I forgot. It's a dragon. Yep. Ooh. Oh, oh yeah. maybe it is a dinosaur. <laughs> Uh, he looks looks like a his head looks like a dragon, but his body is yeah dinosaur like. Ah, uh, what a great design! Look at all that color! Look at all that detail! Now this is truly pushing the limits. Well, maybe not pushing the limits so much, but I mean, hey, for 1994. And yes, had to have its graphic capab capabilities pushed to its core. Yeah. Look at these platformer controls right here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah. Uh oh. You know, it's just so weird that it doesn't move too much. <laughs> it basically just spits out some fireballs, gives you some platforms to shoot from. Oh, yeah, well, they weren't. They didn't spend a lot on the animation department, just the color department. Yeah. yeah. The, the color dinosaur department. Ugh. All right. That game is almost as bad as Mega Man Five. <laughs> Here he goes, Doctor Wally's. No, uh, Doctor Wally's dojo. Oh. Doctor Wily's son. <laughs> Doctor Wily's son or Doctor Wily's son? So would Doctor Wily be Mr. Miyagi? I guess not, as we go to Dr. Wally Stage 2. <laughs> Freaking Mega Man 4 enemy. No, that's a, that's a completely... No, he's completely original. That's, um, Bob. Bob... He's the Mega uh, Man 4. He's in Dustman Stage. I know that. Mm. Nah, you're just... He just a, looks just different. He's animated things. different, but he does the same thing. No, no. It's a room like that. Dr. Wally. <laughs> oh, hi, room. Grr. Yeah, get the jet ski. Alright. To trick Mega Man, we'll put a whole bunch of spuds on the floor, but he can still access the room if he jumps on reappearing platforms. I'm a genius! Yeah. You're a genius. And I'm a Guinness. No genius. Shameless plug. Oh boy. The, the track in this castle is not as epic as Mr. X's track. Yeah, but it's still yeah, nice. It seems kind of depressing. Yeah. No. Come on. I don't know. It seems fitting. It's the last Mega Man game on NES. You gotta go out on a on that kind on a note. A uh, disappointing and, note. <laughs> it's not yeah. a disappointing note. It's like a it's like a somber or like I don't know. Yeah. This should have gone out with a bang. We stop with Mega Man Five. All right, let's shoot some robots and everything and have this very join the music. Yeah. Oh, no, get no get away from me! Ah, oh, hate yeah. It's a blaster master. Yeah. When you see a flashing pea, grab it. And shoot the floating pieces. I mean, faces. <laughs> Jeez. Wait. There we go. Thank you, Air oh, Tornado. Damn. Alright. What were they thinking? Seriously, 
they really run out of ideas here for the design of the Skull Castle. I guess what else could they do? <laughs> a, uh, a tiki hut. I mean, it's, it's the fifth Skull Castle. Because remember the first one, there was no Skull Castle, just to Dr. White's Fortress, but... Two, three, four, five, and then six, like... Ah! Like, how many ideas he come up with for Skull Castle? So I guess they said, let's go to the dojo. Here we go, Dojo Castle. Oh. Oh! Skull Shack. Oh! Damn! Yeah, here we go. Ah! You should just use the, the jetpack. Yeah, but run down, <laughs> fall and die. Excuses, excuses. Are you facing an excuse? Yeah, these were from Mega Man 4 as well, weren't they? The turrets? Well, they're from yeah, every video so. game ever. Made. I think they might be in a ring <laughs> man. I'm about to say Rainbow Man. Uh, ring, ring Man stage. Rainbow Parade Man? I want, I want Rainbow, Rainbow Man. Stage. Man. You know, that stage in Mega Man 4 has the family feud music. So I'm gonna skip all that. It's just a what? boss rush. So let's Oh come go. on, but that's that's the that's like oh, that's we history. Seen, we done seen the I'm boss battles. I'm looking out to see all right now. <laughs> you wanna see the boss battles again? Boo, cop out. Yes. I actually did complete. That's how I got here. <laughs> so still, still wanna have interesting. You wanna see to the say. same redundant thing over and over again? This is a let's play, not a long play. Not that I don't love long plays, but, yeah. <laughs> but you don't like watching my four-hour barman video? Nope. <laughs> hey, Eddie. Thanks for giving me something I don't need. Yeah. <laughs> he does He does what he can, man. Trying to support his family. Well... I wish he would support me right here in my final battle. He did. Dr. You just weren't good enough. He didn't? I already had full energy. Could have gave me something else. Yeah, you just weren't good enough for him. Your face not good enough for him as I fight this giant sh street sweeper. Alright, now we're getting into some interesting concepts here for the final boss. Yeah, I forgot what point this was. Ugh. I guess that kind of works. Probably the best thing. With Nightman's weapon, I guess the difference is night and day. Day and night. Mm. All right, that's the first part of the battle. And that's it. Thank you all for watching. Oh, wait. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what's next? Hmm, my eating e e tanks. What's next? And after that. Okay, that still works. Okay, now I'm out. Yeah, this is, uh, this is quite easy. <laughs> Come on, Pete. Just... Beat it. <laughs> Just beat it, Pete. Come on, Pete. Pete! What are you doing? I'm doing nothing. I think you gotta Come send on, him at out. At least Pete did something <laughs> in Mega Man 5. Come on. He's getting the encouragement. I didn't do nothing. Let me do something here. No, really? You have to press it again to use him. You can't just have him on you and he'll... That's he what I'm doing! It. Really? No, uh, in Mega Man 5, so. in Mega Man 5, Beat would always detect where he would appear at next and automatically go after him. Right here, just follows you. But you don't need him, I'll just use Mega Buster. Pure skill now. I think I should use the... Tomahawk Chop, whatever it's called, but... I realized that after I recorded this, I'm just using Mega Buster. <laughs> Oh, we can tell you that now. Yeah. No, it's pre-recorded. Let's scrap the commentary and start over. <laughs> scrap the footage and start over. It's time to flip the script and get this LP over with. Time to flip the bill. Well, we'll recommend people to click on their link and yeah, they can see their strategy instead of ours. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or mine. I don't think that's best for business. Get some butthurt fanboys. Oh, you're an idiot. You're supposed to use your tomahawk, uh, I think, was this the first time you fight Dr. White three times? I think other games is two times. 
as far as like the final final battle is always like a two part battle, and this one's like three times. As Albert Einstein gets caught behind bars, Doctor Wowie is finally arrested. He got an arm? What? <laughs> what does that say, Doctor Wiley B? On? Oh, I don't know. On? B. B. <laughs> That's some foreign language. Yeah, it's German. What does it say over there? A little gibberish. This ain't no Mike Tyson's. It's like in prayer or something. If you're blind, you can blob. You know. Yeah. Maybe read it. At least in Mike Tyson's punch out, you can read the words and stuff. Yeah. But anyway, now here's the staff. Yeah, I'm going through it. All Snow the. Man. Yeah, Snowman. Snowman made everything. Snowman. There's a man. Eh. Snowman's land. <laughs> no, Lake Man. His younger relative is in Mega Man X3. Alright. This Raw Master is pretty cool. Probably the most unique, other than Splash Woman, of all Robot Masters. <laughs> Just because she's a woman. Oh, well, yeah. No, but watch out, we don't need Anita Sarkeesian come after us now. Yeah, because flame, man. We're gonna get flames. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna flame this video. Yeah, with Apu Man. Apu Man? <laughs> oh yeah, I hope you... Look, take that outside if you gotta do it. Night Man. Probably the weakest in this game. Well, now Plant Man about to be. <laughs> I don't know, I think Plant Man is actually a little bit more challenging than Night Man. I mean, the best offense was his defense, which is a shield created by Daniel Valley. Daniel! Now, Plant Man, gee, this is the stupidest robot master <laughs> probably in the whole series. <laughs> you got one of the cool tracks, though. Wait, it's. Wood. Yeah. Thanks a lot, No Puhuro yeah. Hashini Hashino. How does he know what a good robot master is? Alright. Tatanka Man. I mean, yeah, this one's my favorite. Tomahawk. Yeah, he's pretty sweet. Cheap J Strongbow Man. Yoshinobu Suda. Windman. The other Nintendo Power Contest winner. He's cute. Yeah, he's, he's alright. The... Isn't he the American? I guess. Michael the Leader, I think, created him. Sounds sounds American. Let's follow the leader and see who created Windman. Yep, Michael Leader. Yep. Good job, Michael. Yeah, the Mama Man. Or as Kramer from Seinfeld would say, hey, Yo mama! Oh, yo yo mama! <laughs> this makes some Seinfeld Robot Masters, Kramer hey, man. I don't know if that would be enough. Can't stand the man. <laughs> yeah. Can't stand ya! Can't stand ya! <laughs> I want a Newman man. So who's, New who's, man. Which one is the music composer? Oh, let me... I'm, it, it, it hasn't already passed, then let me see. I've already passed. Unless these are just, unless these are just like special things for some reason. Wait a minute, Mike. Here we go. Yeah, yeah this. Now these are the turkey. It has to be B and B. There we go. There, she, there he is. Yuko. Koshiro. Ah, oh, love you. <laughs> love you, Yuko sound composer. Yuko Zena? There was only one test player for the whole game. <laughs> yeah. That's how it was oh. back then. Didn't he raise his hand and say, hey, this plant man is stupid, can you change it? No! Get back to playing! And that to is be continued? Of... Yep. And... Not on the original Nintendo. Yeah. So that is the end of Mega Man 6. Some of you may remember back in 2008, me and Raven 
did a review of Mega Man 6, but at the time I, I recorded it off my DVD player or DVD recorder. It was Angel's DVD recorder. I was playing from uh, the PS2 version of Mega Man 6. And the review was pretty horrible because I didn't adjust the volumes right, but also I was using ABS recorder or something. And they had a stupid watermark on there that would appear every five seconds. And so, even though it was, a, I, don't know, it was I know it was a free version, but come on, I had to put the watermark flashing on there every five seconds. So I had to edit around that. So that's where there were like 20,000 jump cuts throughout the entire review every five seconds. And so that was frustrating, but um, I'm glad that I got to do it again on my channel a while back, and then I got to do it again here. Uh, I think Gen 2 or Wii I was supposed to originally do this, but something happened, and they never got around to doing it, so I wanted to go ahead and, and do it so we could finish the series here on S2K. Now we did all six games. Yay. Yay. Uh, so, yeah, Mega Man 6 here. I didn't really play it to 2004 when I got the collection for PS2. Great soundtrack um, and cool new concepts in the game, the power-ups Mega Man gets. Uh, I guess, uh, yeah, um, it's still Rush, but Rush, you know, Mega Man transforms to Rush or whatever. They become one, and pretty cool uh, power-ups there. Where you use the uh, Power Mega Man, then Rush Jet Mega Man, or whatever. And um, they also had like fake bosses, which was kind of frustrating. But I guess after the challenge, soundtrack is pretty good. Controls the same as any Mega Man game for the NES. Um, as far as challenge, eh, it's kind of challenging, kind of not. Uh, it's definitely not the hardest Mega Man game on NES, and of course. It's predictable, once again, because, oh, what a surprise, Dr. Wally's the boss, not Mr. X. I'm sure nobody saw that coming. So, um, at the time, I didn't really care to play Mega Man 6, because it came out around the time Mega Man X did. And I only cared to get my hands on Mega Man X. So, when I was a kid, I never played it up until you know, 2004, when I finally got to play it. And definitely not a bad Mega Man game. Um... So that said, I don't know, I might have to give it maybe an 8 out of 10. We got? Let's see here. Well, it's Mega Man 6, of course. The I think the only series on the NES that, of course, had an installment go to that number. And, of course, by this point, I mean, originality and, I guess, just surprises with, of course, Dr. Wily being Mr. X. I mean, that's all, like, it's all it's out the window immediately. There's no real anticipation or suspense there and all but i mean for what the sixth installment did gameplay wise yeah still the same jump and shoot go beat the robot masters it's still fun it's still good probably if you really look at it and compare it to the others it, it might have some of the better like stage design of of uh all of the games i mean even uh mr uh inafune himself said that six was his uh favorite forget why but yeah he's he said this was his favorite to work on and i could see why it's it's a good game and i thought it was fun i definitely liked it and uh of course the soundtrack is the best part and the always new shining like oh yeah this is what's different from the other Mega Man games is that the soundtracks you know got a different composer each time which is actually quite nice instead of just having like the same for all the games but uh yeah, still a good game. I still like it. I would probably give it about a 7 out of 10. Alright, Star Soldier? Okay, so Mega Man sits. It does a lot of nice improvements over Mega Man 5, in my opinion. Okay, you still got the Abra White Masters. You got the obvious plot that Dr. Wily is masquerading as somebody else. <laughs> he even has like a horrible disguise, so we all know who it is. But at least you know why all these eight robots are coming together. It's just not a mishmash of different names that kids threw in the hat and said, All right, this is your new eight robot masters. No, these robots were designed to be the toughest, strongest robots around the world and compete as such. Dr. Whitey, you know, kidnaps them, manipulates them, and... Yeah, they're your enemies, so it feels like a world battle, so to speak. Even though it's still the same old Mega Man we know and still love or tolerate. <laughs> yeah, you're not getting too much new here. You're still the same old Mega Man, 8-bit spray, jumping around, shooting, 
you still got you know great music you know good graphics and it was cool for Nintendo to actually pick up this game and release it in North America because I heard in Europe yeah they didn't even get this game so that was nice of them but I can also see why people weren't too excited to play this game in 94 especially with the 16 bit Super Nintendo out and who wants to buy original Nintendo with the same old Mega Man that's still doing the same old stuff? It just doesn't innovate enough. But, hey, if you like Mega Man and you don't like too many changes, this is a good game for you. You still got all the cool power-ups here. You know, I like the actual power-ups compared to something like a Mega Man 5. You know, you got the cool night weapon that has good range to it. Tomahawk has a nice arc. And, yeah, the air weapons, too, they all do their part. So there's nothing really too wrong I can say with the game, other than the fact that it still <laughs> retreads of a lot of the same old cliches of the old Mega Man games, and I give it about 71 out of 100. All right. So there you go. That is the end of the Mega Man series for the NES for the S2K channel. So, with that said... Yeah, thank God they did that on Mega Man 5. <laughs> and, so, but, you know, at least Mega Man 5 didn't have Plant Man, for crying out loud. Jeez. Plant Man. I like to plant my fist in his face. It's such a lamest robot master. It's got to be the lamest in the entire series. I can't think of anybody worse. Plant oh. Choo Choo Man. It's, yeah, he looked stupid, but at least, I don't know, like, Plant Man, at least the name Charge Man sounds like uh, train Man would have been kind of dumb, I guess. Charge Man, they had to make something different. Plant Man? Ugh. Well, it, well, they could have had Flower Man. That would have really been bad. But, uh... <laughs> um, I was going to say... I was going to say, now, I, we're not promising... Um, most, I'm most likely I'm not going to do it, but uh, as far as the NES series were done, um, I don't know if anybody on this channel wants to start Mega Man 7 and go on to Mega Man 10. But uh, I think a while back, um, we had planned this a long time ago. Um, but I think we was, we was going to have all ten games on SC2K channel, but then it worked out. Um, so we're not going to give anybody's hopes up and say, oh, well, I guess Mega Man 7 is next, because it most likely will not be. It might be someday. We just don't know what's going to... I don't know what the next LP is going to be, at least on my end. Hopefully we guy. Well, uh, hopefully do some LPs again. I know you've been busy with multi tapping and stuff, and <laughs> and J Man's gonna be a while before he does anything. He hasn't done anything in years anyway. Star yeah. Soldier should maybe start some, doing some LPs, but <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, I mean that be cool. he's too busy right now. But that'd be cool. If, like uh, my <laughs> Star Soldier can do LPs. I'm, uh, I'm I do this. Let's Plays and all that, but they're mostly born world record attempts. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you want to talk over my Bomberman footage that's four hours long. Or my new Mega Man or Mega Bomberman world record that's about an hour long. Yeah. Damn. So well, it's Mega Man related because it is Mega Man but Mega Bomberman. Yeah. Bomb Man from Mega Man One? <laughs> no. Yeah. Uh, so maybe one day we might do seven through ten. On SC2K, um, I know as right now I'm not going to do it. I'm not sure what my next LP is on SC2K. We we'll have to figure it out later. But yeah, hopefully we can do seven, eight, nine, ten one day. That'd be pretty cool. But as far as the original NES series, we are finished with that. And for those of you who don't know, you can check out my LP of X, X2, and X3 on the SC2K channel that I did back in 2010. And so, uh, Star Soldier was in the less discuss of Mega Man X2, where uh, Nasa Sausage made an appearance. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. So, that said, we are out here. I'm Ron Moore. The wee guy. And the one, the only Star Soldier one, baby. Oh, yep, yeah, baby. All right. God bless. Take care. Bye. See us. Welcome to Let's Play Punch-Out! 
This is Ron Moore along with the Star Soldier. Oh yeah, how's everybody doing out there? Oh yeah, so this is the not not the one with Mike Tyson, but with Mr. Dream. What? Yep. That's it. I'm unsubscribing. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I'll do something different because it'd be the obvious thing to do to pick Mike Tyson's punch out and I know Starting it's the same. Baron Holyfield. Yeah. Lance Lewis. It's the same game, but uh, it'd be kind of cool to fight. What's his name again? Uh, Mr. Dream, just to, for it to look different. <laughs> so I decided to go with that one. And here's a tough opponent, Glass Joe. Yeah, from Paris, France. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was kind of uh, f you to France or French people. I guess so. Why do people hate? Brant so much. Yeah, I don't get it either. Well, George St. Man Pierre, he's a, like French and he's like an amazing fighter. Yeah. I know in like after 9-11 people I guess mad at him for not wanting to join forces and attack. <laughs> they call uh, him Freedom Prize. Yeah. Because you just we not dealt. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, last show. And when I was a kid, I did lose to him on purpose just to see what would happen. <laughs> just to see how he would celebrate. Because you never lost to him. I mean, I, come on. Who lost to Glass Joe legitimately? Yeah. I actually did that for the Nintendo Wii version. It was cool. But just a Oh, just we Glass Joe. Aha. Yeah. So as we got beats up Jeff, this <laughs> could be it right here. <laughs> yep. Is he actually is that small? <laughs> we got yes. No, I'm just kidding. Four foot one. <laughs> that always freaked me out about the original Punch Out. That the guy was so tiny, and he's beating up these well, giants. They, they, they did that because obviously they couldn't emulate the game from the arcade version. The NES couldn't handle that. Yeah. I've so they made little Mac small so that you can see your opponent. Yeah, I remember the huge wire pain bots are in the original arcade. Yeah, I've never played that one. It's I didn't even know that existed. Cool. I never knew that existed until like a few years ago. Yeah, this one plays better, but, you know, the graphics in the arcade original were so much. You can actually see the characters, you know, in Mode 7. You had two screens to work with. It was awesome. And you had yeah. characters like Glass Joe, you know, Bad Bull, and Pasta Pizza in it. Wait, was it was it Bad Bull or Bald Bull? Or Bald Bull, yeah. Okay, I thought it might be different in the arcade. Now, I think the only change in the arcade is that you had characters like Kid Quick, Pasta Pizza, which never made an appearance in any other Punch-Out game ever again, because they were kind of crappy characters. And Soda Pop Pinsky was changed from Fuck Bob 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 whatever. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> because Nintendo didn't want to advertise, you know, illegal liquor. Yeah. Or, you know, just liquor in general. Yeah. Yeah, so we get, you know, two losers here, and then we go out to this huge giant guy from Japan. Yeah, this is the first real challenge to me. Yeah. And 20 sits in one. How do we yeah. go from, you know, 1 in 99 to a and guy who's 26 in 1? Yeah. Yeah, this guy, because this guy really knows how to block, and he was my first tough challenge when I was a kid in this game. It took me a little while to beat him. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty much a reskin of Mike Tyson before, you know, yeah. he became a reskin of, you know, Mr. Dream. Yeah. Oh. Oh! <laughs> I did work with someone a long time ago that looked just like him. What? Well, not the face, but just the <laughs> the hair and the head and the eyebrows. That's how my friend. It was like pissing on him for punch out. We start laughing. <laughs> was he Japanese? No, he's Hispanic. <laughs> oh, okay. Ah, 
Nice. Yeah, you really do have to have a lot of heart to beat this game. <laughs> yeah, that's another change from the arcade one is that they actually add hearts in this version. Ah. And before, if you wanted to raise up your, you know, uppercut meter, you had to raise a bar at the bottom instead of getting like perfect counters. Ah, okay. He has big feet. Yeah, square head. I wonder if you paw drop him, he'll st st stand up on his head. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. That, that, that made him mad. <laughs> no. yeah, it's nice of him, you know, to raise his eyebrows before he throws a punch. And Matt yeah. there looks kind of, kind of drunk. <laughs> yeah. As Carl Winslow gives him some advice. <laughs> You notice that it rings twice. I think it might Tyson punch out it. The bell rings once. Yeah, maybe. I'm like nobody cares about that. Only <laughs> I would notice something like that. As we got said in the first time we tried to do this commentary, it's the little things. And yeah, this is like our second take in doing this. The audio quality was messed up, and we got and Jeff could not be back to do commentary, so. <laughs> It's just me and Star Soldier instead. Sorry well, about you'll that. You'll see everybody. them in part three. <laughs> huh? Sorry about that, everybody. <laughs> well, you'll see them in part you'll hear them in part three. Yeah. He's already got <laughs> the first three commentaries recorded here. Come on, this is uh, actually e Honda's cousin, from what I understand. <laughs> Not really. Yeah, and they all drive Honda cars. Yeah. Yeah, in the Wii version, he was named uh, Hondo instead of Honda. I think, uh, you know, the car company you know, was kind of mad at Nintendo for doing that. Hmm. So you gotta change the uh, Oh. <laughs> that's stupid. Yeah. I would be flattered if I was Honda. Okay, so Little Magwars is pink from... <laughs> <laughs> I always thought that was mean. Here's this girl jogging behind Doc Lewis, and he's riding a bike. Yeah. I always thought it was a girl. I didn't know that was actually Lil Mac there in the pink jogging suit. Wait, so you thought, well, who's this random girl yeah. that's jogging with uh, Doc Lewis? Yeah. With two frames of animation. <laughs> yeah. Is Lil Mac wears uh, the pink suit, I guess, that Schaefer had in the Predator video game for NES. <laughs> no, I don't know, but uh, that that is the end of part one, the minor circuit. I will see you guys in part two for the major circuit. Until then, God bless and take care. Prepare for their knockout, baby. Woo! Welcome to part two of Let's Play Punt. Let's play Punch Out for the NES. This is Ron Moore along with two special guests. Introduce yourself. Guys. Oh yes, I'm Michael Burhan. I'm the nerd genius. I'm also the world's most sexiest man on the radio, um, as most people know, because my voice is sultry. Fuck you, Xander Scullion. And with me also and is my co-host on I Got Gameplay, and an awesome, awesome individual. The man otherwise known as... John, that's your cue. 79 mm. And, uh, yeah, my real name is John Michelin, but I go by Dietless79 on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter. And, uh, yeah, podcaster at large. Sometimes I make videos. Right now I'm seeing, um, Little Mac eating the shit out of now Flamenco. Yeah, baby. Flamenco. This guy was hard to me when I was a kid. Right, left, right. <laughs> and that's the secret right here. When you learn the pattern, it's easy, but I didn't know the pattern at first, and he was like blocking all your punches. I'm like, man, how do you beat this Glass Joe palette swap character? Yeah, how do you beat him? With this stuff. is how you beat him. Yep, with loads of butt stuff. Oh.
DKO. Mm. So, Tyson Kidd win. uh, so Tyson Kidd wins that round and or that fight. Now we go on to King Kong Bundy. King Hippo. Ah, oh, yes, King Hippo. I remember him remember from this guy such on... colorful places as the lovely Nintendo-based show. Uh, what was that? Captain Man. Captain Man. That was it. Um, and the guy who voiced him is actually the same voice. Yeah. The guy who voiced him is actually Gary Chuck, who also voiced up in his prime in a lot of the uh, Canadian-made Transformers animated uh, series. The Canadian-made Transformers, out of the way. Is that the, yeah, like the Beast Wars? Yeah, like the Beast Wars and Machines. Uh, and what else is That's there? Um, stuff, uh, the Energon yeah. stuff and things like that. I think, like, Reggie, his body is ready. So I was oh, Mac dropped his pants. little X's on his stomach, though. Yeah, so his little Mac beats up Humpty Dumpty. The trick is to hit him when his mouth is open, then he hit him in the stomach, and once you knock him down, he's gone. I, I picture him hitting him in the nuts. You know, his, his pants fall, and he's like, right, let's get some ball shots in there. Yeah, because this character is very challenging to me when I was a kid. And See, he goes down. Go on, Mario, cut him out. That's it. A, it looks like Butterbean, but his eyesight sucks because you can see where it hits him. You notice Mario stalls after the 5 count, then he stalls after the 9 count. Like he's trying to give him time to get up or something. Hits him to his face to aim. Next, Great Tiger. You're the winner. You deserve winning fight. Yeah, he got trained by the WWE. Well, you know who he reminds me of? Um, do you remember the, the WWE wrestler? Like, uh, what, what was his name? Um, Tiger Ali Singh. Was it, it wasn't Singh. Something Singh. Tiger Ali. Tiger Ali Singh. Yeah. Tiger Singh. Yeah. Tiger Ali Singh. Yeah. Tiger. Yeah. He, his father. He's Canadian. I will pay five hundred dollars cash to the woman who comes in here and licks Babu's toes. That's basically what George Bush would say to the ladies. Milk and the uppercuts. Look at this. Look at the stars. Look at the stars. Yep. You see even though stars, you, you only get three the stars. stars. Ooh, yeah, even though you only get wow. three stars. Uh oh. Watch out. Oh, here he goes with his little dance. Oh, 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 he's doing this rainbow dance thing. I could never yeah. do that right. Yeah, I would always fuck up on the rhythm. Yeah, I, I, did, I would too sometimes, and it, it can't be tricky. It looks like he's doing some it dark soul revolution so thing going on there. Yeah, you gotta watch out for the jewel on, on his turban. When it, fla when it flashes, that's when Did he's about to push. you say the jewel on his turban? Are we, like, equal opportunity, like... <laughs> the jewel? There's some jewel flashing. You have to now find right the better, you otherwise you'll never beat him. Ooh, look at Tiger Arm. Oh, he's... Oh, nice. There you go. Yeah. One, it's two, Tiger, Tiger, three. Come on, get that open. Tiger what? Muhammad Ali Singh. That little goy beat you. Tiger. Sorry, you cutting out there, Michael. Sean Sam like a vampire. One bunch is. He's just fighting like he's Muhammad Ali's. Yeah. Three bunches. Uh, uh, uh. It'd be funny to take out like Muhammad Ali's dialogue and swap it out with Jackie Mason singing. It's like the more you have to fly like a butterfly, sting like a bee. You do not butterfly. You sting like a bee. Hey, don't oh, up at home. Oh, 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 this guy's getting back up. This guy just knows how to take a punch. <laughs> oh. Oh. You're the winner. That's a goal. I wonder if Luigi's the bell ringer. Apparently, <laughs> Might be. right? And Nintendo yeah, they had everywhere. They, they used to if anyone was developing a game, they didn't have to ask permission to use Mario. So anyone would slot him in a game and they didn't say anything about it. Mm. And here's That's why Bull. I at the time of the NES he was in anything. Ball Bull for some reason. Ball Bull. He, he looks there. like he looks like a heck? cross between me and Sean right now. He looks oh, like Jesus. a cross between a no, a cross a cross between Michael Barhan and Wario. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> This is, this is like Wario taking Venom from uh, the Arkham series. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Wario number one! <laughs> Look at his eyebrows! Holy shit, he could take off with the fucking flutter they got. 
Yeah, yeah and you gotta watch out for Mario ends up like hot. Yeah, and you gotta watch out for his bull charger. You gotta watch out for his bull charger. One, two, three. His ass four, cheeks are hanging. Five, See six, it? Seven, eight. Oh, he's up. Come on, beat him, little man. He's it's hard he's to get a KO. It's hard to get a KO he's, on this guy. He's daddy macking. Yeah. He's the Mac Daddy. Well, he's the Big Mac and Chips. He is Big Mac in a Bubbles Big Adventure. Mac and Chips. Have, I don't know if y'all ever heard of a Bubbles Big Adventure, yeah, but check it out. Go. It's an old glass jar. Oh, he's up. <laughs> nice combination. Oh, the thing about these games, we have to just pick that combination. Oh, there he goes. He's exactly happy about that full carriage. Thank you! You are the winner! Thank you, go. Thank you, Mario! The princess is in another castle! Wait! No, that's wrong game! Now, Lil Mac is the major circuit yeah. champion. Ooh, look at that, he's got a trophy. As he trains for the world circuit. Come on. <laughs> I'm not going to sing along to the US internet meme. All I'm going to say is, why is his training suit pink? So are we are we fighting Tyson like Rage or is, is this like after the Tyson Rage charges? Anyone know? Sorry, my boy. Hell up! You have to fight me in the next round. I thought you said to all his dates. Ask you all. So essentially, and that is the end of part two of Let's Play Punch Out. It's See you guys in part three. Thank you very much, guys, for joining us. That's. Oh, Dino, thank you. It was, it was a great day to be on there. Guys, make sure you check out my channel, youtube.com forward slash Dino Genius. Sure. Um, Sean, where, do you, where can we find you? All right, the links will be uh, in the description box. YouTube slash user slash uh, Dietless79. All right, thank there you, you go. And the, links, the links will be in the description box. And see you guys in part three. Until then, God bless and take care. Bye, bye. Welcome to Let's Play Punch Out Part 3. This is Ron Moore along with the Wee Guy and Jeff from Straight to Stake America. Hello. So in Part 2 I just got through beating the major circuit. Now I'm in the big times, the big leagues now, the world circuit as I face Piston Honda in a rematch. Oh Dude. boy, I hope this isn't a major pain circuit. Uh, <laughs> what, what are we in, 1993 now, Wee Guy? I think more like 97, but you know, 97. still 90s. I can't remember. I can't remember when that movie came out. I know I was a kid. That's all I can remember. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was 97. Yeah, it was 97. Oh no! All right, down he goes. He's got to. He's got to commit seppuku for the emperor now. It's over. Uh oh, oh wait a minute. Oh oh no! I think he just had a stroke. Seriously, it's like oh, he's out. Oh, you killed him. Yeah. yeah, seriously, I think you just killed him. You either gave him a heart attack or caused him to have a stroke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Little Mac wins and is convicted for first degree manslaughter. Yeah. Not, not on the ring, it's legal. <laughs> yes. My favorite boxer in the game, Soda Pop Pinsky. Oh, come on. We know he's drinking vodka. Don't lie to us, Nintendo. Shh. There are kids watching this. There are kids watching this. <laughs> And that's that's the first wrong part. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about that. My friend, we were, we were little. My friend said, "Hey, this guy looks pink. Probably just all the sodas he drinks." Yeah. He still, he still stays in shape though. Oh, what is it? There, that uh, cotton candy soda or whatever it is. It's pink. Strawberry soda. That's pink. You know they say real men wear pink. Yeah, I would never be caught dead in a pink shirt. That's racist. Wait. Probably is. But, you know, what, what are you, the race police? <laughs> yeah. I race cars, and I gotta pull people over at speed. No, wait. Damn. Damn, I didn't know you were the race police. I gotta get out of here. Crap. You go, don't wanna... Go, okay. go, speed racist. Go, speed mm. racist. Go, speed racist. Go. Hey, you're the one from Texas now. Oh. So? I know. <laughs> What's he gonna do with anything? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. So Pop Pinsky though, he he was definitely challenging. I mean, uh, I was, he beat me so many times, and then I have so, close fights, and 
You knock me out in the end, but dang it! In Russia, boxing ring punch you! Yeah. <laughs> he's no Ivan Drago, but he's still pretty challenging. <laughs> oh, yeah, Ivan Drago. <laughs> that's, that's all I remember out of Rocky IV is you punch a Russian in the face. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. That's what. That's all I fight, Ivan Drago. Oh, round over. Oh. Oh, I gotta work out that hangover. A little hair of the dog, did bit me. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> he, he's just so he he's so drunk he can't even feel anything at this point. <laughs> yeah, he's punch drunk. <laughs> exactly. Exactly, sir. Yeah, where's the love though in this punch drunkness? I know. Yeah. yeah. Well, you should call Nintendo and uh, call their hotline and complain and be like. Sir, that game was that game was produced over 25 years ago. <laughs> Why? Yeah, it's just too bad he's not Bill from Hawaii. He's, his finish move could be the Hawaiian Punch. Oh yeah! Oh, the Hawaiian. Ah, uh, I think there's a boxer named the Hawaiian Punch actually. Oh really? Yeah, I know. I mean, I've heard of the Flying Hawaiian, but I think there was somebody like the Hawaiian Punch. I, think I don't know though. It could be wrong. I'm just what? making it up. <laughs> what, they, what they call this game the Hawaii, Hawaiian Punch Out? They get sued. <laughs> <laughs> in Hawaii, that's what they call it. And uh, and they have a, they have a little um, they have some sponsorship, and one of it is spam. All eighty-seven varieties of it you can get in Hawaii. <laughs> oh man, punching a rush. And now you're gonna make me want to watch Rocky before after this. <laughs> oh, RKO! Yay! Little Mac wins. I'm like six years old, but okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll say he's 10. I'll be nice. <laughs> my, uh -oh. Michael Vick's wrestling ring is on the other side. Here's the rematch. The rematch with Bald Bull. Bald Bull. Oh, boy. Yeah, come on, Wario. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It, it's Wario's uh, slightly disabled brother. Yeah. <laughs> he's got a big egghead. I know. And, man. What, what are those? Sideburns or pork chops? What, I don't get what he's doing with his hair. Well, I know what he's doing with his hands. He's trying to punch me out right here. He's much more oh. challenging this time around. Of course. Well, he took steroids now, so I mean... Hey, no. hey, hey, you can't prove that. <laughs> yeah, you can't prove that. What, what are you, OJ? If the glove don't fit, you must quit. <laughs> Sorry. I, yeah, I, I, I deserve one demerit for making an OJ joke. And a let's play. Well, right here, you cannot knock out Bald Bull, mm -hmm. even if his energy is depleted. You cannot knock him down. You have to knock him down with either the star, the star punch, or when he charges after you, you gave him the stomach. <laughs> oh, yeah. And also, I'm digging the old Nintendo flicker on his eyebrows. Oh, man. You don't see that. <laughs> wait, 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 whoa. Oh. oh. What in the heck was that? Is he trying to jump like a rabbit? <laughs> That's the bull charge. <laughs> Sorry. It's me! I needed a job! And he won't stay down. It's him and his butt chin. Oh! I shouldn't have said that. Oh! These punches are so powerful. Yes. Yeah. We got to the ape stereo of this game, Shamus Plug. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah! Actually, not this game. Mike Tyson's punch <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's the same soundtrack. Oh! He so got saved by the bell. I'm so mad. You're doing great, kid. Hey, can you go get me some donuts? Donuts. <laughs> You're not gonna be saved by the bell this time. <laughs> no. We should make a Saved by the Bell video game for the NES. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got the reproduction equipment, we can do it, man. Let's do it. Say by the film fighter. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Say by the film fighter. Oh man, you're genius, Ronnie. Genius. Doesn't take a genius to figure that out. Yeah, and I don't mean Macho Man's brother. Aww. Oh yeah. Man, still won't stay down. A friend of mine from Chicago, we were watching, before convention, we were watching the old Macho Man Randy Savage commercials, and I just, my favorite one where he has a bag of chips is just like, CHIPS! Chips! Oh. <laughs> I just love that. Chips! Yeah. Let's see who stays down the top. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Mario, can you count it up a little faster? 
<laughs> this ECW crowd is getting rabid. <laughs> oh, that's it! ECW! ECW! Little Mac, I think it's time you pull out your knife. No, no, you're not the only one. I only gave him a concussion. Oh, we got, we got, there's not the knife. <laughs> he'll, he'll die from a brain aneurysm. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 Jeff is back. Oh boy, oh my goodness. Oh man, I'm gonna kick his ass. It's over. Okay, really? So I get to beat Glass Joe and Don Flamingo. Yeah. That's not even funny, Ryan. You're not even funny anymore. <laughs> Don Flamingo now. More challenging, of course, than the first time. And... Yeah, you can't beat him with the easy left-right-left-right combo this time. Well, it looks like you're doing that right now. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I mean, it doesn't last forever, though, like it did the first time. Oh, okay. Love doesn't last forever. What? <laughs> Love doesn't last forever. Oh, uh, okay. I, was, I thought you were just doing... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it just sound like Jay there for a minute. Yeah. And I'm punching in her, and I'm punching in her. <laughs> like melting off off the space almost. Oh, my goodness. Get him down. My beautiful face. Uh -oh, I right. really don't want to beat you here. Oh, he's back up. He's back up. And he's so happy. He's smiling, he's talking, he's laughing, he's doing whatever dance he's doing, the flamingo. It whooped. What happened to little Mac? He got tired. Oh. That makes sense. Oh, the speed! <laughs> oh. Ole! Yeah. He still looks pretty spry for getting his butt handed to him. Yep. I love how he's the only one that really doesn't look that Spaniard for his, from where his origins are. Yeah, he, he, he's got a little bit of a good tan going on. He has the black hair. He does look like something. Yes. I don't know. I think a mustache would make it come together. That's true. But he could also look like someone from Brazil or... No, not Brazil, but one of those areas. South America. Chile. Dominican Chile, Republic. yeah. Well, actually, it's pronounced Chile, sir. So. That's what he said, Chile. Oh, okay, oh. I thought you said Chile. I did. I'm I just correct. threw you off. Ah. Oh, we got... Oh. Oh. Come on, Ryan. Come on now, there we go. Come on, have some heart. Have some heart. You can do it! Adrian! I love you! <laughs> I think you killed him. Oh, no. Don't get me wrong, but uh, when was boxing ever super popular? I mean, it's always kind of popular. But it's not like, you know, basketball or baseball popular. Back when Mike Tyson, Mike Tyson, uh -huh. George Foreman, you've been to Holyfield, Larry Holmes, all them were around. Oh yeah, I mean like Muhammad Ali, the Rumble in the Jungle, stuff like that. But, you know, I mean that was, I mean, the, what, the last time wrestling, or that was really popular was, well, I guess about this time, but I don't know, it just seems, I don't know, whatever, I'm just complaining to complain. <laughs> oh, shoot. Say your prayers, little boy. Don't forget my son. <laughs> You're mine. I've knocked out 21 people, and by that, actually, it means kill them off. <laughs> I'm going to make you look good. This guy does not mess around. Very hard. Yeah, I, I would not want to mess with him. See, that's why you got to play the. Um, oh, I can't even remember what I was going to say. You gotta pull the Mike Tyson on him and bite his ear off. That's the only way you can win. <laughs> I love the track. This boxing music right here is just freaking awesome for this game. Oh, yeah, great. There's an 8 bit system that does a pretty good job on it. Yeah, oh, he just swatted me out. But you know it would sound better on a master system? It probably would. The, yeah, the sound card's better. Well, the specs on the master system is better than the NES. And the graphics will be a little more colorful. Yeah. Oh. 
<laughs> I say that like it's some crowning achievement. Oh! Oh! That was a crowning achievement right there. You just crowned me. Ouch, yeah. He may be dead soon. Yeah, is, is that my head ringing or someone's phone? Sorry, it's me. Important call. You from the ambulance. Or from the hospital. Yeah. Call the Little Mac. Yeah. That man's gonna put me to sleep here if I get knocked down one more time. Oh. Come on now. Oh man. Come on, guys. Come on. Well, I think the little Mac may die. I'm gonna work here. I, I, I can't get saved by the bell. Hurry up. Come on, Red Bell. <laughs> Yes. Oh, just oh. what is that face? Urgh. Mr. Mr. Man, man, he can't make up his mind, but he wants a smaller frown. Join the Nintendo fan club today, Mac. Yeah, no, it's the fun club. What? It's like, what are you talking about, Jim? I'm trying to fight here. Help me. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good thing I held down select during that round, so I can get as much energy up as I can. Oh yeah, absolutely. I think it's time for Mac to fire his trainer as well. No, Doc Lewis, Carl Winslow was a good trainer. He, he keeps telling him about Nintendo stuff when he needs help, like where he should hit for. Well, the Nintendo Phone Club has tips and tricks on how to beat and punch out. I think Nintendo's slipping him hoagies. That is not checks, it's clearly they're slipping him food. Oh. oh, you almost got him. I should take skip device and kick, not punch. Kick, yeah. <laughs> you can't kick, I just turned it into kickboxing. Hey, if Daki Chan or Dragon Chan, whatever his name is from Super Punch Out, can kick, so can I. Yeah, I forgot about that. I thought it was Fu Ling, or I can't remember. Oh! Oh! He saved up! He saved up! <laughs> and some people have turned to a plus sign. Get in the stomach. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. oh. Nice. Dead. Oh, poor Mario. What are you doing here? I still can't. He's a celebrity referee. Oh, 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 wait, wait, hold on. Nice. Ah, uh, he did it. Crush his ribs. Frank his Yes. Oh, my God. My God. ACW. Oh, look who was put to sleep. Yep. <laughs> Put to sleep forever, you mean? Mr. Simmons, bum bum bum. No, no. ECW, bum 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 bum. He put him in a coma. Oh, here we go. <gasps> oh, the title boat. <laughs> I, didn't know we, I didn't know we were Canadian now. Super Macho Man, Randy Savage, undefeated world champion. Oh, yeah. That guy looks like he needs to retire. He's 23 years oh. old. Right here, he has black hair. Yeah, he looks a lot younger. And also, quit shaking your pecs at me a little Wait a minute, that's Scott Hall. No, he dyed his hair before the match. Wait a second, that's, that's Scott Hall. Hey, yo. This is getting a little awkward. See how macho he is. So macho. He's a macho, macho man. He's a super macho man. I'll take extra cheese. <laughs> super <laughs> nacho <laughs> man is more <laughs> like it. Wait, look out. I hate this part. Oh, shoot! Oh! Oh, here oh, comes man. the quesadilla spin! <laughs> yeah! Here comes the clumsy, just go for it attack! Uh, oh, it's the taco the uppercut! I heard you uh, order your food in Macho Man's voice at one restaurant. You like, get a discount or something? Now the Nacho Man. Oh, yeah! I'm gonna do that next time. I'm gonna do that next time. I'm gonna my coffee. Joe's and some Cyber Ranch. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! I like some Slim Jims. Oh, 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 look out. Oh. What in the world? Oh, that was nice. So busy. Right. I hit him in the back of the head. Is that a rapid punch? Yeah, I think so. Well, that's legal, but oh well, good for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's legal, but oh well, good for me. Oh, Tane open. Oh, I don't want to see that. No one needs to see that, man. <laughs> oh, here he goes again. Oh, one, two, three, four. 
Yeah, I'll take four slices seven. of that quesadilla. Sometimes I would trip step. over myself if I did that. Come on, come on. Yes! Oh, oh! Yeah, so much for being the champ. Yeah. TKO! <laughs> no hit. Wow, that was my, my first probably for me. <laughs> Here, here's your prize money, minus the medical bills you're gonna have to pay for all the concussions you have. Why was he easier than the one contender? <laughs> but anyway, April 1st, April, oh, I get it, it's an April Fool's joke, he didn't really win, I get it. I knew it was too good to be true. <laughs> daddy, huh. come back home, I found the key. Yeah, and I saw that when I was a kid, like, who's Daddy? Well, wait a minute. <laughs> it's Mario! <laughs> yeah. Mario's the Daddy! <laughs> Mario was Daddy. I lost my belt. Mario. Macho? Yeah. <laughs> That's my belt. Oh, it's a, it's a quote. I thought it was like macho belt. Yeah. Macho belt. And then it says, where's X, Y, X, Y? What is this, a math equation now we got to solve? Jeez. I, you know, I, I don't know a lot about newspapers. I've only done a little work for one. But that's not how you write a newspaper, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah. Well, they made the same mistake in Mega Man 6. Oh, boy. Anyway, that is the end of part three. We we'll see you guys in part four of the let's, let's play slash discuss where I face Mr. Dream in the dream match. Until then, I'll let's take care. Bye-bye. Farewell. Welcome to take two of Let's Play Discuss Punch Out for the NES. This is Ron Moore along with the Wee Guy and the Star Soldier. Whoa, whoa, what are you talking about? You mean like take your take two at Mr. Dream, right? Like... Because you had a recent recording and you save state and you, you, you're editing it together like that, yeah, right? That's what she's talking about. Well, that too. This is yeah, our yeah. first story, honest. Yeah, <laughs> I've not. I'm Mr. Dream. I've never you're seen dreaming, that sprite man. before. You're dreaming. <laughs> I've never seen a sprite. It's basically Mike Tyson, but with white skin or color palette. My bad. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Don't mean to drag Mike race. Tyson. Yeah. I just got myself a. Yeah. <laughs> this guy's myself a Mr. Dream because I want a shot at the Little Mac. Oh, so don't make fun of him. That makes him mad. It makes me mess up. You wouldn't like me when I'm mad. Cover your ears. This is actually a fight based off a real life fight between J-Man and Wee Guy. I don't know. I didn't tip it, his didn't tip his chair over though. <laughs> or I didn't wait. No, it would be the other way around. I tip my hat off to you for that. Oh, thank you. All right, so yeah, Mr. Dream fights exactly as Mike Tyson. Yeah, basically 90 suspected. seconds of pure hell. Yeah. It does get a little easier after this, but it's still hard. That first minute and 30 seconds is one hit knockdowns. Mm. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh yeah, that's right. You don't know, shut up. Well, I mean, I, I remember that, because he's always like, huh, huh, and if you get hit, then yeah, you, you're, you're knocked down. But after like the first round, it's you can... He hit and you're okay. It's not instant. Yeah, he's huh, huh. It's not like uh, I forgot that game in Action 52, the ninja where you get hit or you hit someone. Huh, huh, ninja huh, song. Huh. Yeah. You actually remember that game? <laughs> well, I've seen various <laughs> reviews. Maybe GM can make fun of it. All right, so that's the end of round one. I'm gonna hold select here, but that's not gonna do much good. He's hurt me, Doc. Wow, that is like weird. Yeah. He looks friendly right there, and then in the ring, he just kill you. Yeah. yeah, he doesn't look as scary. Yeah. Yeah, he always has a big smile on his face. Yeah. <laughs> he's just he's just happy to be here. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's part of the dream team. The yeah. dream team. Yeah. Dream about the dream team, this dream. Yeah. What else is there? Yeah. The dream apocalypse. Yeah. Dream apocalypse. Yeah, it's okay. I want that to be something. The dream apocalypse. Maybe that could be like Mr. Dream's return in the next punch out game. Yeah. Boom. Yeah, they should make a new punch out game. They did, for the Wii. Yeah, I mean for the Wii U, though. Newer. Yeah. Next installment. Newer. -er -er. Yeah. yeah, maybe they should uh, involve the Wii U, the Wii Balance Pad board, pad board. Yeah. bring that thing back and you can actually stand on it and, like, move. 
Actually, that wouldn't work out too well, probably. <laughs> oh, he's seeing stars. Oh no! Oh! Oh! Do 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 do. EC dub. EC dub. <laughs> that star needed a soldier with it. Oh, I get it. It's ECW. That's Mr. Dreamer. That's Tommy yeah. Dreamer. I'm fighting Tommy Dreamer here. Who's Tommy Dreamer? From ECW. Oh. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I, I know him. <laughs> <laughs> Star Soldier knows him. Who? No, I know him. <laughs> oh man, little Mac is messed up. Now, come on now. <laughs> oh. I'm not. I'm not down, Mr. Dream, a few times, and I hated that. Like the final bosses, they didn't get, never got hurt, in, in the screen right here. Yeah, man, can't bust that chin. I apologize for the laggage here. The audio's a little behind. That's what I get. That's what I get. That's what I get for using a safe state. <laughs> yeah. I got tired of starting over again. This, <laughs> oh man, I, tired, I lost him so many times. Makes sense. Yeah, it, it's always annoying in in that the you know password. Yeah. Especially the password that gives you the zero and two record. Yeah. It's just Nintendo making fun of you. Yeah. Yeah, you can fight Tyson in a dream, but yeah, yeah you got a losing record. Yeah. There was one password you would use where you you would be 99 and 0. Uh, that's my Tyson punch. I don't know about this one, but whatever. Oh, man. Get him down. You can do it. I got you over 5,000 points. <laughs> Is that right, Star Soldier? Over 5,000 yeah. points, you can't win by decision if you last that long. Yeah. Mario only gives you a few mercy points. Yeah. Can you be the Punch-Out World Champion? Yeah. <laughs> Man, there's some people that are just nuts about this on Twin Galaxies. Huh. Like, get oh. the, you know, like, crazy records on this game. All right, yes, Lil Mac is the new Brock Lesnar. He conquered another streak. Mr. Dream is 99 and 1. Oh my god, you did it! Great finger speed. That doesn't make any sense. He was was he <laughs> using the speedboard accessory? Yeah. <laughs> Puts the speed at your fingertips. Yeah, that's what I used for the emulators. Uh, uh, what's it called? The speedboard. <laughs> It's a, yeah, it's a piece yeah. of person. <laughs> it's a piece of freaking plastic. <laughs> yeah. You use your fingers to type in the save states very well, Mac. Yeah. Oh, that's speedboard. Gotcha. There's Venom 22. Wario? Actually, that could look that could look like a Star Soldier if he shaved his head. <laughs> Maybe. Larry Holmes. Larry Holmes. What up, Holmes? Super Macho Man, Randy Savage. He's gray oh, yeah. The heck? He's like 23 years old. How's he gray headed? Stop into a slow gym. 14 and 0 with the safe state. <laughs> yeah, that's we gotta factor that in. Yeah. All right, so that is the end of Let's Play Punch Out for the NES. It is a great game. Same thing, of course, as Mike Tyson's Punch Out. And I never understood why they. Got rid of Mike Tyson three years later just because he lost to Buster Douglas. <laughs> I'm like, oh, well, whatever. But anyway, uh, with or without Mike Tyson, it's a great game. But, of course, Mike Tyson is what sold the game. Um, countless hours of fun with this game. I mean, I play this game with various friends. We all try to try our best to beat the hardest boxers like Bald Bull, um, Soda Pop Pinsky, Super Macho Man, Mr. Sandman. There were times where Dom Flamenco was hard. Um, Glass Joe was the toughest. No, not really, but, uh, um, but, I mean, yeah, this game is definitely fun. Real popular, especially among me and my friends. Uh, Mike Tyson's Punch-Out was one of the top games we played a lot and wanted to borrow from each other. Um, so, yeah, and, but, yeah, Little Mac, they, they made him real small in the game so you can actually see <laughs> your opponents because it's different from the arcade version. I never knew an arcade version existed until years and years later. I thought Mike Tyson's Punch-Out was the first one of its kind. But, yeah, this game is definitely ECW. Definitely one of the best boxing games of all time. Probably the best boxing game ever, really. I mean, I've, I've played other boxing games like Rocky for the Master System. Not very good. 
um, Evander Holyfield, real deal boxing for SNES, and eh, not too good either. Uh, I've never played Buster Douglas boxing. Um, and yeah, there's other, no. huh? Don't. It's uh, awful. <laughs> I've never played Ring King or anything like that, but uh, I mean, the few boxing games I played, Mike Tyson's Punch Out, definitely the best one. I give it a nine out of ten. Star Soldier. Oh yeah, this game. I grew up on it. My brother got it as like a birthday present or something. And, you know, it didn't look too impressive because I remember actually playing the arcade version that came out way back in 1984. And it looked so impressive with its scale and graphics, huge characters, and two screens that you can actually look at. One for like the health bars and one that actually shows the bots and that action itself. And then you see the original Nintendo version, and yeah, a lot was taken away, but when you actually go and play it, and you see the little nuances and improvements that they made, it feels like a much tighter game, and you have so many cool opponents to fight. You know, <laughs> to the weak Glenn, like last show, with a 1 in 99 record, he's always fun to beat up. You know, to more pressure cookers, like King Hippo, and Great Tiger, who's you know, techniques are a little tricky at first, but once you got their patterns down, you know, they're more fun to fight against. And that's what makes the game so enduring throughout the years. Yeah, the stereotypes are a little bit offensive now. And, yeah, I like the Wii version so much more <laughs> better than going back to this older edition. But there's no denying what impact this game had. You know, Tyson or not, <laughs> it's still a cool game either way. And I give it a 79 out of 100. All right. We guy? All right. So here it is. It's Punch-Out. I mean, like you said, it's basically Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, except at the end, you find Mr. Dream. So everything about this game is the same, which is, you know, not a good thing or a bad thing. Um, you know, the decision for them not to renew uh, Tyson's, uh, I guess name or or yeah their license not to renew their license was mm, you know whatever it was in the past their decision to do it whether it was for him losing that fight or just not wanting to pay any more money to him i say you know this re-release was a I don't know, not like a necessary but it's you know it's it's there and it's a it's a nice it's a nice addition to have uh obviously nothing different gameplay wise and music wise but still it's the classic punch out that we've all come to know and love and um I've still yet to play this version. Obviously, I need to get the the card for this this one, which is obviously uh, way cheaper. Just um, just because it's it's not the Mike Tyson's version, which is interesting because you would think there would be less copies of this version because you know three years after the original in '87, Mike Tyson's Punch Out. You now it's like 1990. It's like it's like uh you know it's just really it's whatever. But aside from that, Punch Out still great classic game. And I would probably um, give it an eight out of ten. I think when they re-released when when they released this version, they didn't re they only released a limited amount. Is that right? I'm prob yeah I'm probably guessing. I mean, might be the yeah. same with like the uh, gray versions of Zelda one and two. Yeah, there's the you know I don't know whole controversy thing. Oh, it's gotta be rare because Tyson's in it, but. <laughs> Actually, yeah, the just punch out edition is actually a little bit more uncommon, but both sold like over a million copies, so you're not gonna get like a super rare same events, no. <laughs> it's yeah. just something that's a little piece of history and nothing that's too you know, rare. But you could easily sell them for like thirty bucks if you had your own store. Yeah. So well, jack up the prices. You're like, no, no, stop that. <laughs> Ruining the hobby, right? Yeah, Star Soldier. No, well, Star Soldier works at the game store. That's why he wants people. Yeah, that's his, that's his own thing. He, yeah, mm -hmm. but he's not a store. He's a... He's Bill Gates 101, baby. <laughs> yeah. Don't be a jackass and jack up the prices, Jack. <laughs> Honestly, I can't get the game anymore. Nobody wants to trade in. You would think, in a way, it's worth more than my Tyson's Punch-Out because it's kind of... You would think it's more rare because it released limited editions. Uh, but I don't know. I mean, because that's one of the reasons why I wanted to LP this one instead of Mike Tyson's one because it's like, 
Well, my Tyson Punch will be the most obvious game to LP. Let's <laughs> let's do something a little bit different and go with the Mr. Dream Edition, even though it's basically the same thing. And when I was a kid, my grandpa took me to I forgot where Walmart or somewhere towards R Us to buy a game, and I chose I chose to buy this version, or maybe that's because the only one I can get at the time. I had this version to punch out. I had this cart uh, of of this version of punch out right here. So it's is pretty cool. But, but anyway, that is all we have to say about this game. Definitely a great game. Fun LP to do. And with that said, we are out of here on Ron Moore. This is the Wii guy. And Star Soldier 1, baby. God bless and take care. Wait, be sure to check this game out. Yeah. yeah, it was a dream. Dream on, oh, dream weaver. I believe you can get me through the fight. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Let's Play Super Punch Out for the SNES. This is Ron Moore along with the Wii Guy and Jeff. Hi. Hello. Yeah, so now it's Super Punch Out. Ooh. Super, super little Mac? Question mark. I guess it's Big Mac now. <laughs> Big Mac. <laughs> We've upgraded. Yeah. Just like in a Bubbles Big Adventure. Uh, the music's a little better. Yeah. Well, maybe, I don't know. This better mean it's more memorable, because there's not a whole lot of tunes I've actually remembered from this game. It'd, it'd be better if it was on the Genesis, let's be honest here. <laughs> There'd be some blood, and Sonic would be like tubular, he'd be the tubular referee. No, Mario's a referee. And uh, they, they'll fight, no, they'll fight to see who's a referee. They're, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Gabby J, what the Gabby J, who graduated from the Glass Joe Boxing Academy. Uh, and so. That he's the one behind the one in 1 in 99 <laughs> against uh, uh, Glass Joe. That's how he got his only, one and only victory, by beating Glass Joe, and that's how he graduated. Wow. <laughs> he beat Glass Joe. Woo! Yeah, so, yeah, Gabby J, jeez. He looks like a guy I work with kind of. Really? <laughs> yeah. Of course, he's got old. He's got he's got that like old man mustache. Yeah. Oh, and that's pretty much it for him. I don't think he's gonna get up. Ah, uh, just like the French way. Hey, oh, now come whoa, on. Whoa. Whoa. Well, I'm saying because Glass Joe's French and this guy's from fr France as well, so it's. Oh, you know. okay. Uh huh. Thought you were gonna go all World War II Maginot Line stuff. I'm like, whoa, not time for a historical debate now. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, you know, little Matt got muscular here. I know, he's taking those steroids. Freaking Danny Glover's giving him the steroids. And he dyed his hair blonde. blonde. Danny Glover. Hey, that's Danny Glover. He lost, gained a bunch of weight and then he lost it. He's not even in this game. Uh, ah. Doc Lewis. Doc Lewis. That's it. Yeah. So like or maybe he is, but you can't see him. Well, here. Whoa. Bear hugger. Bear uh, hugger. Bear 13 hugger. Wow. <laughs> bear, bear, bear 13, wherever you are in Canada, this is for you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Rest in peace, bear. Oh, oh, shut up. Wait, this guy is from Canada. I forgot. Holy crap. Yeah, he is. Ooh, oh, up? man. Is this Bear's dad? Are no, we... this is uh, this is Hillbilly Jim from the old no. school WWF. <laughs> Hillbilly Jim. No, this is Uncle Elmer. Uncle Elmer. Do it, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> if this was like a true Canadian, he'd just be like, sorry, I don't want to fight. Exactly. What sorry. in the what? I think he broke his neck. Yeah, I think so. Uh, someone should call a paramedic. Oh. He's he's out. Wow, I'll be yeah. quicker than Gabby J. Uh, hello, police. I think we have a murderer. It's like the end of Million Dollar Baby. Except yep. this is a lot more brutal. I think I beat him Peace. quicker than Gabby J. I, mean, I forgot the time I beat Gabby J, but not at least Gabby J got back up. Oh, okay. What do you say, Gabby J? Well, this game sucks because I lost. <laughs> <laughs> a new record because this is a new game I'm playing here. So new uh, record. All right, and Cuba Gooding Jr. We can't fight people from Cuba. Nope. Pissing hurricane from Cuba. You want some of my hurricane rush essay? 
Is he gonna rock you like a hurricane? Whoa. You know, that's what I was thinking back then when I played this game. I said, man, if they could put real songs on here instead of these custom made ones from Nintendo, he would have that song. <laughs> custom made. Yeah. I love how you rock phrase it as that. like a hurricane. Nah, 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 nah. Here I am. Right, now I'm rocking him like a hurricane. Oh. Man, this game's so easy. Yeah, it is easier than the original punch out. I mean we're already on over the there. third we're already on the third guy in the in the in just five minutes. Yeah. Either save state extremism or you're really beating these guys this quick. No, I really am beating these guys this quick. I'm surprised because I haven't played this game in probably 15, 20 years. Doesn't it have to do with like the special bar at the bottom? Because that's like a new feature. Like you build up all the way to S, which I guess is your special, and that can like yeah, yeah. KO them. It's like your star punch in the original. Like the arcade original? No, NES. I haven't played the arcade. I don't know about that. Oh. Well, that reminds me of the arcade though. It's like that little screen at the bottom where. Bar. And he's back. Bald bull. As Jeff is falling asleep. Oh yeah. Good night, guys. Oh, Mr. Well. Blood Block. I already thought you fell asleep because you done it before in the middle of Skype hey, calls. Hey, that was years ago, sir. Approximately three years ago. <laughs> You're not getting any younger. No, I'm an old man now. Don't you know I live in a retirement home? Well, Bald Bull should be living in a retirement home, but he's still around. Yeah, he, he's rolling around his wheelchair. Bob, get back in your room. Don't steal my watch. Let's Sorry. See, let's see if he's lost a step. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. 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 Oh, wow. Yeah, I think you murdered him. Straight up murder at this point. Yeah. Oh no, he somehow got back up. I'm, I'm. It's uh, it's like uh, Will Ferrell in the first Austin Power. Oh. I'm still alive. Dang, he just made a comeback on me. He, he gave did. me the bull charge. One, two, one, two. He looks like my friend's dad. Oh really? Yeah. I always thought that when I was a kid. I told my friend, your dad looks like Bob Bull. <laughs> <laughs> Stay down. Yeah, I, I guess, yeah, like the NES version, you can't knock him out, you have to TKO him. Oh, uh, okay. That's weird. Oh. That makes sense. That would look out. Punch him in the stomach. Oh! oh. Nice. There you go. ECW, ECW, ECW. Right on. ECW. Right on. Woo! It's party time! As we guy defeats Bald Bull. <laughs> we mm -hmm. guy, what are you doing in the game? Wow, I got ripped. Yeah, yeah pretty, I know. You got ripped off. <laughs> Look at That's those 16-bit the... inferior graphics. Yeah, this never be. inferior. It's timeless. Hey, you beat Howard and Don and Junior and Mr. A. Who's yeah. Mr. A? I, I, it's it's your old high school coach, Mr. A. Well, I almost did Piston Hurricane as quick as I did Gabby J there. That was the fastest I think I've ever seen anyone play that game before. No, not really. There's there's record speed, uh, speed runs and stuff. Uh, and, and like, I've seen the Nintendo Power Magazine a long time ago. There, there is a way to beat Gabby J in six seconds. And I think Bear Hugger, uh, probably around that time too, I forgot. But uh, I just forgot how to do that because it's been 20 years. But considering well, yeah. it didn't do too bad, but that's that was the minor circuit. We'll see how good I am in the major circuit in part two. Until then, Tune in next time. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> this game's a knockout. I I'm thirsty for some fruit punch. I Jeez. um I'm gonna punch you in the face. <laughs> <laughs> da 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have a cool thing to say. I'm going, I'm going back to bed now. Good night.
Welcome to part two of Let's Play Super Punch Out. This is Ron Moore along with the Star Soldier and Jeff. Hi. Yo, how's everybody doing out there? So this is Bob Marley now. Bob Charlie, <laughs> hold on there. <laughs> yeah. We don't want to get sued. Yeah, we, yeah. we don't need to spend Bob any more money Marley. than what we have. Yeah, man. We first we had the Honda car company get mad at us. We don't want Bob Marley to get mad at us either. Oh man, yeah, we can't do a Street Fighter Let's Play. Man, Mercedes will kick our butts. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so this is the first opponent in the major circuit. Uh, oh, he's a major player, huh? Okay. We'll see. <laughs> I don't think he is. Let's be honest here. <laughs> he's pretty much just a reskin of Gabby J. Oh yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, he's fine, yeah, at least. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. And he's a glorious 16. What is he shaking his nipples at you? What was that? <laughs> I don't know. But, oh, we just bust me oh, now. Dang. That's such an easy punch to miss, though. Ah, oh, come on, Ronnie. One, two, three. Hey, again, it's hit been the 20 buttons, years. Hit the buttons. This. There we go. I don't care, Ronnie. Don't you have any retro gamer cred? Is that what they say these days, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, YouTube. Team Roddy changed. were not very good gamers. Uh, yeah. YouTube sure has changed. I, I see that. Uh, oh yeah. These silly kids. I I mean I mean viewers of your show. Yeah. I oh, see that. He's doing it again. There oh. we go. And oh yeah, dodge it. Oh. I feel like if he did that in real boxing, he would get the crap beat out of him. Like I'm gonna do my <laughs> yeah, fancy really. moves. <laughs> Well, yeah, and this and the original punch out. Um, I, a lot of stuff that the boxers did to really get killed. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, the net spots are after this is really cheating. Oh boy. And he's down for the oh. count. Yeah, because the ball bull tried that in real life. Come on. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, try to ball the the bull charge or whatever. Come on. Oh yeah. <laughs> Bunch of bullsh. All right. Now, beat Bob Charlie. With the picture of, <laughs> with the picture of Little Mac, it looks like he just like got on steroids one day. He just ignored his coach, like got addicted to drugs and alcohol, and then's like, I'm gonna use steroids to get strong again. That is like Dennis the Menace on steroids. I know. He looks like he has a cocaine addiction. He's like, Coke, Coke, Coke. You got some Coke? Where's Coke? At? Jackie Chan. <laughs> oh. Wow. Dragon Chan. Excuse me. That's we guy. That's the Asian we guy. Asian right we guy. Why was he? He was. Why was he in this part? It's prophesized. It's prophesized. He would grow up to be a boxer who lives in Hong Kong. Oh, he said I would find myself awake, face down. You're full of rocks. <laughs> <laughs> you can't yeah, kick. Now we get to beat up we guy. Yeah. Yeah. Bring it on, we guy. Yeah. In this game, they really pull out all the stops. Cause in this game, they kick and spit and headbutt. And yeah. Elbow. It's like the opposite <laughs> of boxing. Yeah. This is like ECW boxing. Exactly. The problem is, it's still way better than any of the EA boxing games. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> is it still better than Buster Douglas boxing? <laughs> Pretty much. Anything's better than that. Color of Dinosaur is better than that. Wow. I mean, that's like saying, a, you know, a turd is better than Origin. I mean... <laughs> now he's gonna cheat. Wow, what's he saying? I don't know, something in Chinese. <laughs> Hurry, translate. People, translate Arizona this right now. Champion, subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Come on, ref. Yeah, if I, yeah. If I was like the announcer on HBO, it's like, uh, what the hell just happened, Jim? I, I don't know. There is no ref. There, there's, no... One, two, three. there's no ref. So I don't know who's counting. Because Mario's definitely not the ref. Yeah, wh where's Mario? Well, Mario got a drinking problem by this point, and he, he, they wouldn't hire him. Mario wouldn't put up with this crap. <laughs> Mario's like, this is yeah, your <laughs> yeah, He would jump all over you. Oh yeah, this is not in my contract. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, he got pulled. Oh, we guy. Man. Poor we guy. Well, that's why he couldn't join us for this. He was busy in this fight. Yeah. There's Dennis and Menace up there again. <laughs> Mr. Wilson, Mr. Wilson, I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. Yeah, Wilson. Yeah. They never really explain <laughs> why Lil Mac looks so different here. I know yeah. they they really change him, and it's, yeah, it's not you know yeah it's not that it's the 16th thing. Whoa, lost weirdo. 
he's fighting no real boxers. He just fought a karate guy, a wrestling mucha wrestler. I mean, I I don't even know anymore. <laughs> yeah, he's uh, lost. Weirdo makes his return to this game. You should get on now, senor. <laughs> She's no, my actually, fiesta. Oh. No wait, that's the that's the mayor in the oblongs. Oh yeah, that's the mayor in the oblongs. <laughs> Fight. Hit me in the genitals of this golf club as hard as you can. <laughs> It's weird we go from Sun sits with five guys after going through those puny other guys like we guy. Yeah. Oh! Ah, see each other. And they're cheater. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Cheating? I don't know what you know. See you. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> yeah, try to hit butt. <laughs> Damn. Oh. Uh, stop spitting! You can't spit. You know, you can jump yeah. around the ring like a jackass, but you don't spit on me now. <laughs> yeah. It's a good thing Mike Tyson's not in this game because he would be biting your ear. <laughs> Literally be legal. biting your ear off. Man, yeah. I, yeah. you know, well, you gotta think like what n the Nintendo board was talking about. Like, oh man, did you know what happened to Mike Tyson? Well, we got this new Punch Out game coming out. We, we can't have him Let's in it now. Let's put it in there. Yeah, we gotta delete the whole thing now. They had to restart the whole game. Yeah. That is it for Lost Weirdo. Oh. Lost Weirdo is lost. Yeah. Alas, you whooped my ass. <laughs> <laughs> ECW. ECW, ECW. I have an erection. Good night. Oh, wait, what? we're not done yet. <laughs> okay. Are That's you looking right. at his pants too much? <laughs> Jeff, has, Jeff has been ejected from the call. <laughs> you can't oh, eject he's back. me. You can never he's back. eject me. It's, it's, uh, it's Super Robot Soldier from YouTube. No, <laughs> <laughs> Super Robot Mr. Sandman, so, I'm going to make you go to sleep, little boy. He's back with a vengeance. <laughs> You can't get rid of me. The internet has... I broke the internet. It's all broken. <laughs> Suck it, Al Gore. Anyway, I guess we should get back to this. <laughs> Here we go. Reskin a ball bull. <laughs> oh! Will I go to sleep? Go to sleep, little boy. Go to sleep. Oh man, delayed uppercut. Come on. Is he gonna do it? There we go. Oh! Yep. He just did the one. Look out. Oh! Ow. This was still easier than the NES fight. Oh Absolutely. yeah, it's way harder there. Larry Holmes is down. A better Larry Holmes. <laughs> Yeah. He's not very fat. He's pretty buff. Yeah. Oh, missed that time. Dang, this is easy fight here. Well, it's just a major circuit. Um, yeah. Just a major. <laughs> yeah. The world circuit is going to get a lot tougher. In fact, it's yeah. getting a lot tougher now. <laughs> it, 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 oh, shoot. Oh, oh, oh. Is Glass Joe oh. coming back? No. Oh. Uh, but Von Kaiser is not kidding. No. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, Ronnie, come on now. Oh, hey, Mr. Sam is a legit fighter, so this this is a pretty tough challenge. Fight. He broke my everything. Don't sleep with one eye open. Yeah, exactly. Oh. The Sandman's gonna get you. He like beats up children when they're falling asleep. Yeah. That's how he gains all his strength. He, he eats the souls of children. Yeah. I have the strength of 50 small children. Oh, no. Oh, wait, he's out. Uh-huh. Yeah. Got it. Right on. Right on. <laughs> that is not Little Mac. <laughs> yeah, this he's got... He's, he's, he's a man now. <laughs> It's like eight years later. He dyed his hair. He got blue eyes. He got buff. <laughs> he got buff. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, Jeff is number one up there. Wow. I'm number one. Ken Lobb, number one, of course. Yep. Lobb. And, yep, that is the end of the major circle. I am the major champion. And Ron Moore, you really, you really put on the muscle there. Yep. And lost when air. I beat, when I beat, when I beat mast muscle. Yeah, <laughs> when you beat mast muscle, you stole his muscle. Yeah. Anyway. Let's see if I can do pretty good in the world circuit in part three. Until then, God bless. And take care. Bye bye. Welcome to part three of Let's Play Super Punch Out. This is Ron Moore along with the returning J Man. I'm back. Well, he is back. There's J Man, my first opponent. Hey. <laughs> I'm not from Ireland. Kind of looks like you, though, if you're pissed off and your hair and you had a cow lick. No, um, I'm, I'm Shaman. Yeah. <laughs> or Seamus. Oh, so yeah, Seamus. Aaron, yeah, Seamus. Aaron Ryan or Fit Finley, whoever this is. The Fighting Irish. Let's see how tough he is. This is now the world circuit, so this is going to get pretty tough. Yeah, he, he looks pretty pissed off. Yeah. I read the structure book. People, kids used to make fun of the way his name was spelled, so that probably made him tough. Most likely. Oh, what the heck? Get off me, Floyd Mayweather. Oh. <laughs> Come on, man. All right, so we got J-Man versus we got here. Uh oh. Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, dang. J Man putting them hands down, we got. Well, okay, if we were playing we uh yeah, uh we battle toads then yeah. <laughs> this is we punch out. <laughs> Alright, little Mac is down already, man. This Aaron Ryan is serious business. No, J Man's going down. Or Aaron, Aryan Union, or whatever his name is. Yeah, you know, I always thought about that when I was a kid. I, when I seen his name, I was thinking, like, like German Nazi party. Yeah, really. Oh, yeah. Oh, shoot, he's back up already. Yep, full power, well, almost. Oh! Dang, how do you counter that? I forgot. You can't counter it. You just, uh, you get in touch with your gay side. And there you go. Oh, okay. I now know how to block my stomach. I forgot. You just don't hit nothing. I thought you hit down to block your stomach, but you don't. Down is the duck. Jeez, well, what just... you do is you just knock him the fuck out before he even gets to do that shit. Yeah, well, see, when you hit him with that, the super punch, he does that. See, watch. Now I gotta... Yep. Yeah. That's how you do it. Yeah. You gotta hit him in the stomach. Okay. Yeah. I only know that because I've, I've watched all the uh, uh, Speed Demos uh, yeah. marathons. Ah, uh, there we go. Yep. Yeah. Oh, you grabbed him. Yeah. I just realized, I just remember something. This game don't have rounds. I think it's a three-minute time limit. Uh, yeah. That's odd. It's, um, it's round. As we stated in part two, Lil Max picture up there looks a little more like Dennis the Menace. What? I don't see it. <laughs> I just, I, I just got right above Dennis uh, on the rankings there. Whoa! Okay, here's Wee Girl. No, I don't know. That's uh, hey, K. Uh, Kagero. That's Marilyn Manson's dad. Yeah, Hey K. Kagero. My friend called him taking care of Kagero. Hey, yeah, I don't know. Watch out for the hair. And when I was a kid, my friend told me that's really a woman. I said, No, it's not. Look at his <laughs> chest. No, it's, no, dude. They can't. Madonna. They can't use. They can't <laughs> use her real boobs. They can't use her real boobs in the game, so they took that off. It's really a woman. I'm like, dude, you're stupid. That's uh, I wanted to say Sarah Palin, but nah. No, it's like, it's like uh, I don't know. Oh look at oh, that, yeah, just, there's the hair. Just hit me with with his or her hair. 
Punch him in the stomach. Dang, he's doing that great tiger crap. One, two, <laughs> fight! That hair that reminds me of, uh... Man, I'm trying to think of the actor's name, I forgot. The same actor played as Raiden in the Mortal Kombat movies. The long hair. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, Something. you know, I don't remember his name, but, uh, like, Highlander or something like that. Something Lambert or something. Oh, yeah, Chris, uh, Chris Lambert. Let's get knocked down by his hair. I told you to watch out for the hair. I remember when I was a kid seeing these two friends argue, and it's making fun of his hair. He goes, so you can't whoop it, though. Well, I don't think I can whoop this hair. You could uh, curl it. <laughs> yeah. Why'd you really start? Oh. That's pretty good for a sissy. I don't know. Uh, Swindoll needs to be here right now. Oh, yeah, really. He, already, he, he would have already dropped him. <laughs> Put ants on his face or whatever he said. In the <laughs> I said, well, your blood's instantly covered with ants. Yep. Now, he would have <laughs> pulled a magic trick like David Copperfield make his chin vanish off his face. Ah, there we go. Dump. Yeah. Take that. So this is, a. Uh, this is no ECW mode. Nope. Even though this, that's the ECW crowd. Well, I don't know. You, you should have to fight uh, Paul Heyman. Yeah. So we uh we got Mad Clown coming up. Mad Clown. Yes. Here. Wow. Wow, and Jay. Wow, Krusty really let him, Krusty really let himself go. No, this is uh, ICP. Oh, ICP. Oh yeah. Or Doink. Yeah. Really, really it's go. Doink. <laughs> Matt. Rest in peace, Matt Bourne, or whatever the Doink's name was. No, it's uh the uh, uh, Bear Hugger just dressed up differently. Yeah. No, this is this is it. Hey. Oh, he's got pimp, pimp slap. Ooh, yeah. So I guess Stephen King is a trainer over there. And I can fight it. He really let himself go. Hey, you're about to be it. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't wave at me. You don't wave at me like that. You <laughs> freaking get knocked down. Sit down, Twinkle Toes. <laughs> fight. Oh, this is Butterbean in a clown suit. <laughs> nice. Oh. Come on, the train. Oh shit. Here we go. Oh. Ah, oh, dang! I tried to duck from that. You can't. That's all right. Look that ass. Doing a little ballerina dance over there as he gets knocked down. Oh, showtime. Oh, shoot. Uh-oh, you're going down. Oh. Oh. There it is. One, yeah, but you got him. Fight. Of course. <laughs> oh. Man. Almost there. Oh. oh! Oh! Wow! What a counter that was! Oh, oh, oh. One more chance! Fight! Got, got him! Oh! Oh man, this guy's got balls! Yep! Trying to do a little cheat right here! Ah, there we go! Ah! I knew there was gonna be cheating! <laughs> Actually, that's not really cheating. That's just using the games. Paul system. <laughs> it's cheating. Cheat, cheat. It's only cheating if you get caught. Wait. <laughs> no, I just did the Mega Man one pause trick right there, so. Oh, so that was uh, Guts Man. It was semi cheating. It's not ECW mode. Oh no! Wait, that was the uh, that was the Yellow Devil. Yeah.
Here we go. He's back. The world champion, Super Macho Man. Super Skip Rogers. <laughs> look at yeah, that he's 20 chin. Years old. Huh? So look at that chin. And yeah, 28 my ass. Look at that Jay Leno chin. Yep. 28. Still in shape, though. Fight. Your hair piece is 28. Yeah. George Washington. <laughs> he was 23 in the first one, in the first punch out. And he was gray there. I mean, a little bit. Not, not as much as here, but. I don't yeah, know. It's weird. Still. Oh! You know, th <laughs> this fight was already easier in the first punch out in my let's play. Now, this one, for some reason, is more challenging, but it's supposed to be easier. But oh well. Oh. I've always thought that he was like the Hulk Hogan of Punch Out. Fight! Yeah. Oh. One. I thought he was the Macho Man of Punch Out. <laughs> yeah, but he's still alive. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Too soon. Too soon. I know that. You know what? Really, that'll always be too soon for Macho Man. Oh. He did a super macho punch. One, two, three, he did, did. You know, he kind of looks like uh, Matthew McConaughey, too. What? He looks like Matthew McConaughey. Was that a stone gold that? Yeah, His eyes, when you punch him, he's, his eyes are like stoned. Oh, and I'm, and I'm out. Cold, cold. <laughs> wow. Man, he got revenge Ronnie. on me from my from my last LP. Ronnie, should have used same states. Well, I'm going to use. Right. I'm going to use a rematch. My rematch clause. All right, here we go. The rematch. Super Macho Man. You know, it's a it's a small detail, but I kind of wish that they would have like in the the record. Like, if you get beat, I think they should have updated the record and shown it as like thirty and three instead of twenty nine and three. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, I never thought of that. They update your record, but not theirs. There we go. Wasn't in part in the first punch out? Didn't he say, "I don't smoke, but tonight I want to smoke you"? No. I thought he said that. I've oh, well. never seen that. Or right, if it wasn't Super Macho Man, I thought it was somewhere from part one, uh, the first punch out. I remember. Uh... I don't drive, but I'm gonna run all over you or something like that. Hmm. But that was, uh, uh, sort of pop answer. Two, three, huh. Jeez, I keep forgetting to block that. <laughs> well, you blocked it with your face, but not very well. Yeah. Fight. Come on. Uh-oh. Nice. Is this like a two-hour video? Oh, no, it's almost over. <laughs> This is not the last part, obviously. No. Pwned. Knockout. He took it easy on you that time. Got it. Yeah. Right on. Right on. Oh, number one. But number six overall in World Circuit. As Little Mac is once again the world champion. Super Macho Man. <laughs> and we have one more circuit to go, and that's the special circuit, which will be the fourth and final part of Let's Play Discuss Super Punch Out. 
Until then, God bless. Take care. All right. See ya. Welcome to Let's Play Discuss Super Punch Out. This is Ron Moore, and I'm with the Wee and the Star Soldier. Oh, yeah. How's everybody doing out there? All right, now we're fighting Macaulay Culkin. Ooh, Narciss Prince. <laughs> I get it. Yeah. No, no. Okay, we're fighting Jeff. I don't know. He doesn't have that good of hair. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Fight! Fight. I don't get it. Why would you not want your face to be, like, touched if you're going to box? That's, like, pretty I know, much... right? Ta yeah, a Punch-Out's <laughs> version of Tyler Breeze here. Oh! I will have to admit, he is stunning. Yeah, I always like, you know, fighting this guy because he does protect his face pretty well. Yeah. Until you do one particular move. Crotch punch? No, wait, wait. Are you fighting Jack Vitry's son? He has the V on his sweater. No, it stands for oh, uh, Val Valley High. What an arrogant fighter. Look at that. When he moves, he just stands there waiting for you to catch up to him. Oh, nonchalant and cocky. Well, he is the Narciss Prince. His record is 12 and 3. That's not that <laughs> impressive. I was in the special circuit when Super Macho Man had a fair record. He just well, he's the first guy at least. I think it's supposed to simulate us because you beat 12 hour bosses or that he's in the same rank as you are. That maybe he had 12 victories and three losses. What's so special about him? Well, he's good at blocking at least. <laughs> Except now when he gets in panic mode. Yeah. I'm gonna hit you. <laughs> I was in rage mode. I love it when you knock him down. Yeah. Oh! Oh! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was like those tennis shorts. Yeah, they need a butt shot there. So oh. with that Nintendo, you can't put ring girls in your punch out games, but you'll show that. Yeah, it's all about male masculinity. <laughs> oh, and knocking them out. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. Well, he's going to be home alone tonight. <laughs> As we guy wins. Definitely not a good son. I'm trying to think of that movie he started in, but I, I just remember Home Alone. And I think, I think that's it. Uh, Black Rear. No, he did, you know, he did some other roles, like uh, The Good Son. Uh, Richie Rich. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh... Ah, Boy Parlo. Jeez. Or, 78 no, years old. Pi May from Kill Bill, 62 and 13. <laughs> his age is almost as high as his weight. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I think they got those two mixed up. But he's pretty good, though. He cheats, though. <laughs> well, he's 78 years old. He's got to have a cane. <laughs> <laughs> Who would ever allow this guy in? The World Boxing Video World Video Boxing Association. <laughs> yeah, they let Mike Tyson in. Yeah, and he cheats like uh, nobody else. Yeah, this is Dragon okay, Chan. This is Dragon Chan's teacher. What about Jackie Chan? No. No? Ah, oh, come on. So as I oh dang it, well yeah, Miss Miyagi is pretty tricky. Whoa! Do you like become flat? Whoa! So it's teacher versus the student. It's Karate Kid versus Mr. Miyagi. Yeah, this is the next sequel where instead of karate, it's boxing, but they still call it the Karate Kid. Yeah. Or karate <laughs> boxing. I know that's a thing. Oh wait, I think that's oh, Daniel Smith's son. Daniel son. Yeah. Knocked, knocked down. Fight. Daniel son just knocked down Mr. Miyagi. What a like two-man fool. To Wong Fu, thanks for everything, Julie Newmore. What? No. <laughs> oh. And he's on a target kill if he's not careful. <laughs> You're gonna murder an old man. 
Look at this creepy thumbnail up there. It is a bit creepy. Kind of interesting when he transitions, the timer stops. Oh yeah. It's like when he's in the air, the time doesn't count. I guess because there's no way to hit him, and so it, it'd never be unfair in time attack mode. I guess so. But in real time, that it, it still counts. <laughs> well, it's just like wrestling, it's not real. Okay, he's jumping up in the air. Stop the timer. <laughs> yeah. Well, the ref is saying, no, don't do that. Don't jump up in the air. You're disqualified. Yeah. And give me that cane. <laughs> yeah. All right, oh, yeah. George Foreman now. Rick Bruiser. We don't know where he's from. We don't know how old he is. But we his just brother know he is the forty-one and one record. Yeah, his brother is the one behind the one and forty-one and one. Yeah, know his age. It when was a client, huge undertaking. Yeah, when this client Nick Bruiser, Bruiser. beat Rick Bruiser at WrestleMania <laughs> or Boxing Mania. Uh, Rip Bruce is pretty cool. J Man said he's never got past him. He is a pretty tough guy. Like, here's where the game, play, you know, gets you in the balls in difficulty. Yeah. Yeah, it's a shame the Bruiser brothers look so much alike, though, you know. They're basically twins. Yeah. Oh! And knock out. Oh, ouch. Yeah, the only difference is Rick will smile at you and Nick will just give you a, a big old frown. Yeah. Oh my god, his freaking legs and feet are square. Look at that, look at this. His feet are square. <laughs> okay, well there they look kind of round, but when yeah. he's like standing in front of you, his like, light, look at this, he like, it's like cereal boxes he's wearing. You want to say that to his face? There's no point. It's not a taunt or anything, it's a real fact. Look at that. He's wearing square shoes, or his legs are super square. Yeah. It's so weird. Well, that's because he likes a square dance. Well, I guess when you get super built and buff, everything a part of you just becomes really, like, firm and, like, square. Yeah, just like Strong Mad. Huh. Right. Oh, he's sucking his thumb in the corner. Oh, nom nom. I hate when he flashes like that. Yeah. Oh, he's flashing Mac. Oh. God, that's it. Ooh. Finesse. Got it. Pizza cake. Yeah. No, because I got knocked down once, so... Pizza cake? <laughs> Yum. Yeah. Yeah, they should make a pizza cake, but I think they had before. Yeah. <laughs> Ham and Dharma X. Now we fight the champ. Oh, God. He has little to say. A man of few words. 42 and 0. Wait the same as his brother. Twin, twins and brothers, and or brothers in every regard. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Nintendo loves to do that, though. It, no, it's an all new boxer, honest. Mass Muscle is not like Super Macho Man. <laughs> yeah. Gabby J is not like Bob Charlie. This guy is the Iceman of Super Punch Out. It's like Dee Malenko is the Iceman of wrestling. Pretty much no emotion. Yeah, thankfully he's a lot easier than Tyson, though. He yeah. doesn't knock you out with one punch right away. Even though he does yeah. have one knockout of punch power. Yeah. I get to the punchline. <laughs> yeah, I trying to rip off Super, uh, Super Sandman. He trying to rip off Mr. Sandman there. Oh, Foreman is down. Foreman is down. <laughs> Red Foreman. Grilled. 
It is almost like red. He does have a nicer tan than his brother. Oh, he's almost. That. He's pretty much. Yeah. Spent too much time in the sun. Had the same feet. He had the same box feet. Oh. Except he's got green shoes. <laughs> oh dang! He bruised my left, my left hand. Oh, he bruised my neck. Well, here's the bruiser. So wait, you got Rick Bruiser, Nick Bruiser. Where's Dick the Bruiser? Nick, Rick, and Dick. Yeah. Maybe they're related to Alan Dick. Yeah. Is that wake up, you idiot? Hey, pet, pet, get up, Nick. Oh. Come on, eat it? him. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, you got served. Yeah. Oh. There he goes, the mouthpiece. Oh, look at that little back in the corner. Yeah, I would not want to do a neck ring like that. <laughs> yeah, those evil green eyes. Oh, that's it. Oh, that was easy. Yeah. Oh, sweet. Easy peasy. Right on. Hey, look, you see his face. Oh, we already see his face, though. But now he, he turns around after beating someone. Well, yeah, I did that after he beat Bald Wolf, Mr. Sandman, and Super Macho Man. Yeah, sadly, that's it, though. Only, you know, 16 boxers, and then the game is over. Well, how many was there in regular Punch-Out? I think 15. But, uh, yeah, in the original arcade Punch-Out, there's only 6. Uh. Yeah, in the arcade original Super Punch-Out, there's only 5. Uh, like, but <laughs> I'm just nerdy that I knew that. I love Patty J. He tries so hard. Oh, I'm right, the Canadian. <laughs> yeah. I'm wearing overalls right now. Yeah, but he sucks. <laughs> he suffered than Gabby J, at least. Yeah. Kiwi Gooding Jr. Yeah. <laughs> now he's definitely easier than yeah. Bear yeah. hugger. Bald bull, who, bald bull who got demoted from Punch Out is in, in minor circuit now. Yeah. Poor guy. Yeah. Huh. Bob Marley. I'm Mr. I'm Jamaican ish man. <laughs> yeah, see, he goes and more. I wonder if they just were offended by that. There's we got. Hello. Lost weirdo. Oh, sweet! Lost I love Los weirdos. Adios. <laughs> yeah, he even taunts you a little. Bruises, he'll get amigo. And Super Robot Soldier from YouTube. Yep. Good night. Yeah, it's weird how he became the end boss of the new Wii Punch Out. Oh, you know that. I like that though. Mr. Sandman's cool. There's J Man. <laughs> oh my gosh. Aaron Ryan. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Aaron Union, Union. Whoa. Whoa. I didn't. Man, that guy is. Oh, wait, that's me. No. <laughs> get that. Look at that hair. Damn. Should have hair like that. Oh, wait, pretty I Pretty ish. What a pretty man. Oh, oh Jesus Lord Almighty. It's the closest thing to a girl in the game. It's basically, bear oh, hugger she. with clown makeup on. <laughs> that's yeah. scary as hell. I'm 28 years old. <laughs> uh, that seems about right. I don't know why his hair is gray already. But that's why I mean his hair, like, what the heck? Yeah, it's, hair is stressful hey, it's life. Mario! Charles Mario. Maybe it's silver. Oh. Ken Lobb. And, and Jeff. That sounds familiar. Yeah. Silent Lobb? Wait. 
Mr. Miyagi. What a, what a weird one. Yeah. Rick Flair! <laughs> it's the right back. <laughs> and, and Nick. And you. Oh, me. Hey, it's Oshin. Okay, so, 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 for the feet. Eh. Seems about right. Hail the Almighty oh. Champ, or Ultimate Champ. Yep. This is Scarlet Air's Off World Champ. In 20 and 1, <laughs> Super Macho Man is the one behind the one in 20 and 1. And so that is it for Super Punch Out for the SNES. And now for the Let's Discuss. Yay. This game is not as memorable as the original, but it was still pretty fun for its time. I remember when they announced it, and I was like, whoa, a Punch Out for Super Nintendo? I mean, back then you got real excited when your favorite NES game was going to have a sequel on the Super Nintendo, like with Mega Man. I mean, I was like, whoa, Mega Man on Super Nintendo? And then Zelda on Super Nintendo? No way. Metroid? And then Super Punch-Out! was one of those. And so, yeah, I enjoyed it back then, but not as good as the original Punch-Out! Nothing's going to beat the original. Um, and But Super Punch-Out! was still fun. Much easier than the original. Even though a lot of boxers cheat, I understand why they did that to to make it more, I guess, more fun. And instead of the same old regular punches that you saw in Punch Out, they wanted to make it somewhat different. So I guess this was like um, ECW boxing in a way, where they really let the rules slide. And you know, you got boxers who kick, spit, and use a cane and elbow you and all that stuff. And so it's it's pretty fun because there's a lot of different elements to it. And the music, catchy, but not as memorable as in regular Punch-Out. But Super Punch-Out was not a, a bad game to play. It was pretty fun. It was fun to go back and play it again here. So, with that said, I'm about to give Super Punch-Out maybe, I'm not sure, either a 7.5 or 8 out of 10. We got? Uh, let's see. Super Punch-Out. I didn't, uh, never played it, still haven't played it. There was something about it that just didn't look as good as the, of course, original Punch-Out. Uh, maybe because it borrowed a little bit of elements from the arcade, like with the meter at the bottom, but I mean, that's just like a, another gameplay mechanic. Of course, borrowed, but I know there's something off about Super Punch-Out. Still a good game, obviously. Still a good follow-up. You know, still in the same vein as Punch-Out is with its style. You know, still has, you know, quirky, fun uh, boxers, some of which, some of which are memorable. I guess maybe memorable now that some of them are, of course, revived in the Wii Punch Out. But still, something about Super Punch Out that seemed a little bit lackluster. But nonetheless, still a good game. Still a good uh, classic uh, Super Nintendo title. And it's nice to see that Punch Out did get its treatment on the Super Nintendo. And I would probably give Super Punch Out eh, probably a six out of ten. All right, Star Soldier. Now, I'm gonna have to disagree with you guys on this one here because I really thought Super Punch Out was a much greater sequel than Mike Tyson's Punch Out. Okay, now you have the charm of having Mike Tyson in the original game. That's all cool, but here you got 16 boxers to worry about in this game. You have an all new save feature, a whole new time attack mode, which is definitely a welcome bonus. Yeah, I kind of miss having Doc Lewis by your side, and, you know, they took out the round system. That was kind of lame, but I love the new power meter at the bottom. That was in the arcade one, and they included it here. I love that system. Well, you know, at least a lot better than what was the star counter system in the NES version of Punch-Out! Because, you know, you sort of have to time your shots to get those stars and once you get hit you lose them here you just lose a little bit of your power meter if you get hit but you know it's successful hits you get your super meter and do boom you can use your either one really strong punch or new rapid punches which can really set combos to get that knockout 
a whole lot quicker. There's a whole lot of new depth to the gameplay, especially with how the boxers can cheat, but you can also counter them, you know, in just the right way to make sure you can get that fastest time possible. And this is great for speedrunners that just want to get that perfect time. Yes, it's possible to knock out guys like Pissing on in just six measly seconds. You know, <laughs> well, other guys like you know, Nick Bruiser, it's definitely going to be a lot more difficult. I love the challenge. I love the characters. I love the animation. I love the sixteen bit gloss to it, especially compared to the little tiny character, little Matt that you had before. Having the more translucent character in Super Punch Out makes it look a whole lot better. So, you know, I don't have to be embarrassed now looking at the older games and oh man, it doesn't look as good as I remember. But here it still holds up. And that's why I get Super Punch Out here for the Super Nintendo, a ninety four out of hundred. Highly recommended. The Tom and Type mode was a very good addition to it. I've seen speed runs of it, and I mean, Gabby J can be beaten in six seconds. Bear Hugger, I think, 12 seconds or something like that. i got to go back and look. I watched, recently I watched the Speed Demos archive, um, and I've seen all of them. I think uh, the Bruiser Brothers probably got beaten in like 15 seconds or something like that. And Yeah, so uh, it's pretty cool to watch. And uh, so the time attack mode was definitely fun to see if you can beat your old records. See if you can, your friends can beat your record and whatever. And so, yeah, that was pretty cool. And, yeah, so the save features, all that stuff, that is pretty cool. But to me, it's just, I mean, I just thought regular Punch-Out was better. But regardless, Super Punch-Out was very good. Very fun for its time. The new, cool new features were awesome. I just wish they would have put Soda Pop Penske back in there. But, oh, well. At least you had the original three bosses from Punch Out, Bald Bull, Mr. Sandman, and Super Macho Man. And yeah, so definitely not a bad game. And it was yeah, cool. If you want to see those characters, yeah, if you want to see the original characters updated, I highly recommend Punch Out for the Wii. And Nintendo, you know, get off your butt and re release these games or make a new Punch Out for the Wii U. Give me a reason to buy that. System. Yeah. And. Yeah, this is my first time playing this game in 20-something years. I mean, I really never, hadn't sat down and played it since probably 95, 96. And so, yeah, it was good to do this game. All right, guys, that is it. We are out of here. I'm Ron Moore. The Wii Guy. And Star Soldier, Arizona, World Heavyweight Champion, baby. Oh, yeah. God bless. Take care. Time to punch yeah. out. Do I get paid for this? Welcome to Let's Play Little Nemo, the Dream Master for the NES. This is Ron Moore along with the J-Man. Hey! Alright, so some of you may remember I did a long time no play of this in 2012 and a low budget review of it in 2013. And it's only a matter of time before we bring it to the SC2K. Yes. And there's the wee guy asleep. Oh, he woke up. Oh, what's up with the uh, hair there? Right? I guess back then in 1905, little kids had purple hair. Well, I guess princesses too. Yeah. 1905, that's where that's when the NWA started with wrestling. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, it always got, my commentary always goes back to wrestling somehow. Well, I can't say that I remember uh, that this was like a, not a comic book, but it was, I guess, an actual book? Yeah, something like that, yeah. A happy Video Game Nerd explains that in his review. There you go. Yeah, and this game is very awesome. First played it in 1991, 1992, and it's another Capcom classic. It's not to call it Little Nemo, the ECW Master. You know, I'm, I'm with Nim Nemo here, uh, but she's a girl. Yeah, yuck. But she's a princess. Yeah, but she's still a girl. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 
Oh, now, and, uh, yeah, the, uh, evil temptress here, uh, tricks him in with candy. Yeah. Well, she needs to have a seat over there. How old is yeah. she? Oh, <laughs> uh, well, as long as he doesn't have to kiss her. Yeah. And now, he leaves in the turtle blimp or whatever the heck that is. There's the opening scene, the opening storyline to Little Nemo the Dream Master, where he must go to Dreamland and save the place from the evil King Nightmare. Freddy Krueger, I guess. I don't know. Start! Oh, man, my button's not working. I was kidding. Uh, I had to hear the, that music. Oh, uh, okay. But just like we Guy does in his LPs. Look at Pink Saturn up there. Okay. Yeah. Perry Saturn. Once again, wrestling reference. All right, dream one. Oh, uh, Flip Rogers. Yeah. This guy right here. Yeah. You know, I, uh, you know, doing this for the third time, I didn't think I'd have much to talk about, but, um, yeah. <laughs> well, he did this for, okay, I know he did it one time with low budget reviews. Oh, yeah, well, I was just saying, like, it's been done for the third time, like, as far as you. I was just saying. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah oh, uh, almost got into a feud. <laughs> yeah, right. There's some, <laughs> and, some uh, in, inside info. <laughs> yeah. And this game really is cool where you can feed certain animals candy, but even though I was kind of disappointed when I was trying to feed the snails candy and other enemies, and you can't do that. Well, I want to ride as a snail. Well, not really, but... Or I want to fly, is that, wherever the heck that is, that weird looking Baxter Stockman fly, or fly with the army helmet on, what the heck is that? Yeah. And, uh, I always thought it was weird that you could jump on the snails with their spiky backgrounds with a... Yeah. 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 <laughs> you gotta collect keys in each level. Well, that's fine. And, uh, you know, I just... I always thought that was weird. Yeah. So this was the Mushroom Kingdom? Virtue. Yeah. And um, I, I played Monster Party before this. Uh, you know, strangely, I compare this game a lot to Monster Party. Which, yeah. Yeah. Besides the animals you can feed and stuff. And yeah. This game is, is more interactive. But, yeah. Collecting keys. Yeah. Uh-oh. Hello, train. I lost my train of thought. <laughs> uh, okay, what, hap what happens there when they... Ah, jeez. Uh, that's what happens, what happens, happens there. there. <laughs> yeah. What happens there when you feed... Look, watch this. What... Dang it, douchebag, move out the way. Hold on a second. Now, know, it's not like look, you... Look, 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 look this right here. What are you doing? <laughs> Oh, well, how does feeding them candy make bubble com bubbles come out of their mouth? It makes and then... them fall asleep. It does? Yeah. That's, That's weird. Like you can, you can uh, crawl inside of their guts like uh, uh, ah. the Empire Strikes Back. <laughs> yeah. Only in the Empire Strikes Back, you have to like slice it uh, tauntaun <laughs> from neck, or neck to tail, and then you can crawl inside of it to, to keep warm. Or that that horror movie, The Hidden, where this monster or alien or something would go inside dead people's bodies and possess them, and they can. Yeah, I don't know. That's more gruesome. Yeah. Well, it's Halloween. Well, it was Halloween when we did record this video. Yep. Um, well, I mean, hey, it, it, it beats the human centipede. Ugh. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, I love hey. the soundtrack in this game. What? I said, hey, it's Halloween. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to mention, I am using the ECW mode. Wait a minute. Uh, oh, you have six key mode. Ah! Yeah, dang it. Well, there is a mode to get all the keys already, but that would take away from the gameplay. I don't want to do that. Wouldn't that be uh, Game Genie mode? Yeah. Oh, there's a key. Yep, and uh, one more. Where is it at? I don't know, just uh, do a leap of faith. Yeah. Nah, I think, uh... Dang it. Probably have to use the, uh... Did you dig? Yeah, you dig. You, damn it. 
Dig dug. Yeah, can you can you dig it? Um, uh, sugar honey smacks or super golden crisp. I don't know. Jeez, I remember that. That's old school. Breakfast's room. Yeah. I remember getting a flip book where you, you know, flip the page and it looks like it's animated from the Golden Crisp Bear years ago. Wow, that's a long time ago. Ah! There it is. Now, there we go. What the crap was that over there? Like, I don't remember that. Oh, it was just a bat. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just, uh, drunk or something. <laughs> so, if this was, uh, Little J Man, the Dream Master. Instead of candy, they're throwing you crown royals. <laughs> I'd have to, well, I'd have to collect like Gatorades to like cure my hangover the next day. Oh yeah. Now you gotta let the liquor. And, and before you could uh, get into the door, you'd have to find the cell phone to call in the work. <laughs> I can't make it. Yeah. You gotta let the uh, liquor do the thinking. Yeah, and then they'd be the cutscene would be like, oh, drink it again. Yep. Yep. Next level. L Lil' J-Man, you still hung over? How many times do I have to call you? <laughs> Alright, so that is the end of part one of Mushroom Kingdom. Uh, of Mushroom Kingdom. For Mushroom Kingdom. <laughs> of Lil' Nemo the Dream Man. Yeah, Mushroom Kingdom Forest, whatever it's called. Uh, this part, the end of part one of Lil', Little uh, I think I had some of what you drank tonight, J-Man. <laughs> <laughs> she, uh, she's in the next castle. <laughs> yeah, she's in the next castle, which we'll see in part two. Until then, God... Care and take less. Uh, yes, see? Welcome to Let's Play Lil Nemo the Dream Master Part 2. This is Ramor along the Wii Guy. Oh, yep, it's it's me. Yep, and now we're in the flower garden. Oh, the pretty pink flowers. Oompa Loompa? <laughs> Oompa Loompa, Doompa Dee Doo. This is yep. the flower garden. Now plant some ECW buds. Yeah. Alright, this is ECW mode. Ah! Oh. Whoa. Oh. It's Harley from Batman. Oh, no. Shit. I mean, on the sprite, on the for the character, yes, but the little cutscene, no. No. That was just some weird munchkin abomination. Yeah. Whoa. This whole game is weird. Yeah. Love the music in this game. And oh, yeah. love the review from HBGN. Yeah, man, this It's been a game that I've that's always I've always seen, talked about, but I've never really played the card I've had for God knows how long. Yeah, and you were in the low budget review about last year or so. Don't think so. Yeah, me, you and J Man. Oh, you saying I was in there? Yeah. Oh, okay. I guess yeah. And now you play as Donkey Kong? This is a strange one by Capcom, I will have to say. It's just... I don't know. There's something about it. Well, it's based off, I don't know, of a comic or a book in ni ni early 1900s or something. HBG yep. goes to detail about that. Well, there was the movie. I don't know if it was based off the movie for, like, the tie-in or if it was just like, Oh, we have the license. Let's use it. Yeah, Finding Nemo? Oh, wait. <laughs> Dang it, Skip, wait. Ro Skip Rogers is wrong. Way before that time. Yeah. But, yeah, I don't know, it's just... It's like in the HPGN review, or... Oh, uh, Mr. oh gosh. What's Mr. Uh, Derek Alexander Ray said this game was just, like, super, really hard, and it was very non-linear. Yeah. You gotta watch out for those spikes. Yeah, this, game, this kind of games don't really tickle my fancy too much. Tickle your fancy? You nothing know, fancy about that. Yeah, I... I you know. Alright, and... So I guess to play a five-year-old Wii guy here when you have purple hair. <laughs> Dude, this, this is my punk era, man. Yeah. I was a rebel with a rebel without a cause. Seeing punk era? Points of reference. Yeah, the, uh... The, uh... Yeah, the CM. Yeah, yeah. CM. Yeah. yeah. Dang, I hate those weird-looking weird flies with army hats. That's weird. Let's get let's get ahead of let's get out of this flower garden already. Something about it that just it's weird. It's so weird. I think I think it's the color design really. That yeah. also throws me off with this game. Oh Jesus! 
Oh, well, at least I got the key. Once you get it, even though you die, you still have it. That's good. Unless you, unless you get game over. Yeah. Well, at least with this stage, yeah, like, the purple, like, purple background, purple water, it's like, I don't know, there's something too... The themes are too... I don't know. There, but it is the color design, and, like, the, the brownish-green brown there, it's just, I don't know. It's not yeah. a turn-off, it just makes it really strange. Yeah, it's worse. I get it. It creeps you out, and you want to get out of here. <laughs> I guess. It, it fits with the dream aspect, but, man, I don't know, it's like... I don't know, it's like an opposite Street Fighter 2010. Now, Street Fighter 2010 had a lot of... A lot of colors in that game, which is also Capcom, but... There's something that worked with it, I guess because of its future setting. Yeah. But when you go something fantasy like this, it's just, I don't know. It's really it's a weird thing that I'm pointing out for like a critical like uh, critique. Yeah. If I ever review this game for Play of the Game, that would be something I'd say. I kind of really like the game because it's, it doesn't look good color-wise. I don't know. There's a request. Play that game. Little Nemo the Dream Master. Play the game? Well, that's, yeah. yeah. The review series. Check it out on Gaming Going Gone. Yep. Or just search the Terminator 2 Play the Game episode. It's the most popular so far. And now I'm playing as B Guy. <clears throat> B Guy 309, I feel. Oh, oh, come on, get the key. Don't hit. Oh. Don't touch that. Oh. Even I was worried. I hate this part over the B because you can actually, like, run out of wing energy and, and fall. That sucks. Ah, oh, dang it. I gotta go around. It took me a while to figure out I need that purple. Um, alligator thing, wherever the heck it is, to um, get further in this level. He'll use Donkey Kong. I forgot you can ride him. Uh, this little uh, Barney dinosaur, whatever it is. <laughs> yeah. Whoa! Put the Raven. Nevermore. It's a kill. It's a. It's a. What is it? I don't the, know. Uh, That's so Raven. It's a. Uh, a murder of crows. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Ah! A rampage of ravens. Ooh. Dang it. Oh, there's look always, at you. There's always a key I missed. In each level, I gotta go back and try to find it. No, just play the ultimate stunt, man. You know, there's a level where that's one of the goals. You have to collect, like, a certain amount of keys. This game is too, too much purple in it. I mean, the hair, the water, the background, the dinosaur... I remember uh, Armory 21 making fun of Target Renegade saying, Why is everything so freaking purple and blue in this game? I oh, know, man. So it, it's an interesting difference between a European developed and Japanese developed title. Yeah. Or the similarities that are in them. Yeah. And Little Nemo got small all of a sudden. I oh, you know, Sprite Camp. Sprite isn't too. It's too big for that little dinosaur. Yeah. Man, you this, really are in a pickle here. This is Dreamland, so I mean, you can pretty much imagine. Oh, do I imagine oh, myself oh. Dr drowning? What the heck? Get off of him already! Man. Ah. Idiot. Well, at least All you right. get to start from there. Yeah, that's true. So now you get your second chance to find where the other key is. Yeah, Be sure to look. Remember. Look through every corner and crevice. Yeah. It's been a while since I played this game, so I'm trying to remember exactly. Ah, oh, man! Ah! Super freaking hey. crackhead balloon things. This music sounds like music you wake up to in the morning or something, and you're about to start your day. But I'm gonna start my day, it's gonna be great, gonna get some there we all. Here's oh, maybe. Other NES musics that I thought sounded like that were uh, Napalm Man and Mega Man 5 and... Good stuff. Uh, that game, I forgot the other one. Is it oh, Mega uh, Man or... Flame Man and Mega Man 6. Okay, so Mega Man so far has that kind of... Ah, there it is. Yeah. So Star Soldier you... goes, yeah, but Mega Man 5, it makes me want to go to sleep for good. I don't want to play that game. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I got the final key, the elusive white key. The elusive key to end the level. Let's get out of purple everything land. Yeah, out of purple hell. Purple garden. Who in the purple hell are you? I'm just surprised there wasn't any purple rain. Yeah. 
throw it all together, why don't you? Did the boss of the stage is Prince? <laughs> I, I mean, yeah. Yeah. Alright, finally done with the flower garden. Oh, thank goodness gracious. Alright, so we're done with Olive Garden and... Nemo, why are you out of bed? Get back to your room. This is, He is in his room. He's right there next to his bed. The room, the bed is in his room. Yeah, the room. Oh, hi, wee guy. Oh, hi. All right, that is the end of part two of Little Nemo the Dream Master. See you guys in part three. Until then, God bless and take care. See you later. Or you snooze, you lose. There we go. Lulz. Welcome to Let's Play Little Emo, the ECW Master, Part 3. This is Ron Moore, along with the Wii Guy, and Jeff. Hi. It's good to be back. I've got free candy. You know, yep. leftover Halloween candy. Yep. And speaking of candy, Little Nemo has unlimited, uh, an unlimited supply of candy, as we are now in the house of ECW. Wonderful. That means he's going to have rotten teeth. Oh, his parents should be proud. Yeah, he's spoiled rotten. See, I, I, I spoiled Rotten Hero. I just don't understand that. It doesn't make a good hero for me. Well, here's J-Man's train. <laughs> and you're playing, again, uh, Jeff, you're not aware, we're playing as a five-year-old wee guy. Oh, okay. So this was your man. Nico, yeah. you had some awesome adventures. And I, I know. It's the best. And I'm using the ECW mode. Ah. Ah. Is that a bird? Oh. That is a lot of planes. Imagine, like, there's, like, 40 guys controlling little control planes. Like, kill that kid. Yeah, really? Why would you want to kill this kid? Yeah, seriously. Maybe it's maybe it's pedophiles and then he's gonna call Chris Hansen on. Him. Yeah, know. so you should be playing as Chris Hansen. Yes. <laughs> Why don't you take a seat? Let and me get uh, Nemo, Nemo, we got over here is a decoy. Which, by the way, J Man's right. We got you would make a perfect decoy in that show in real life. You really would. <laughs> sure, I would. Sure, I would. Meet fourteen-year-old no, Nicola Gutierrez. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yeah, this the house of toys here really is freaking frustrating. Now, I wonder what would happen if I miss these keys right here. Can I? Can the train go back and get them again? I never tried nope. that. Nope, S O L. Try again. Uh, and you know what that means? You have a lot yeah. of life. This is ridiculous. Well, yeah, it's ECW mode. Mm. You mean you're using that damn game, Genie? Yep. Jeez. Uh, oh, don't ruin the illusion. All right, watch out for duck, the spikes. Duck, duck. Oh, oh. I'm getting the energy like I need it. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, oh, I guess not. I didn't think I could duck there. I guess I. Dummy. Well, I, I can just imagine you. I can just imagine you, Ronnie. It's like 20 years, and I finally got a game genie. Yeah. I win. Some guy walks by. Have you heard of the internet? Uh, oh. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. What the heck? Freaking snail. All right. So, um, ECW mode does not protect you against spikes. Definitely not. And for some reason, as the train goes, then the wind starts blowing in the background. Yeah. So as Nemo and, and Thomas over here scroll through the level. Thomas? Oh, the tank engine. Got it. Point I see Oh, wait, you already... Yeah. I, I already got it, man. <laughs> I was around when Thomas was... Oh! Oh! No. Ah, no, oh. You were oh. so ah, come on, you suck at this. You know what? You're right. <laughs> That's why I'm using yeah. CW mode. Yeah, you, you know, Ronnie, I, I can say that, though, because I'll never play this game. <laughs> oh, this game is hard, though. This game really is challenging. This does Capcom pretty... hard, the way it should be. Just like HBG and said, this game is hard, just like real life. No ratchet and clank, sissy, don't hurt the kid's self-esteem crap. We didn't have that back then. <laughs> That's why my self-esteem is great. No, I suck at this. No, I hate myself. Great, right, guys? <laughs> oh yeah, if you want a game that will make you hate yourself, just play The Adventures of Dino Ricky. That's, that'll do you good. Uh, with this game, uh, this engine right here has some stuff. A steam, as it keeps going, I fail. Steam! I'm getting What's that one game for the, uh, any, I think it's for the NES or Super Nintendo Max and something. I was playing that at a friend's uh, Halloween party a couple days ago. Max. Ah, Mighty Max? Yeah, Mighty Max, that's it. Thank you. Oh, yeah, that game is hard. Bad Max. It's a Super Nintendo hard game. Oh, Super Nintendo. I'm sorry. I can't remember which one. Yeah, Mighty Max with Mel Gibson. The Mighty Max. <laughs> oh, wait. Actually, did you know they made an Outliner game for the Super Nintendo? I actually have it in the shop. It's like, what? Outliner? Yeah. yeah. Out oh, I thought you meant Eyeliner. 
There can be only one outlet. No, they can have a, that'd be a bonus game in Barbie for the NES or something. <laughs> Man, these planes. Jeez. Planes, trains, and automobiles. Wait, no, it's an automobile. <laughs> <laughs> right, John Candy and, and uh, John, Steve John Martin. Candy Steve Martin. shows up out of the corner like an 8-bit John Candy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, this music's man. pretty cool. But, uh, Steve Martin shows up, he's like, I needed a job. I haven't been in a good movie since 1987. Yeah. He's actually really? from, I think he was born, I don't know if he's from, but he was at least born or from one of the other here in Waco, Texas. Oh yeah, he had some good 90s movies. Yeah. Like, like what? I don't know, but I know he had Father of the Pride. <laughs> yeah, Father of the Pride. Father of the Father Pride was okay. Burn, bringing down the house. Uh, no, that was terrible. Seriously. Queen Latifah. What? Yeah, any movie if you have Queen Latifah and it's automatically usually bad. Including, so including set it off. Come on. Yes. Oh, yes. I set you off. Definitely Wait. set it off. <laughs> <laughs> no cheaper by the dozen. No, no, dear <laughs> lord. Bonnie Hunt is bad on her own, doesn't need any help. Aww. <laughs> I love how we just, I ended up getting us into Steve Martin movies because we still haven't got past this park. I know, right? So, how's everyone's, um, everyone's life? Are everyone happy and satisfied? Yeah, I'll be satisfied to beat this level. Yeah, I know. I was about to say, Ronnie, Ronnie was satisfied once he wins. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh! Yikes. Wow, yikes for spikes. Have, have you done Metal Gear yet? Uh, no. We should do that sometime. Just, just a oh, guess. Oh, I thought, have, have I done Metal Gear yet? Uh, no, I don't think I have done Metal Gear at all on YouTube. We should do that at some point. Anyway. I probably should. Co coming next week, Metal Gear, guys. Make them do it. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not probably Takes anything, revenge. but if enough people request... Wait a minute, is there another key over there? <laughs> Well, no, it's yeah. just a, it's a, a witch. Uh, it's a witch. Uh oh. Emo, emo. What are you doing? Go back to bed. <laughs> just, nice. Go back to bed. bed. Dad, are you okay? No. Oh. Yeah. You made your own bed. Now you got to lie in it. Go make your own damn bed. I'm gonna beat your ass. Yeah. <laughs> That's Jeff and his mom. You made anyway. me do this. I'm yeah. sorry, mama. Cool, cool. I want to meet your mom. Uh, <laughs> anyway, that points for a reference right there. Anyway, that is in a part three of Little Emo, the ECW Master. See you guys in part four. Until then, God bless and take care. Goodbye. Uh, uh, um, uh, 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 Somebody, uh, quick. The Sandman. The Sandman. Enter, I'm going to enter the Sandman. This, uh, forget bow, 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 bow. Okay, I'm retarded. <laughs>I mean, well, this game was well, this game was ninety, so I think yeah, a year before Sanic. Right. Sanic. They jumped, they jumped on it. They was like, oh, we gotta have it. I don't know about you guys, but tonight I'm feeling crappy. I'm sorry, you're feeling crappy. J only tonight? I said crappy. <laughs> <You know. laughs> I don't get well, it. Well, at least it's better than probably better than bubble crap. I don't know, uh, but. Don't have any sand in your vagina? <laughs> oh. oh. Yeah. I do. So shut up. Um, sand in your crack. <laughs> uh, it's uh, a uh, sand uh, not fresh feeling. <laughs> speaking, of, oh, geez. speaking of sand in your vagina, don't let that sperm thing. He's coming after. He's coming after you. All right. Oh, here we go. Start yeah, over that right thing here. Was Thing really wanted to get you. Look at him. He's oh. like, oh, I want you. What is that demon sperm? What is that? I know. He wanted to impregnate it. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Topical. Somehow. Right, here's the frog. Or whatever the heck this thing is again. Looks like, uh... <laughs> it looks like Pep. Ah, yeah. yeah. I feel like Ninja Turtles won there. We're trying to swim in between the, the pink things or the spaghetti things and try not to get caught. 
Mmm, spaghetti. I'll have mine to go, please. Okay. I wish you to go somewhere else as I'm trying to get through this level here. Oh, okay, <laughs> I'll, I'll go, guys. Ah, right. cheese! <laughs> No, wait, don't we, guys? <laughs> Jump cut. Even though we don't need the full version to record this short video. Yeah, that's true. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, the time that we have the full version, it's not needed. Yeah. Full version of our recording software we're talking about. Alright, so as I ride a wee guy here. Hey, come on. I'm the... Hey. What? <laughs> I, I don't know, I'm just, you know, oh, talking oh, about oh. me. Yeah, watch out for the spikes. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, don't go down there, that's death. If you remember the little budget view to me while to figure this out right here, I think I had to go to YouTube and find out. Oh, the the yeah. super pitfall method. Yeah. I would have ah, called, uh, called that the solar jet man method. More like the <laughs> solar fail method. What the heck? A freaking thing shot at me and it forced me to the spike. No, it was your fault. That was your face's fault. Wait. Uh, whatever. I haven't been on Facebook in forever. <laughs> You're on there today. Anyway. Uh, it's a good call. It's a good Facebook call. Facebook Messenger? <laughs> You're called Jamin. No one ever needs to be on Facebook ever. Well, yes! Face finally! Even though we go on there every day. But anyway. <laughs> finally, someone understands. I mean, yes. <laughs> I'm on there every day, but it's only because I have to talk to people about, you know, <laughs> communication. <laughs> I know, it's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, I'm not I'm not there because of like, oh I ha I'm so interested in what people have to say on their feed. Well I'm interested I mean, in trying kinda. to catch this level here without dying. I mean kinda just depends on the person. But anyway, um speaking of dying, I am dying to eat some ice cream right now. I'm dying. You know, there would be there would be less death if there were still my space. Yeah. <laughs> Are you kidding me? More death. <laughs> oh really, can I get some ice cream? Um, I get some candy. Alright, fine. Screw you guys. I'll go to Cold Stone by myself then. <laughs> Stone Cold? Stone Cold, crazy. <laughs> I like the track in this stage. Yeah, the Night Sea. Yeah. <laughs> I get it, because it's like saying Nipo with S Y at the end. Night Sea. Or Night, or night Sea. Night Sea, what you did there. Ah, oh, fail. Yeah, uh, well, it's not super C. Yeah. yeah. But oh, that background all, is. I got all the keys this time on the first try, alright. First try. Well, it's got. No, I mean, first try <laughs> when I get to the key, the, the door. You usually have to go back and, oh, dang it, there's one missing. Stay yeah, just stay ahead. Alright, so there's the end of part four, the C level. We'll see you guys in part five. Until then, God bless. Take care. Too quick. I'll see you later. Welcome to Let's Play Big Emo, the Nightmare Master, Part 5. This is Ron Moore, along with the J-Man and the Wee Guy. Uh, rough. Uh, uh, rawr. Yeah, this level is rough, as this is Little Nemo's house. Okay, Wee Guy, oh. why did you just do a, uh, a gay lion? Rawr. I don't know. Rawr. <laughs> hey, stop it! That's not cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, so wow, we are... I guess he's having a dream about, as he's sleeping in his house, in his bed, he's dreaming that he's in his house, and yeah, that's happened to all of us. He's dreaming about a monster in my pocket, because he's big, or he's small, and everything else is big. Right. Is this Chippendale, or Little Nemo? It's Ch it's Little Nemo. Yeah. Whoa. Hey, I think, uh, I think maybe, uh, Konami ripped off of, uh, Capcom here. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. There could be a scandal. A, sc a scandal. A yeah. There's no scandal when Konami's down the drain now. Gamer scandal. Yeah. Dang hard. it! I can't get to that B yet because the green bar is separating us, so I gotta go around. I'll be right there. Yeah. Be patient as I kill Donkey Kong throwing dishes at me. Dish it out at him. Or Curious George, rather. This is uh, this is my favorite level of the entire game, by the way. This one. Because it reminds you of being in your house. No, uh, it, it has a lot of range, uh, as far as, as far as the house, you know. <laughs> oh, oh, I thought, oh, I thought you died. Bedroom, there's basement, it's pretty cool. Yeah, well, Leo Nemo in the, his house, it is his house. 
And I thought that was a pet too, and I think I had to look up on YouTube to find out what the heck is going on, because I was I like, where'd I go? And then, oh, he fall into the pit. Yeah, I literally had a preemptive laugh, because I thought that was a death. Yeah, that's what they do in Worm, journey to the center of the earth, but anyway. Oh, I mean... You know. Well, you uh, mean nothing, that's why you're quiet. No, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, sorry, we gotta hang out, we need your recording. Oh, wait. No, we don't, it's six minutes long. Hey. Wow, we just seen some uh, Velcro Ronnie there. Yeah, and I was an idiot. Why did I just crawl down? I kept on trying to jump down. Now I can fly up. Yep. All right. I better straighten up and fly right. Um, if I'm not mistaken, uh, well, this is the first usage of the B that's actually significant in the game. Yeah. Ah, oh, jeez, I hate that. What the? Come on, he's out of energy already. This is a sissy bee. Bees in real life have more stamina than that. Come on. Yeah. You should have, uh... Should Looks have like you need some. Taking an e-bullet. He's yeah. lost his sting. Why don't you get some synergy? Yeah, something. Yes. <laughs> this, this is more like the bee from Honey Nut Cheerios. Freaking wuss. Don't you talk bad about Honey Nut Cheerios. I'm not. But the bees, yeah. the bees are wuss, but the cereal's yeah. good. What you talk bad about? Um, um... Be yeah, be yeah. Be be it's like Sylvius or something. Sylvius? <laughs> what? what? Sylvius. Yeah, Sylvius. Anyway. <laughs> Journey Perfect. to Syphilis. No. All right. Oh, there's... Right. <laughs> yes! Okay, hey, you got uh, ROM hat guys out there. There has to be Journey to Syphilis. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't doubt they have Pot Man, so it's like... Yeah. Wait, what? Oh, man, it's like a hack of Mega Man 3 where Mega Man's stone looking on his face. <laughs> oh, okay, Pot Man. I, I, I heard Pod Man. Like, oh, oh, Pod, yeah. yeah. When yeah, you said Pot Man, I was thinking of a pot and pan. Of course you would. That's why I have to explain it. Well, here's now I get to play a snowflake here. Or no, or a snowflake turned purple. What the heck? Uh, it's just a mouse. Oh, yeah, that's right. Inside joke, inside reference right there. To, to, or, to your mouse? J-Man's pet rat that was once mine. Yeah, oh, yeah. Um, yeah, Snowflake would not be trained. To do that, yeah. If you, yeah, if you tried to do this, you would just feed her, and then she would be like, go fuck yourself. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> ah, these things, geez, freaking flying. Would, yeah, these actually, nuts. maybe this is Snowflake, because you seem like you're getting your ass kicked. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> jeez, man. Freaking Birdos from Mario 2 over here with wings. All right. Yeah, shitting eggs out of their mouth. Yeah. Man, we end up is with eggs. Is it technically shitting if it's coming out of their mouth? Well, you got diarrhea mouth. I, I, yeah, diarrhea. I like to talk. Yeah. I mean, that's just a. It's just a, a figure of. Ex, it's an expression. It's not a physical. It, it's not literal. Well, I'm literally trying you're to figure. Right, out. But you're right, but for entertainment purposes, you're wrong. But you can be right, entertaining if you're right. But you're, you're like, technically. I mean, yeah, exactly. That's funny. It's yeah, technically. Like, why do you sound yeah, like Jeff there for me? Diarrhea, I mean, diarrhea don't come out the mouth. <laughs> but you're, but you just, diarrhea just came out of your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Seeing that, and I was guy's, right. It, guys talk a lot of crap. Right. All right, and no, I'm not done yet. What am I doing? Ah, right, here we go. Keys. Four keys. Yeah. Wait, four keys. Gotta get, uh, you gotta get keyed up. Jeez, come on. No, bees. Bees, come oh, on. Alright. Maya the bee over here. Maya the bee's brother. Oh, uh, uh, bee, please. Yeah. Seven keys. Ah, jeez, I'm missing two more. Or, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, just skip that. <laughs> just... <laughs> what the? <laughs> Forget it. Just get quick cut through all the crap and get through this level. Okay, I gotta say something because this is my favorite level of the game. What? When I first seen this and it was like six and a half minutes, I was like, "How in the hell did you get through level five in six and a half minutes?" Now I understand. Editing. The magic of editing. <laughs> that was more than editing. That shows how much, how many Anthony, mistakes, ECW Jeffy. mode and editing. 
you just took everything bad about S2K and rolled it all into one. Yep. No, I'm just kidding. What do you mean? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, and I just, this was a sign of how long it took me to beat that level. So, but, yeah, yeah it's a, it's a, it is a very long and difficult level. Yeah. So, I mean, but we got through it, and we'll see you guys in part six, where the sky's the limit. Until then, God bless. Take care. See ya. Ah! Welcome to Let's Play Little Nemo the Dream Master Part 6. With the We're in the Cloud Ruins. This is Ron Moore along with the Wee Guy and J-Man again. What the heck is that? Yeah. Oh my god. I ugly. think that's the, uh, the first version of Pedo Bear. <laughs> right? Oh, and he just disappeared. Pedo know, Werewolf. <laughs> All right, Cloud Ruins, and oh man, this is going to ruin my fun with this game, because this level is trolling. Except for this music. I think this is my favorite track from the game. Yeah. These freaking evil onion balloon things coming after me again. Ah, oh, jeez. You suck. And then Cloud tricked me. I thought it was going to come toward me. Cloud 9, am I right? <laughs> no. <laughs> Cloud fell, and let's try this again. You know, this level has always reminded me of Mary Poppins for some strange reason. Ah, jeez! <laughs> you should have had a teaspoon of sugar. I'm popping mad. What? Does it remind you of America's Funniest Home Videos? Yeah. Because that was hilarious. No, uh, Chim Chimney, Chim Chimney, whatever, fuck. Chimru. Chimney Cricket? And, uh, All right. go, go Chim Chimney. Yeah, I gotta get some chimichangas or something. Yeah. <laughs> There we go. Oh, no! What? <laughs> yes! Douchebag B. That's for me talking smack about him. Douche B. <laughs> yeah, I think you have to, like, uh, speed run this game and, and frame perfect throw candy in the air. Yeah. Dude, those speed runners, man. I've seen them speed run this game. It's a yeah. donk. You gotta, uh, you gotta Cosmo this shit. Right? Cosmo? Cosmo! I mean... You mean the speedrunner? Cosmo Kramer? Go! Oh. I mean, he's, he's never played this game, but I see what you're saying, though. Yeah, you got a Cosmo the... Ah, we got... What? <laughs> Cosmo the speedrunner, I know. Finally. I That's what I said the first time, but I was saying he never played this game, so... It's... Oh, wait a minute! Yeah, wait so, a minute. So I need to be... What was the purpose of the frog being there, then? To trick you. Man, that's messed up. You can't trick kids like that. <laughs> Have you played a majority of NES games? Yeah, but that's like a failed way of challenging. I, I well, mean... I mean, it's, you know, trick or treat. You got candy, it's trick or treat. Halloween's over, first of all. Second, you don't trick kids. That, like, should be illegal. Trick kids? I mean, we were talking about Pedo, Pedo Bear earlier. You probably... Uh, yes, we did. And you probably recorded <laughs> this on Halloween. <laughs> yeah, I probably did. All right, come on. Ah, oh, jeez, I didn't get there. Oh! Uh, how do you fail with the B? Because I wasn't being careful. I don't know, fail. <laughs> I, I, I can't go down the chimney. See, again, it tricked me. You can't not trick a, kids like that. You're not a war pipe. What's wrong with you? It not Santa. Be. Mario we would do that. Not Santa. What's wrong with you? Your face yeah, is Santa. Mario with the clouds. The Santa claw your face. Ooh, Look, there's a bell there. It won't let you ring it. You can't trick people like that. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, I see what you're doing there. Ah, Big Ben. Yes, oh. Ben is big. Die, baby bop. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whoa, all right, come on. Oh, oh. Yeah, nice. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, you go. This is Mario 3 now? Come on. Oh, oh. Whoa. Jeez, this is scary. Yeah, this is crazier than the Castlevania 3 scrolling yeah. up. There. No, 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 stupid freaking crows. This is worse than Battletoads. Oh, man. You know what? This is worse than Battletoads. Yes. I love okay. Battletoads. Oh, yeah, I mean, but at least then it's like, you know, beep, 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 a wall's coming, you could dodge, but here it's just like, I'll just hope you don't get hit when you're flying up. Right. Come on, Ronnie, where's, where's the jump cuts? <laughs> yeah, come on, where's the razor jump cuts? Well, this level is pretty cool. And so I thought I would showcase some of the deaths here because it's actually funny, but frustrating as I'm recording it. 
I think the last level maxed out your uh, yeah, your jump did, cut. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> really. <laughs> yeah, YouTube said I couldn't. Have, YouTube Red said I can't do that. All right. Oh, oh, come on. All right, now I'm on cloud red nine. Red. Now I'm on cloud red nine. Red. Don't get hit I, this time. Actually, oh, I think nice. I think that's the ninth cloud. So I lost count. All right. Made it to the city. The lost city of the way of Cloud Lantis. In the city, city of Compton. Dun, 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 dun. We built this city above the clouds. These flying pigs. When pigs fly, that's when I beat this level. Hey, pigs, pigs on the wing, man. Whoa, look out! And there's three different ones too. Yeah, those aren't pigs. Those are like pink squirrels or something. Well, I was just making a reference. That's all. Why not? I was correcting myself because I feel stupid now. Yeah, you are stupid. You just said that. Or your face is stupid. You only feel stupid now? What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're flying squirrels. That was close. They're, uh, they, they think they're Batman or something. Yeah. <laughs> Jump up there. No, you gotta, you gotta ride the rails. Alright. Ooh, look at you, okay, bounce and bounce. Yeah. You- Oh, I thought you were gonna fail. Alright. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> we guy oh, waiting for Rocky to fail. Really? <laughs> there it is, it happened. There was the fail. How am I supposed to get up there? this guy again, because I don't know what the heck I did wrong. Grab him and then jump into the spikes. <laughs> <laughs> I did it before. I think I did it low budget for you. Remember? Yeah, your thinking is low budget. <laughs> your, oh. face, your face is low budget. <laughs> I know, it's, it's harsh. Your face is harsh. Like, oh, that would have been harsh. That, that's... Oof. All right, so yeah, what I am I... Hmm. And jump cut. Grab! Oh wait, Grab. what? That? Man, I swear I've gotten up there with the. Who'd uh, have thought of that? The, the lizard before, but yeah, maybe not. No, at least this part's easier than jumping up, up, up. All I've done is I just bled the lizard before. You drained oh, the lizard? Oh. Yeah, I drained the lizard. Bled <laughs> the lizard. Wow. You uh. Damn it. You nice. damaged blizzard. Good try. Yeah. You raped blizzard. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look, only it, only it gave me consent first. Come on. No, oh, nice. I've seen your. i seen the chat log. you seen the chat log. Why are you spying on me, Chris Hansen? Your screen name was "Can I rape the lizard anally?" <laughs> Damn. I mean, I mean that gives away what I wanted to do. So I mean, you caught me red-handed. All right. So, why me? All right, Nancy Kerrigan. Why do everyone else's kids give them this much trouble? Damn, she's having remorse. She's like, "Why did I have this kid?" Right. That's cool though. All the keys show up in the end. I forgot all about the keys, and they show up at the very end. And that's pretty cool. All right, so I will see you guys in part seven, where my whole world's gonna be turned upside down. Till then, God bless. And take care. Child abuse. Hashtag the lizard was asking for it. Jeez. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm still copying it to... to uh, <laughs> He's still copying. Well, I hit record anyway, so... <laughs> it's going for now. Okay. Well, you know what? Copy my ass. <laughs> All right, Beavis. No. <laughs> Finally, a response. Yeah, right? Six seconds later. Yeah. No. <clears throat> um, oh. Oh, Star Star's um, missed now. Oh, sorry, dude. <laughs> that's gonna work. Did he? No, I mean that's what he's gonna say when he finally responds in five hours. No. Oh. <laughs> hey, sorry, I was selling my collection more. Oh, so, yeah. 
<laughs> well, he never guaranteed to be here. He said he might be here tonight, and he's still not. So we can't get mad at him because he didn't guarantee. He did not. He didn't say, oh, yeah, I'll be there. <laughs> he should, though, because it makes us feel good that he might be here. Yeah. Yeah, can we be here with this uh, commentary? We're waiting on you, Jay, man. You said, hold on. Well, yeah, for just a minute. Oh, yeah. So you didn't say you were ready. Well, actually, I just said, are you guys ready to... Let's do it. Let's ready go. Ready to die? Let's go. All right, here we go. Yeah! All right. Three, two, one, play. Welcome to Let's Play... Let's Play... Let's play Little Nemo, the Dream Master, Part 7, Topsy Turvy. This is Ron Moore, along with Star Soldier and the Wee Guy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm feeling drunk because everything looks upside down. Yeah, right? I mean, my, my whole world's turned upside down here. <laughs> uh, there's the first key already? Yeah, it's like, so is this like Nemo's house upside down? Or, no, this is a different house. It's Weird. It's just a house upside down. We're just going to go with it. Yep. So you play it. Whoa. So you play as Kid and Play, I guess this is a house party, because they're turning the place upside down and blowing the roof off the place, I don't know. The roof is on, well, it wouldn't be on fire, it's upside down, technically. Yeah. The floor is on fire then, I don't know. Now the, then that's above us then, so... Yeah. What yep. is what? Right. What is the wife? Yeah. This music's kind of cool, but at the same time it's kind of like, eerie in a weird way. Yeah, it's depressing, but cool. Yeah. It lets you know that this is one of the final levels, and you better take this seriously. Right. Well, you're in your, you know, <laughs> I don't know, frog suit. The skin of a, yeah. another animal. Yeah. Yeah, and Star Soldier, I am in ECW mode. <laughs> really? I never would have guessed. Well, yeah. I mean, Star Soldier might not know that. I know that. This is the first time Star Soldier's been in this LP. <laughs> you should just assumed anyway, because, you know... Well, I assume you need to shut up. Oh. And as I get this key and. And I, die. I, <laughs> there's Mighty Mouse. Mighty Mouse! <laughs> Oddly enough, it's weird. Yeah, you don't eat his skin and wear it now as a suit, but <laughs> you knock him out and. You ride just him. drag his dead body around. Yep. Yeah. He pulled a Bill Cosby here. Uh, what? Oh, 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 oh. oh my. I don't think he, that put him pop. I don't think I don't think he rid his his uh, his um, whatever the peep the yeah. gals. I don't I don't even know. Uh, anyway, I don't even know Bill Cosby. I mean, well, you know, <laughs> as a a lot of us in it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, clearly. Here he was. I know. Ah, oh, dang it! Move, stupid crackhead onion balloon. They gotta give me the candy. Give me the chocolate. Yeah. You know, this level is, to me, is a little bit easier than Nemo's house, it seems like. I think it's more of an atmosphere with this. It's just all like, take it in. Ow. Good yeah. job. Got a one-up, even though I don't need it. Greedy little bugger. It's all about the experience of the game. Ouch. It is all about the experience. See? This is why I use ECW mode. What the... <laughs> Yeah, but they would never allow that on Twin Galaxies, I'm afraid. Yeah. But they do allow it here on YouTube. Yeah. We gotta get the cheap percent going. Yeah. Would that be a dumb rule if YouTube banned videos of of, of people cheating in video games? What? <laughs> Due to copyright laws, the laws of cheating. Ugh. What? All <laughs> the videos get taken down. Yeah. All right, now, oh, one more key, of course, it happens to me. Got another key to find somewhere. Got Those windows. Uh, do what? Well, you got most of them. Yeah, but uh, like I said in the previous parts, when I get to the end, there's always one key I gotta find. Like, ah, oh, where is it? I gotta go back. Okay, let me kill myself here. Ah, <laughs> can't do that. Jeez, I would. I wouldn't be surprised why he's so mad. You know, <laughs> you're pretty much wearing his friend. Yeah. Jeez, man, it's any response, <laughs> of course. So you play as Maya the Bee? Maya the Bee? Yeah. I don't even know that reference. 
That's old cartoon. Um. Oh, oh wait. <laughs> yeah, you wow. got some of this light. Some of these windows here. Uh, well, you can't see them now, but uh, let's see if we can find one here. With the windows here, like the the shape of the windows, it reminds me of. Yeah, there we go. Uh, kind of reminds me a little bit of the the fortresses or the mansions in Simon's Quest. Nope. Don't see it. <laughs> well, I see you not seeing what I see. Nice. nice. And, ah, there it is. Move Donkey Kong. Yeah. There we go. Because the pits on the ceiling are like the pits on the ground. You just got, you got to think backwards, man. Yeah. Upside down. This level's ass backwards. Speaking of ass, um... Actually, I got nothing. <laughs> wow. Well, you are shooting uh, all your butt. Yeah. <laughs> Don't I just look like a, a ripe patoot? Hopefully it's his butt and not something else. Boy, <laughs> I feel like a horse's patoot. <laughs> right, there we go. Quit horsing around and beat this level. There we go. What a game. Because you're being careful. Woo, yeah, whoa. Yeah, whoa. Oh, you already saved our game's over. Camille. Right. <laughs> I give this game a free out of 100. <laughs> and we got it still looks like you woke up here. Uh huh? Yeah. <laughs> my father Dr. King. King oh. Morpheus. Morpheus. Oh my god, this is the Matrix. You had <laughs> to take the red pill. Yeah. We're more asleep, we're really in the Matrix. Whoa. Mr. That's Anderson. Freddy That's Freddy Krueger? No. It's not Nemo, it's Neo. Oh! Yes. oh. No, Neo. Wow. Dude, they're way ahead of the time for for um for Matrix. Yeah. Yeah. It's not a dream world, it's a Matrix. Yeah. It's all illusion. And the Princess Camille is um she's the uh she's she's the woman in the Matrix. I don't remember her name. The chicken spandits. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so basically all the characters in the, in the movie. Somebody's gonna write a comment below. Oh, it's obviously, uh, what's her face? I think it's Trinity, I, but who really Yeah, Trinity, cares? Trinity. Uh, I just, I couldn't remember. I just know Neo, and the, I know Kung Fu. <laughs> the chicken spandits. Wait, Morning Star? Man, stop ripping off Simon's Quest. Again, the windows, now the Morning Star. <laughs> Yeah, so you had a weapon this whole time, but you couldn't use it to the last level. Yeah, when I was a kid, I always wondered what was that I was carrying on my back. Like, some sort of wand or something. Like, why can't I use that? <laughs> Instead, you had to throw Reese's Pieces at the end of the piece, and hope, hopefully it works. Yeah. Instead, you had a yeah. real weapon on you the whole time. Yeah. Maybe this is a, a prequel to Candyman. Now you can do it. You can. Yeah. Ah, oh, sweet. No more keys for you. All right. But that, that. Thank God. Yeah, I know. Now the real game begins, which is going to be right. over in one entire level. Yeah. <laughs> the next, the last level, which is the next level, is going to be a nightmare. Literally. And I will get through that nightmare in the final part, which is the next part. And uh, see you guys then. I'm Ron Moore. God bless. Take care. So all over, was I just dreaming? I think I'll go and punch myself to sleep. Wow. Welcome to Let's Play Discuss, Lil Nemo the Dream Master. This is Ron Moore, along with the J-Man and Kevin Owens. Who? I... <laughs> watch, watch. Yeah, but I'm watch. sorry. I'm sorry, here's Star Soldier. Uh, he looks like Kevin Owens, the Intercontinental Champion. Kind of. Yeah, both from Canada, too. Alright, and... Whoa! Watch out for the spikes. As I'm riding baby Barney here. Love the stage, awesome environment, and whoa, and soundtrack. It does sound pretty cool. 
Yeah. This is going to be a Dark Man stage if Capcom made a Dark Man. If they made Mega Man games anymore. Yeah. Actually, there's a movie called Dark Man. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, never mind. Blame needs someone in mind. Hey, yeah. Alright, so now I'm fighting the penguin from Batman. How is that dark and scary? This should be in a nightmare land. Come on. <laughs> there you go, penguin. Yeah, should fight Dan DeVito, I guess? I don't know. Are we gonna fight Gordon Ramsay here? <laughs> hey, yeah, really. Uh, you call this a bloody weapon? It's a freaking magical fairy tale wand! It's a nightmare. Bloody hell! Yeah, the kitchen nightmare land. <laughs> <laughs> and you're still in ECW mode. Yeah, you gotta be in this stuff. <laughs> I beat it before. Me I've too. Never, Me too. When I, was, when I was a kid, I've never even got past part of the second level. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, forget that. I'm cheating. All right, <laughs> here we go to the second part. It's only cheating if you get caught. Oh, wait. Well, <laughs> can I get... It's only cheating if you tell everybody about it. Let me just say, uh, uh, if you're not cheating, you're not trying. There you go. Thank you, Eddie Guerrero. God rest his soul. And we're still in the, you know, the little Bernie thing again. The where? <laughs> still in the little Bernie thing. Oh, yeah. It's just so weird how his eyes are closed. Yeah. He's, well... He's rugged. He don't know what's going on. Yeah, yeah that candy is like date rape drugs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, really. Come on, right, man, stop jumping through the ledge. Come on, jump down there. All right, and ah, there we go. Now it's Baby Bop. Next victim. Yeah. I see. Eat you. Yeah. Feeling froggy. Yeah, that just looks, you know, so wrong, you know? Yeah. yeah. Oh. It reminds me of uh, Silence of the Lambs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, was it Anthony Hopkins? Yeah. And uh, the Buffalo Bob or Bill, whatever. Yeah. Jeez, man. See, this is why I cheat. Flame Man over here. Flame. This is Flame, Fire Man stage, rather. Mega Man One. All right, there we go. Now I'm done with you. You're dead. Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. See, I can't help you here. That was stupid. I guess I'll jump into the spikes. Oh, thank God! It made me start over in the other area. Got the super contra thing now, right? Or super C, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, same thing. Yeah, yeah. they can call it super contra now. Yeah. We're gonna do this. Come on, timing is everything. Oh, oh, nice. Or Indiana Jones and Temple of Doom right here. Those flies creep me out. They're like a combination of. Maggots and flies. Oh wait, that's the same. <laughs> Whatever. They look like uh, army ant bees. I don't know. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Army flies with mash hats on. Just missing the plus sign on their hat. Well, here's a plus. I got past that part, and I got to find this sting right here. Oh yeah, I hate this part. Oh, jeez. <laughs> it Too just bad keeps you can't up really, on you. You can't, you can't, yeah, you can't aim the wand everywhere you want. It kind of reminds me of regular Metroid where you can't shoot exactly everywhere you want, like diagonal, like you could in Super Metroid. Yeah. Reminds me of Storm Eagle. Yeah. Yep. There's probably uh, Stingray F Boss in Mega Man X series. But there's so many of them, it's hard to keep track. Yeah. I'm surprised there's not a sequel to this, or a remake, or whatever. 
right. This has been awesome for Super Nintendo. Yeah, Capcom would have to buy a license again. Oh yeah, I guess that's what they did with this one. <laughs> like, there's no Yonoi 2 because they, they can't get Domino's. Uh, Domino's pizza. <laughs> yeah. Jeez, how many hits? What was this, Ninja Turtles 2 and a fighting crane here? the final level though. Yeah, it's more purple in this game too. Now you got a purple background here. Hey, right, Sucker Family said you got a really, really weird background here. Well, it's not a weird background though. It's just more purple. <laughs> There's a lot of purple in this game. Trying to match the hair. Yeah. Nice. Good job, we guy. Yeah, where is he? No, he probably has some Nemo's candy and fell asleep. He's probably in Nightmare Land. Yeah. <laughs> we gotta <laughs> save him. Yeah, we gotta save him. He's in Nightmare Land where he's supposed to be a decoy for perverted justice. <laughs> but he kinda uh, looks like Nemo. Yeah. Some of these dyes hair purple. <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's an 80s thing. Yeah. That stupid fly again. Alright, at least this area is not purple now. Well, at least there's only like one or two places where you can die now. Yeah. It's oh. fire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just remember that thing can't actually attack any. Yeah. It just it's good for just uh, climbing walls. That's stupid. Oh, here we go. Yes. The B is much better. <laughs> he totally messed with the candy. Yeah. Alright, how am I going to beat this game? None of your beeswax. <laughs> Quit Jeez. running into everything. <laughs> well, why not? I'm invincible. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Oh, so we got to use all the animals, eh? Yeah. Evil snowflake. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty much just like the chameleon, but <laughs> now you got him out. Yeah, whoa! There he is, he's watching. Why does his mouth have a hammer? He's not doing anything! It breaks bricks. I'm about to break this game. Oh wait, it's a ROM. I'm about to break something. I can't. All right, here we go. No, oh, no, not this area again. More purple. <laughs> you don't need the one up. I know. I need. Yeah, I need extra lives for my ECW mode. <laughs> Freaking balloons, man. I never end. Oh, jeez. Are you dead? Really? Yep. Yeah. Like, oh. Look at you get off from a swim. <laughs> really? All right. Forget him. Yeah, that's no, a weird huh? thing. Like in, in, well, from what I've seen from most Japanese games, you can never swim. Yeah, oh, you can swim. I guess just mice can't swim. Yeah. Here we go. King Nightmare. Where he spits molecules at you and lasers or something. It looks a lot better a couple minutes ago. Yeah. In the background. Yeah. That's not the freaking plasma things in Metroid Fusion, or wherever they are, I forgot. Yeah, those little enemies, they look like, like Metroid enemies or something. I <laughs> like a Super Metroid also. I 
That's right. What's he pointing at? Oh yeah, I guess he's shooting lasers from his finger. <laughs> he's a lot bigger than you. He could just crush you. But I don't know. I guess he has a made scheme. It's very right. Yeah. Yeah. Look at his horns. Is this the villain of Legend in the movie? Pwned. <laughs> he's pointing to his own face. Yeah, really like, I got pwned! <laughs> Whoa. It's the old guy from Golden Axe. No, it's the epic beer guy. Yeah. <laughs> it's one of the lost Vikings. Yeah. <laughs> I'll make you the next Neo. Yeah. Really? <laughs> Matrix must have ripped this off. Yeah. Or who is it? The Wachowski brothers? Who? Yeah, what, 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 what the, should, the what of should be the piece? The Worcester oh. brothers. Chester Cheetah? Because I cheated in this game, I fell. I don't, we're seeing some, uh, to catch predator stuff right now, though. <laughs> yeah, really. To catch a cheater. Oh, wait, never mind, she's a, she's a chick, never mind. Yeah, they're about <laughs> the same age. But he don't like girls anyway, you know, he's like, yuck. I don't hey, like to play with a girl. <laughs> yeah. Uh -oh. Oh, I, I promised my mom to wake up early in the morning. Shut up. <laughs> just stay asleep. Real life is hard enough as it is. And just <laughs> stay in slumberland, kid. Yeah, so if he wakes up, don't all these people die? Because they're in his imagination? I guess, I don't know. But it's kind of reminds me of a never ending story. Yeah. Never wake up. Kill the boy. Yeah. Well, they can't kill him either. Yep. Don't wake up. If you do, we'll die. I tell you what, if all the dream games, like Daydream, Daydreaming Davy, uh, Tom Sawyer, I mean, so far this game is probably the best dream game, I think, for the NES by far. I don't check that one. Bad yeah. I need an adult. <laughs> yeah. Nice track for the ending. This is the weirdest stars I've ever seen. That's how stars are supposed to look like. Uh, Stereotypically. Oh, really? <laughs> Yeah, it's a beautiful day for Let's Discuss. So, let's play Discuss Little Nemo the Dream Master. Very ECW game. And for those of you who didn't see the whole LP, I did do a low budget review of this back in 2013. I believe it was, along with J-Man and the Wii Guy. And, yeah, I've always liked this game. Never got far in it, though, when I was a kid. And I think part of the reason I never had the opportunity to play it as much, but it was still hard. I think after the first, second level... I was done with it, then I moved on to other games, but I've always wanted to go back and play this, and, uh, but yeah, it's a very challenging game, and as Derek Alexander said, or, or for, formerly known as HBGN, he said, this is an awesome game, and it's challenging, just like it's supposed to be, not today's games, how too sissified and too dumbed down, because we want to make it easy for the kids, or not hurt their self-esteem, or some BS, or whatever, but... Yeah, the, I mean, games like this back then were definitely challenging, and the overall atmosphere, the graphics, the music, and, I mean, it's just, uh, just an overall great game. It's very fun, the replay value is very high, and I don't even know the whole history of, I still don't now, but when I watched HPGN's review, he gave a history about Nemo and how it goes all the way back to the 1900s or whatever the original comic book started. So I already thought Lil Nemo was a concept that Capcom came up with. And then years later, they were uh, Pixar released, uh, what's it called, Finding Nemo. And I would always get those, the, the names mixed up. Yeah, let's watch Lil Nemo. Like, who? 
Little Nemo, that Pixar movie, The Fish. No, The Fish is in the receipt. Oh, that's Finding Nemo. Oh, <laughs> sorry, I get, get that confused. And, but yeah, Little Nemo, The Dream Master. I mean, man, very, uh, another Capcom classic back when Capcom was cool. And I'm surprised, that, or like, like uh, Star Soldier mentioned, uh, probably didn't want to pay for the license to do any more Little Nemo games, but man. It would have been awesome to see maybe some sequels, maybe a Super Nintendo version or whatever. But uh, this one right here is a very epic game. Overall, great game. I give it a 9 out of 10. J-Man? Hi. I haven't played this game in, I'd say, close to 25 years, but I do remember the variety of the game. Always awesome. Some of the gameplay itself, eh, the controls are all right. It's tough at times, but challenge can be fun. I give it an eight out of ten. All right, Star Soldier. Yeah, I remember owning this game back in the day when I was a wee little brat. You know, I can relate to the storyline. You know, just straight, you know, daydreaming off. And yeah, when I saw the graphics and Nintendo Power, I actually thought it looked pretty good. Nice, colorful. I like the ability to steal animals, skin them, and wear them and stuff. Yes. Well, not kill them, but... <laughs> you know. Yeah, drug them? Yeah. The daybreak drug. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, you can use them, abuse them, and then throw them away when you're done. It's like <laughs> real yeah. animal. But, yeah, anyways, it's a nice ability huh. to switch up the gameplay. And even though the candy, it's a nice little feature... It's kind of lame, too, that you have it through seven other stages, and then last stage, oh, you get this nice, you know, rod weapon. And I thought that was kind of weird. But overall, the game is still fun. If you like a little bit of puzzle, mix in with your action. And, man, you got a nice challenge here because you got to beat this all in one sitting. Yeah, we got ECW mode now, but <laughs> the original game on the original cartridge, it's a pretty... You know, cool challenge to it, but it is beatable. It's a yeah. nice Nintendo hard game, but it's not like Battletoads hard. <laughs> it's a yeah. nice challenging game. That's pretty whimsical, and yeah, Capcom should make a sequel, so screw you, Capcom. <laughs> but made yeah. a good game here back then when you were talented enough to do so. And I give it an 8 out of 10, or 80 out of 100. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's definitely hard, but not BS hard like uh, like the, the Turbo Tunnel can be in Battle Toads or Dragon's Lair uh, or yeah Dragon's, Dragon's, Dragon's Lair Dragon's Lair stupid Lair. yeah that or uh, Batman Forever for Sega Genesis don't get me started on that and all right so that is it for let's play Little Nemo the Dream Master definitely a fun LP to do epic game all right we're out of here I'm Ron Moore okay man and I'm gonna take some candy and go to sleep. Yeah. All right. God bless and take care. Welcome to Let's Play The Goonies 2 for the NES. This is Ron Moore along with the J-Man and Jeff. I, I forgot they even made this game. Oh, my God. Are we really doing this? How can you forget you're in this game? Ah! Uh, what, what am I? Okay, what is up with her eyes? Yeah, I'm. Uh, she having a seizure or a heart attack or? A... I don't know. Seizurism. 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 New disease. It's deadly. That's what actually yeah. the actress died from. Really? No, I'm joking. Well, <laughs> little, little oh, well. dark humor in your in your light comedy. All right, now I hear you're playing this, Jeff. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Wait, Wait uh, Jeff is not a ginger. No, no. <laughs> yeah. no, I'm pretty sure I have blonde hair, and I he's carry a yo-yo. He's a borderline ginger. A borderline ginger. That's, uh, that's Silent Rob. <laughs> Silent Rob, when he was a kid, yeah. Yep. So this game is the sequel to the movie. Oh. oh. No, I, I, I would have never guessed that. Well, I mean, back then, I played this first before I ever heard of the mer movie. <laughs> and I'm like... Wait a minute, I gotta watch the movie, and I'm thinking, okay, the first Goonies movie's good, now where's the sequel? Yeah. And I found out there is no sequel, but they make a Goonies 2 video game as if there was a sequel to the movie. Oh. I'm like, wait a minute, is this based off the first Goonies movie or the second Goonies movie? 
And I found out there is no second Goonies movie. And I'm like, well, why'd they call this part two? What? I never heard of a game being a sequel to a real movie. Wait, did they just rip off Friday the 13th? No, more like Dr. Chaos. Chaos, okay. Yes. 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 I think from what I heard that game is Chaos. I did see Armbrake 21 play it years ago. It did not look too good. <laughs> However, this game looks much better. It does. It does, like, I guess. I don't know. I'm not an expert. I did play this game when I was a kid. I had fun with it. was never good at it. Hey, I will say Dr. Chaos has some, uh, some pretty good music. A couple tracks. Pretty good. And I love the track in this game. Uh, well, not this one right here, but the, the one you start out with. This one right here is the 8-bit version of Cindy Lauper's Goonies Are Good Enough. Good enough! Four minutes! Good enough! I'm not drunk either. Okay, alright. Uh, to quote that, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> 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 so are you playing as Mike from the movie or if there was, I forgot their names the Goonies names in the movie Versus Mike from <laughs> are you playing as Star Tropics Mike or who is this kid Wait, are you playing uh, the original Samwise? cast was like man fuck this shit oh yeah are you playing as yeah. young Samwise Gamgee then um, this Hold was on. all played by their stunt doubles <laughs> their stunt doubles yeah, yeah. Sean Aston couldn't afford one yeah. <laughs> hey. Well, the okay. Until he got his uh, Lord of the Rings. Yeah, this, this is before okay. Lord of the Rings money. Wait, wait, yeah. what? Is, is the old man from Zelda hanging out in somewhere? Yeah, that's the Hashala. It's supposed to be a warp zone. I can't really warp anywhere unless I'm doing something wrong. Man, they should have made this game into a movie. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to her. This is a warp zone. Oh, really? Why is it Mama hearing the Simon's Quest failed buzzer sound effect? <laughs> so I, I I guess you can't hit him. I guess you can't hit the wizard. Well, you could, but you just say, ouch, what do you do? No, no, no. Uh, you hit the wizard. Yeah. I know he says his name. Wizard. There's a store here where I live at called the Wizard of Odds. <laughs> That's nice. I like that. Yeah. Like I like to read the Wizard of Ed. Okay, and they sold the map from Zelda. Man, this is just one giant ripoff. This is the guy that climbs ladders. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Ladder climber. Okay, so according to my Goonie locator, the Goonie should be somewhere in here. <laughs> you gonna hit the door? Or maybe not. There's a hole. No, to no, hit the floor. Hey. Let me deselect and go back to the menu screen, you idiot. Ah. There we go. Ah, that, there he is. What? That's okay. Jeff. <laughs> no, it's Mike. Mikey. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm Mikey. Okay. So I rescued Jeff. Wait, are you now sure? Re... Wait a minute. Are you sure this is not the adventures of Raggedy Ann and Andy? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or Tom Sawyer. <laughs> oh. Okay, so you play as Mikey. You got to rescue Jeff, Wee Guy, Bear, and Gen 2 when they were kids. I don't know. I think this is like the attack of the last gingers. <laughs> I can't get over it. Yeah. Resident ginger. Yeah. The gingerbread man. <laughs> the gingerbread kid, the prequel years. Okay, this, this, <laughs> this, this, this name, this, uh, this video cannot be named The Goonies 2. It is Ginger Puns. The game. That's yeah. <laughs> all we got. But it's also, it's also a sequel to a prequel. Oh my god, mine. Wow. Oh. Yes. Right. I'm chronologically confused. Um, and the sequel is supposed to come out next year. <gasps> they're making a sequel? I didn't even know this. Yeah, they're all grown up, of course. And, yeah. And yeah, they're well, going to be interesting. Well, Chunk is dead. He shot himself in the head. So. Or Lung. What? Sorry. Yeah, Wait, Corey Feldman is... Uh, he's pretty fucked. Yeah, Corey... Corey, Corey <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no, the guy who played Lunk, yeah, he killed himself. I did not know that. I know the guy played as... Sloth is dead. Oh, I meant Sloth. I'm sorry. That's, that's fine. Oh. I, I don't like it saying Lunk and Chai. I don't know. I need to go back and watch the movie. Yeah. I got an idea. Let's watch it tonight. I'll actually so, watch it and play this. Yeah. That movie's like 30 years old. It's still so awesome. Though. Yeah. Great movie. Great movie. Yeah, you know, I think they would have made a good sequel if they would have got the same director, the same team, everybody. Just... They could have done another adventure or something. Maybe yeah. they're trying to find the ship. Yeah. That'd be cool. It's this guy. 
No, I don't have any glasses. Where are my glasses? He's weird, okay, man. That, that look like an insane asylum right there. Yeah. Yes, look at that. He looks like he's in a stray jacket, only his hands are showing. But still, it's like the right? room. Whatever. <laughs> right. <laughs> what, what is his family? The Toolies or something? I can't remember their name, but they're, um... They, 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 I don't know who they're trying to kidnap for, like, ransom. They're just kidnapping random people. Yeah, well, they want to get revenge on the kids for putting them in jail. I don't think after this movie they ever got out of jail again. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you'd be surprised. <laughs> That's true. There's one of them. Ow, Sadly. you hit me with a yo-yo, my only weakness. Did he have a yo-yo in the movie? No, he had an inhaler. So you are playing as Mikey from Star Tropics. <laughs> yeah, it's an uh, it's a, it's a upgraded inhaler. <laughs> it's an upgraded inhaler. Every time you puffs it, it yeah. yo-yo. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Ah. Ronnie, you picked the strangest games. That's all I can say. Yeah. Nah, he's well, just running out of games. He's run, he, he, yeah, pretty much. I imagine. Yeah. I that's imagine why I revisit like, some games. I imagine. The, yeah, that's why I revisit some games on 2DS2K. Oh, yeah. I imagine there's some. Um, there, He's like in a little room, Ronnie is. He's recording, and he's got like stacks of NES games, and he's like, oh, I'm almost out. What do I. I gotta have something in here. <laughs> no, I'm out of ROMs. Oh. No, not really. Oh, Ronnie. Ronnie. Well, I'm out of an idea of what to do here, so I will figure that out in part two. Oh. Until then, God bless and take care. Bye. Bye. Bye -bye. Hey. Welcome to part two of the Goonies 2 for the NES. This is Ron Moore, I'm with the J-Man. Hey. Oh, man, you're losing energy. I know, right? Yeah, I'm getting pwned right here as I try to figure out where to go next. As I continue to play as Jeff. <laughs> Yeah, well, you know what? I kind of pulled a Jeff last night when we were going to do commentary over this, but then I crashed. Yeah, I know, right? What was up with that? Oh, it's been a rough week. Yeah, Alright, we'll try to get three people in. It's more fun for three people, but wait, that didn't sound right. Never mind, moving on. Um, actually, it, it sounds awesome. <laughs> the more, the better. It does sound awesome. <laughs> We get like a like a four way or a five way. Yeah, right. Have Pamela record it. Yeah, that'd be fun. All right, and I don't know why these rooms have this eerie music, almost like Shellgate esque atmosphere here. So wait. Oh man, I was a little confused because I seen like a safe and then like it just oh went away. But yeah, okay. Yeah. Nice. And it won't... Okay. <laughs> These platformer controls here. Not bad. Watch out for the... Uh... Ride the rails. Alright, there's a quick cut right there. Yeah, like I don't understand what's going on. Oh, <laughs> uh, there's a lot of quick cuts in this one. Yeah! I got, I got oh lost. God. It's just, just like Little Nemo the Dream Master over here. Let me start to talk about something. Oh, wait, it just changed. Gosh. Yeah, right. <laughs> Had to do a lot of editing, a lot of fails in this one. Had to really go on YouTube and look up playthroughs. Should we keep a counter like uh, uh, Shadowgate? <laughs> yeah, right, quick cut counter. Oh. Alright, oh, as I hit, as I hit Mosul oh. in the face here. I didn't mean to hit the wall right there. I was trying to deselect that, and now I'm in this other part of the game here. Oh, okay. I was kind of thinking like the old wizard was like the uh, it's dangerous to go out there alone. Take this. Right. Yeah. That's what I, I said. Moses. I fail. And then you hit him, and then he sends his fireballs after you. But... Here's a uh, Gandhi. I don't know who the heck this is supposed to be? Just bust him in the face because he's just. I can tell I don't like him. Yeah, well, why you don't tell me what I can't use. <laughs> why, why are you going to treat uh, Bill Clinton's dad like that? That's uh, uh, Bill Clinton. Yes. 
is Mario 2 now with the waterfalls in the background. So those waterfalls can actually attack you. Alright, man. Okay, now we definitely got Star Strawberries. Right. I think, yeah, you said it in part one. Now I finally see it. What do you people think, you people watching? Which is the better game, the Goonies 2 or Star Tropics? Um, the Star Tropics 2. I don't know about Star <laughs> Tropics 2, I haven't played that one. I don't know, I just tried to combine both. And, yeah. The Goonies. Oh, no, wait. Uh, the, uh, the Stoonies. <laughs> Goonie Tropics. Oh, fail. Now, um, will you be using a bomb in this? Uh, in this part of the uh, playthrough, I'm gonna try to as I cross this Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom broken bridge here. What is that? It's a um, it's a thing that's gone. <laughs> it it touched me, but it didn't do nothing. Um, will there be any crystal skulls? Well, maybe that is no. a crystal. Uh, crystal. There it is, right there. Oh, ah, it's, it's a crystal uh, troll. Uh, Caused me to die. All right, here we go. So, um, is this like, uh, if you die once, it's like game over and that's it? No, um, when you get game over, you start at the beginning of the area that you started. Like right here, I'm starting at the beginning of the bridge. Uh, now okay. I'm in this room, now I'm in this purple, uh, uh, purple stuff, sunny delight, whatever stage here. Yeah, this is like, uh, uh the Kool Aid Man's, uh, hideout. The Kool Aid Man's uh, honeycomb hideout. Yeah, that was stupid. Try to drop down to the next screen. You can't do that. You gotta climb down. Okay, and and this, uh, yeah, I could have waited like thirty seconds, and my my as Quest Swindoll's mother cheats me out. <laughs> Jeez, I hope he don't hear that. <laughs> Wait, what'd you say, Mama? mama? <laughs> no, that's actually Kathy Bates that was chewing me out just a second ago. Oh. So you're playing as Bobby Boucher. My mama, Bobby. My, mama, my mama said... My mama, my, 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 okay. My mama said that video games are the devil. Um, Goonies... The Goonies 2 is the devil. Yeah. That woman is the devil. Jeez. Looks like she's possessed. Oh, is her eyes blinking at you or whatever she's doing she talks to you. And what's this? This is the Angel of Death? What's this Fazana do now? That's, um... That's a quick cut. <laughs> That's what that was. <laughs> oh, now you got a, uh, a Model of Cocktail. Yeah, I got a, uh... I got the elusive gold key. I'm waiting for you to, to blow some shit up! Well, right now I got. Go, I'm gonna, though, but I ain't seen a lot of blow. Yo. Blow yo. Well, <laughs> okay. Oh man, like that, man, that's messed up. There's a dead end over here. But well, I, I don't know. Use the uh, use explosives. Yes. 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 No. Yes. Yes. No. no right now I'm trying to no. look at the map. There's a front map. <laughs> What's going on? Look at the map. You're looking at it. it's back and front map. The blue. Is the Goonie I'm supposed to rescue next? Yeah, I'm trying to select the bombs, but whenever I do, I can't seem to use it. I guess I don't have any in stock right now. Okay, I got two of these uh, uh, those bottles that you throw flame bottles. You see in movies, don't? As I got trumped, those I got those, Donald Trump. Those those maps are more complicated than Friday the Thirteenth. Well, at least when you go right, you're going right. All right, and well, when you hit right, uh, you load a save state. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now on this green um, yeah, cavern here. We're in poison lane. Ah, oh, come on, that was cheap. <laughs> that was actually pretty awesome. <laughs> All right. What the heck? Whoa. I get Watch close. Up, uh, for the rad scorpions. Mm -hmm. For any uh, Fallout fans out there. What's this weird? What's this Metroid now? What are those things popping out of the ground? Fallout 4! I'm about to have a falling out with the programmers of this game here. 
Whoa, look out. That looks like uh, Metroid. It's spitting the yeah. Here. Yep. Only the uh, music in Metroid is way better. Oh, yeah. Ow! Alright, so the Goonies should be in here. Uh, well, let's be safe and find out. Well, maybe you should save your game. Yeah, I know. I tried. Konami Man. Kon what? Who? Konami Man. Hideo Kojima? A moving rock. Would a, uh, would that be a rolling rock? Right? <laughs> well, the goo's not in there, so I don't know what the heck. Well, that Matchman's leading. I heard something about a uh, testy lady. Well, uh, I, I feel like I'm being tested right now. Right, me too. This is pretty testy. Yeah. Testies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. testies, man. Want you? Ah! <laughs> Shut up, Kathy Bates. <laughs> this game is giving me misery right now. All right. Climb up it, you idiot! Climb these vines. Well, I heard it to the grapevine that this game is pretty hard. I wish I could climb to a better game. Well, this game's not that bad. It's hard, but it's pretty good. Do I have a vest and a coat to protect me? No? Look at that. It looks like a place you can go to right there and you can't. This game is starting to be misleading like Simon's Quest. Well, um... I doubt Nintendo Power covered this one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised Skip Rogers didn't cover it. I'm surprised Konami put their name on this. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, my torch went out and I'm dead. Oh, wait. Ah, uh, no, there's nothing here. Well, it is. A diving suit is in a green cavern. I was just in a green cavern. Let's go back to the green cavern now. <laughs> oh, man. You know, uh... I know that, like, people surprisingly weren't around last night. Um, I, I'm starting to see why. <laughs> They're like, oh, right. man. <laughs> Goonies too. <laughs> ah, yeah. 17 minutes long, ugh. Don't rage quit. I can't. <laughs> Where's that freaking diving suit, whatever it's called? Am I supposed to be looking for a diving suit or another Goonie? And I believe I was in this room a minute ago. Let me go back and see if I'm missed something. The safe! The safe! Ah! I think I opened that safe earlier. I think he told my Konami man. Oh. Let me double check. Yes, and I just wasted the key reading the same thing again. Konami man, what the heck? Yeah, it's like... Come on, man! Give me an extra man. Right? Okay. Nothing here, so you can't I guess break the blue that indicator. I guess the blue indicator on the map is telling me, not where the Goonies at, but where the safe, where, where another clue is. This is weird. What's up with all the uh, the bloody doors? Right? This is supposed to be a PG family friendly game. Ouch! Uh, that wasn't family friendly. Yep, you got tipped. <laughs> yeah. I need some of Skip's tips right now to get through this game. Jeez. Well, uh, did you make a map? Yes, and this sucks. Okay, um, did you kick a knife with your bare feet? Oh, no, I didn't do that. I hit a uh, wall with my bare fist. Well, I think now that we... counts. So. Now, now I use the bare hammer. There was... Wait a minute. Uh, maybe we need bare 13. <laughs> right? I'm gonna go back in here and 
to him right here, see what happens. Oh, jeez, what's the point of this room? Oh, wait, I might have been in there already, probably got something. Oh. Backtracking, just like Metroid. Well, are we in the fourth level? Because the fourth level is always tough. I lost. Lost track. Um, pepperonis and cheese. <laughs> you know, because remember, uh, Skip morphed into, uh, uh, like a... a shaft. Yeah, shaft. It's funny, I was talking to Magus earlier on Facebook, saying, uh, Magus said something about he got off a uh, live stream off of Ustream, whatever it's called now, Twitch, uh, whatever's more popular to use now. He just got off stream all of a sudden, off of Twitch, and then I, I drove around saying, I, I, yeah, I said, uh, he faked his own death again, <laughs> lols. And he goes, no, nah, if I wanted to do that, I would have, I would have Beltino and Sam the Geek do that. And I said, I should probably do April Fool's 2016 version saying, have J-Man and we gotta get on camera. Yeah, guys, um, Ron Moore passed away yesterday. His lawnmower accidentally ran over him or something like that. Wait, you said that? Play. Huh? You said that or he said that? I said that. Oh, okay. And then I put pepperonis and cheese. <laughs> well, you know, uh... What do you want on your Pizza Hut pizza? Right. We are now closed. Yeah. Dang it. What are you doing? Okay. I have no idea. What is the game doing? You go, uh, you go blue door, and then it's a gray door, and then... Yeah. What the... What's behind door number one? <laughs> And then there's, uh, like, there's snakes and bats and boo haunted house. Right? A <laughs> ghoul school. No. Uh. Oh! Ouch. Super pitfall. <laughs> right, no, uh, don't say super pitfall. <laughs> ugh. Ugh. Well. Okay, now here's, huh, a floating rock next to a door. Could Konami Man be in here? Dang it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> I keep forgetting, I, I, I need yeah. to actually look at Mikey down there. Okay, Mikey's facing this way, which means... Like, Alright, whoa. I, All right, I'm going to need an inhaler. Yeah, oh, now, now we're in the ice level here. I don't know if Konami Man's somewhere in here or what the heck, but anyway... Oh, well, we got a, a uh, ice climber up there. Yeah, oh, right? Penguin. Yep. We're going to slide into that door. Yeah. Oh, ah, dang, no key. Ah, no keys. Shut up, don't tell what I can and can't use. You can't use. I wonder if you hit yourself, like a shell gate. Ouch. Oh, a door. Ah, there's a goonie, but no key! Urgh, maybe if I break your free, I doubt it. No. <laughs> Nothing here. Here. Yeah, there's nothing there, all right. So now we need a uh, jump cut, right? Or maybe. Oh, well. <laughs> okay, we, I guess we need a death. Okay, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> but still no I need to kill. Whoa, 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 whoa. But you still don't have a key. Oh, there okay. we go. All right. Nice. You got one. There we go. Yeah. Are you looking into uh, doing uh, uh, tool assisted speedruns? Have okay, to. well, just tool assisted run. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so I'll rescue the second Goonie. And you're braver than Bran. Yeah, I know, right? Braver than what the heck does that mean? Um, maybe it was braver than bread. Brand, I I need to drink some brandy after enduring this part of the Goonies, and we'll see you guys in part three as I drink some brandy and J Man drink some Crown Royal. Until uh, then, God bless. Take care. I've been branded. Welcome to part three of Let's Play the Goonies 2 for NES. This is Ron Moore along with the Wii Guy and a man who loves this game to death, J-Man. <laughs> let's not talk about that. All right, let's talk about... Oh, oh! Oh, oh wait, can we talk about how much I love this game? Let's talk about how much I almost died right there as I'm playing as Wii Guy. Look, <laughs> it was fashionable to wear pink and blue. 
right? Whoa! Yeah, quick cut why there. We, uh, why are we transforming uh, decisions? Because I what? failed. Transforming decisions? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, more than meets the eye. Right? Alright, so let me navigate these caverns here. I'm trying to look for, I think it's the third Goonie I need to res rescue. No, so, uh, no. You're, uh, you're pretty much a predator. I mean, we guys are pretty much a predator. Whoa. Out what? to, uh, Chris Hansen is the main, uh, boss of the game. Yeah, really. And there's a chair when you fight him in the final battle, there's a chair in the room and he tries to make you sit down in it. Yeah. Whoa, this room is dark. It's a trap. Oh, no, wait. Dang it. Go back in there. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, it's like, so it's like, it's like, oh no, Chris Hansen's in there. Gotta get yeah. out of there. Don't be left in the dark. All right, yeah, and especially with Chris Hansen. Oh, yeah, it looks like you're left out in the cold. Yeah, right. Yeah, man, the enemies in this stage right here is cold-blooded. Ouch. Yeah, walruses yeah. and penguins. I remember those from the movie. Yeah. Hey, uh, chill. Oh, got me. All right. Yeah, chill penguin, I remember that. <laughs> Alright, so let's talk about why Jamin loves this game so much. Right? Because, uh, you run into places that you can't go to anymore, and then you fall down. Oh, right. it's a great. Yeah. I love it. Right. See, it's such a genuine, uh, response. Oh, there's the Coca-Cola bear. Yeah, that, that yes. Uh, we got Super Bowl commercials going on here. Right? Great. Freaking Eskimo. Love the soundtrack, though, in this game. Love this game. Now, of course, we guy did an 8-bit stereo of this. Oh, that was way in the beginning of 8-bit stereo. Yeah. It was the beginning of great things. I mean, you know. Money. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, this Tuscanini from Darkwing Duck. This has got this is bomb diggity soundtrack. Freaking Coca Cola Berry. I was just waiting for uh, Cindy Lauper to show up. Oh, yeah. Whoa. whoa. Yeah, that's right. Cindy Zion. Uh... I think that's how I discovered her. The... Tell you what, Dad. Uh, Blue Avano. Mr. Captain. Right. Do the Mario swing your arms from side <laughs> to side. All right. Dang, another dark room. Let's shed a little light on the subject. Uh, use your tools. Right. <laughs> you want to use your tools? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Use my tools, man. Whoa. Oh, you got a boomerang. Uh, hey, right, Eskimo. Oi. Hit you right in the face, you douchebag. What do you do? I cut, what cut you, you here. That's what I do. Uh, fit. Right? Oh, wait. Oh, there we go. Is it safe? Hammer the safe. Ah. Oh, I got the They Live sunglasses. No, yeah, don't, safe. don't hit the glasses, you idiot. Take it. Alright, there we go. You wouldn't hit a gla guy with glasses. <laughs> yeah. We're like crouching. Oh, yeah, the guy with glasses. Right? You wouldn't hit... Dang, I forgot his name. Yeah, Doug... Well, let's... Doug, Doug, Doug Walker. Doug run. Walker, Texas Ranger? Yeah, something like that. Oh, you didn't walk. Dang it. <laughs> didn't walk the walker talk, the talk. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta walk down that aisle, style and profile. Woo! Walk down gotta, the aisle. Yeah, you gotta walk, uh, but don't run. Like oh, me. there's Konami Man. Are you tired? I'll fill up your energy. Yikes. Man. And then I lost it again. <laughs> wow. That's, That's a, a quick jump cut here, city. I get these fast sneakers. Now I can actually run. Oh, you got the Reebok pumps. Right. Or the wing boots from Fazanandu here. But you can't really uh, fly. But well, you can run this time, though. It's pretty cool. I don't want to burn any bridges here. Yeah. Oh, ah! Dang it, stupid Indiana Jones bridge. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you got old lady. Right? <laughs> oh! Well, I think that's the same actress that played as Throw Mama from the Train with Dan DeVito. Yes. Yeah. All right, get back down here to freaking uh, Raisinville or Purple Barneyville, whatever they call Raisinville. I think of the uh, Great Von Raisins. I heard it to the great. Yeah. Oh, well, that's an old school reference. 
Yep, those uh, Californian raisins. Yeah, talk about an outdated reference. Wow. Oh. Hey, uh, stop or my mom will shoot. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah his where, favorite movie. Where Rambo's mother appears. Hey, uh, uh, hey, uh I don't know. Uh, I just had to do it. Well, yo, yo, Adrian, you know, I was wondering maybe if you're not doing anything in 50 years, if you wouldn't mind marrying me much. Not if you're dead, you idiot. Let's cut through here. Oh, well, what about these jump cuts here? I can't. Uh, you, know, just, you know, there's all these jump cuts here. I don't know where we're jumping to. You're jumping to conclusions here. Jesus, uh, this is too much. Yeah, there's too much going on. I got the waterproof coat. Nothing is over. Right? Let's cut to here next, and this pie may is I'm meditating here. Do you have a... Yes. Boom! Yeah, you're gonna need <laughs> help. So that was a waste of time. Let's move on. <laughs> ah, dang it! <laughs> it's going on. What's going on? I'm failing. That's what's going on. And I thought it's the stickers... A... Ah, like a, there we like go. A compilation. Alright, now I got the helmet. Man. This is like a fail compilation video. There's so many jump cuts, it's like... Yeah, well right here... Let's just go to the next part. Here's like where the helmet protects you. Ah, I noticed that. I didn't get hit. The helmet protects you from those volcano rocks. Yeah, because that makes okay. sense. The, the, like, the retard helmet, like, uh... Like, stop rule. <laughs> That's messed up. <laughs> Alright, let's go back in one of these rooms again. These Dr. Chaos or Shadowgate rooms, and... Ah, there's a hidden door. And then there's, uh, yeah. Is it, oh, is uh, it glasses again? Ah, now I finally got the diving suit. Not the bomb blast suit, as Skip Rogers would have you believe, but Metal Gear. Ah, Metal Gear. Right? Hey. All right, let's get out of her. Look at the map. Otherwise, Skip <laughs> will message me. Oh, you check the map. Don't have to worry about those things anymore. Freaking scorpions. Oh, use the yo-yo like Star Trek. Yeah, or like the... Much better game. Alright, I mean, now I'm going to start using semi-ECW mode. Now I got all the keys. Somebody get that? Uh... <laughs> I get it. Hello? Florida keys? Oh, uh, it's Jay. How can you invite me in this commentary? Because you suck! <laughs> you want to save Jay's face, Jay would beat your ass. Nah. He was star so that one time, it's on video. Yeah, because I wasn't stage. <laughs> right. Well, wrestling is stage, but anyway. No, uh, Nasa's sausage. Yeah. Nasa's sausage. Come on, let's go on her. Alright, what did you do? Go her! Another Ooh. save! Ben her? Who is yeah. her? Ben her. Ben her, yeah. Hammer time. Dude, that sounds gross. I use the glasses so I can see the Ah, there's the third Goonie. Nice. Alright. So I rescued the third Goonie. And we will see in part four I'll rescue the fourth one. I don't know how many Goonies there are, but I guess we'll find out. Until then, God bless. Take care. You've rescued more children than uh, Kevin Westerbeck. Who? You damn predator. I can't think of a good pun. Welcome to Let's Play The Goonies 2 Part 4. This is Ron Moore along with Jeff. Wait, Part 2, Part 4? Oh, I forgot about yeah. this. Just getting Let's Play The Goonies 2 Part 4, yeah. Oh, Oh, right, I missed so, I missed part two, part two. Oh. Yeah. So we we'll continue to play as Jeff here. <laughs> when did I dye my hair pink? Right. Oh. Uh, must have went through one Morris. of those. I guess in my previous life I was a grunge kid. Yeah. All right. So now that I got the diving suit, it's time to go underwater. <laughs> There's just a door. Someone built it for underwater. You know. Yeah, whoa. Alright. I have semi ECW mode here. You mean getting your butt kicked? Yeah, oh shoot. Oh, what's his jaw spinning now? <laughs> like he oh, swam through the rock! That makes me 
Nick! Oh, oh, I know, right? You can't do that. Zero cents, game. Come on. This reminds me, reminds me of a cross of Jaws and that one Jaws wannabe game in Action Figure 2. That's true. Come on, Goonies 2. Goonies 2, more like Ultra Software. Ultra Software? I know! I know, dear lord, we're, we're like playing Shadowgate or Nightshade or something. Mixed with, yeah, or, uh, or Dr. Chaos. Yeah. Oh, God. You found the body! What do you do? You can't hit, you can't hit the jellyfish? The, the jellyfish cannot be damaged by a harpoon, because that, that, that's science, you know, right? Right. I mean, yeah, science is better than that. Yeah, that's why they build armor out of jellyfish now. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, oh, pwned. Okay, now you got the crab from Mario 2 over here. I'm so angry. I'm so... He's crabby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, ah, dang, you beat me to it. <laughs> I'm the pun winner. Alright, is it safe to read this? Be careful! Some doors will appear by explosion. Oh, it was a, it was a safe bet. <laughs> yeah. The grammar right there, some doors will... I, I, didn't, I guess you can put bull at the end of certain words, depending on how you're using it. You know, I didn't think this would have been uh, made in another country in the translate. You know, we get a lot of English, but uh, this I feel like this would be an American-made game, though. Well, these Konami slash Ultra games, they have a lot of... Oh, it. it's, Konami yeah, Quest. it's Ultra games, so it's still by me Konami. That explains all the English, then. Because yeah. up until, like, for NES games, until, like... Oh, I don't know, like, Final Fantasy 1 or 2, they, they were still translating uh, all of it in Japan. They didn't have any American studios for this kind of stuff. Yeah. That was pretty bad for a while. Alright, so go down these weird pipes here, and... Oh, what is this, a dead end? <laughs> Just a... Man! <laughs> you guys, I'm gonna build a room with no purpose. But we right. really, we're running out of time here, Jim. I don't care. You're right. Oh. Uh. Nice change though in this game. Instead of going through rooms after rooms, it's now underwater stuff and different uh, music. So that's pretty cool. Definitely a mixture. I would have loved to see them going after Wild Willie's pirate ship, like on the sea, he's trying to find it. I've never. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. I've never um, gotten this far in this game until now. He's doing it for the fans, guys. He's doing it for you. Yep. Because, man, I was never good at this game when I was a kid. Seriously, give him money so he won't do this anymore. Right. He's playing Goonies too, for God's sakes, people. Help him yeah. out. Yeah. My Patreon is... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, I know. Everyone's got a Patreon these days. I think that's a good yeah. idea, though. I mean, some people... Yeah. I donate to a few. I'll, I'll yeah. mention on, on, on the SC2K show who I donate to. No, no gamers, though. I'm, it's weird. I'm weird. Donate one hundred dollars. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> one hundred dollars, and Ronnie will do um, do the truffle shuffle. Right. <laughs> come on, do the truffle shuffle. <laughs> no, come on, do it. <laughs> do it. Yeah. Oh man, I don't know. Now, now you got me thinking about that. Those kids were pretty weird. Do the truffle shuffle. Come on. Yeah. Right. All right. Up here, there's a, yep. Hidden door. Oh. Uh, how did you? How did you know that? A YouTube. Whoa! What is that? Um, I'll give you another life. Uh, the creature from the Black Lagoon. I wouldn't go near him. And that is kind of a waste of time because I have infinite life. So anyway. <laughs> he gives you another life. Cool little secret life. to know. I figured he'd take secret to know. Oh, definitely. Do what? I was just saying. I figured he'd take your life. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah. Love the map from Zelda. I think we already mentioned that, but that's just weird. Right. And, uh, yeah. Brought to you by brought to you by Skip Rogers. <laughs> oh, the ladder. <laughs> to play the game, play the game. Yeah, play that game. We got channel. <laughs> oh goodness. Yeah, the hammer. The hammer's totally gonna work. Hammer time. Oh, 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 oh. Break it down. Well, this is not exactly Thor's hammer, but it gets the job done. <laughs> what? What? No! No! I'm just gonna throw the hammer at the ceiling, maybe a hole will go through, and you're just carrying around a six-foot ladder. Yeah, and I, I didn't really know you get the ceiling and stuff to open up like that, and yeah. then use the ladder to get up there and rescue the fourth Goonie. All right. Thank you, Mikey. You're two minutes late. Hey, be thankful you got rescued. He, no, he, he's dead. He's like, you were two minutes too late. Ugh. Yeah, right?
<laughs> died, and then he died. <laughs> All right, so that is the end of part four. We'll see you guys in part five. What's going to happen next? Until then, uh-huh. God bless you. Take care. Who knows? Goodbye. Welcome to Let's Play the Goonies 2, Part 5. This is Ron Moore, along with the Wee Guy and Jeff. Never say die! Yep. And even though I've got a lot in this Let's Play... What the... Quick cut to the... back to the water part again. Oh. Get the jumping shoes! Um... Kill that thing before it runs <laughs> No way, help me out. Help me do this right here. It's an abomination. I'm actually able to do this right here now, alright. No game genie gonna help you there. Yeah, a new a a new part of the game here. A new part. Pretty sure you just passed some blood on the doors before. Yeah, there's there's blood on those doors. That's not a good sign. Jason Voorhees has been here. There's Moses again. Moses. Can you help my people cross the river? Whoa. Yeah, the Red Sea. That's what that room is a reference to. I think Jason Voorhees has been in this game, and it looks like we're in one of the log cabins in Camp Crystal Lake here. Also, kind of looks like you entered the world of Castlevania just a little bit. Yeah. This nice game... to hear the old. Oh yeah. Uh, like, uh, nice to hear the old Cindy Lauper music again. Get in there! Get in there! Get in there! And then your head explodes. Or the Heidi Nori Miyazawa. Of course, rendition who composed yeah. the soundtrack. That's right, I was managed by Captain, Captain Lou Albano. Oh, good job. Lonnie, you, you fought too many enemies. Right. Looks like one of the. Uh, never mind, the stat child from Arena Tom. Oh, we've got a magic locator device. What Ooh, the hell is that? Let's locate magic. Magic locator. Do you believe in magic? No. Not even no, in no. young girl's heart. Little known fact, uh, Jeff was Ron McDonald back then. Yeah, uh, it was a uh, it was it was a tough time in the '80s. I, I I had addicted to coke and I needed to pay for it. And, uh, yeah. Oh, All right, man. This I, I wish I had the slingshot, but I don't. I do got bombs, but I'm trying to conserve conserve those. Hey, what are you a conservative? <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, uh, oh, uh, green part of the cabin now. Man, I love this green cabin. Green wood. Yeah. yeah, I know. What time is it? 4 of 19? <laughs> You're so funny. Ah, hell. Dude, that's why I'm a comedian. You're a comedian? No. I've done stand-up before. It's pretty awful. Really? I've no. done sit-down. <laughs> I've done lay-down. Yeah, I've lay done lay-down. Lay Damn it. I don't lay-down for anybody. Wait. Oh, alright. Oh, 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 Shadow Gate time. Dang it. Fail. Alright, now I gotta remake the whole. Yeah, remake. <laughs> they, they just fill right. it back when you're gone, real quick. Dang it, go to the ladder, you idiot. Man, I hate you. can't go right. You gotta go down, down until you get to the right again with the arrow. Oh, I, I, I thought, just froze there. I, I, thought you were right. gonna be, I thought you were gonna be Barry Burton. Use the rope! Right. You, the master of. Um, I guess unlocking? You unlocked some doors. Yeah, what the, what the hell, you know, close enough. Okay, look, it's supposed to go down the ladder, but you have to hit up to actually go down the ladder. That's why I kept messing up. That's, okay, nice Friday the 13th controls here. Yeah, gosh. Diving uh, You just... Another, another part of the game was watery. How are you carrying what? all this stuff? Wait, wait, that made no sense. You, you can't... That's a really... What's... What are there, sir? Yep. Ah, watch out! Oh. Rejected Mario characters. Yeah, octopusy. Octopusy. <laughs> Where's James Bond at? Oh, oh I, I talked to the Frenchman, not James Bond. <laughs> hey, there's oh, uh, hey. somebody who looks exactly like you. Alright, there's the next Goonie. I think that's the fifth one, I'm not sure. <gasps> oh, no. Thank you, Mikey, you are great. Hey, you sure are. are. Alright, I'm gonna see if I can rescue one more in this part. Maybe. Unless, you know, you fall off the water somehow. You fall off the water? Fall off, well, you fall off the water earlier. It's the only way you can well, I didn't fall it. off water, I drowned. So you're wearing a diving suit. This, this makes I didn't fall off water, let's talk about waterfall. Hi, well, no, you, you, you fell down, and you died for some reason a few minutes ago, and it's just like, what? Yeah. And All I right, was like, go, ladder of success in this game? Yeah, the best ladder, on, ladder match. Ladder match in this game here. 
I want the steel cage challenge. Yep. Dang it, stop using your shield. I want to see if I push him off. Jeez. Uh, hey. Ooh, uh, oh. hey, look at that. I know, I killed him right before he fell off. I didn't get the heart. Dang it. <laughs> what is this, Thomas Quest? I guess so. Man, those fatalities have been up to a lot of stuff. Bringing back knights. Yeah, fatalities, whatever they're called. Man. I know, my goodness. Look at that. They're bringing skeletons back to life. Oh. Yeah, it's fraternities, whatever the family's name is. Floating trench coat men. I mean, it's just... Right. I don't know how you play this game. I know there's a map, but it, it just... I'm so... Well, you use the left and right directional pad to move, and then you press A button to jump, and I think B is the yo-yo. I think that's how you I'm, play I'm it. Go I'm gonna come and stab you in the face. <laughs> just... No, quit being a smart ass now. Come on. Oh well, is it better to be a smart ass or a dumbass? Ooh, good point. Yeah, all right, I won't stab you. I'm sorry. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> I prevail once another day. <laughs> Man, I don't know if I'm gonna prevail here against this stat child. <laughs> all right, here we go. Give heart. Oh, nice energy refill. Whoa! All right, now we're getting energy refill. No, no, Die. no, just Urgh. jump over him. I, I, I want to fight like a man. No, it's uh, oh, dang it. Yeah, that's a good piece. I killed him anyway, but anyway, uh, another warp zone. This is Mario Brothers now. <laughs> Whoa. Stop the coffee and off of my game. Okay, where in hell? Whoa, what, what the? Welcome to what Dinosaur the Hell, kid. Am I fighting baby bops here? No, you know what it is? It's that other world in the Super Mario Brothers movie. I, oh, I don't even mention that movie. <laughs> I was just you watching it a couple days ago for some reason. Fighting baby bombs here, so you gotta fight Barney in here in a minute? <laughs> I love you. Whoa. You love me, I'm gonna punch you in the face. Or Mini Godzilla, whatever. No, that's is that, that's Lizzie from Rampage. Oh, Lizzie! Uh. Yep. Oh, barely beat her. Alright. I, I wish you could fight enemies right here and be like, you you attack them with ladder. It's super effective. Right. <laughs> All right, that's six Goonies I rescued. I felt my life almost ended. Well, this video has ended right here. Oh. As I will see you guys in part six. I think uh, there might still be one more Goonie left. I'm not sure, but we'll find out. Until then, God bless. Take care. Have fun. And, and no, you don't get a refund. Sorry, people. I'm, I, it, uh, Goonies say they do, uh, forget it. We can't no. have any, we can't, we can't have any refund. Welcome to Let's Play Discuss, The Goonies 2. This is Ron Moore with, once again, Jeff and Wee Guy. Hi. Yep. So this as usual. Playing, I'm playing as a kid. Character as a hybrid of Jeff and we got combined. Yeah, he's got Jeff God. hair and hey, at least my durability. <laughs> uh, yeah. oh. oh, I don't know. I guess uh, 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 Viper and Jeff's love child equals we guy. No. Ooh. I don't know about Ooh. that. Call, calling me an old man, I hear you. <laughs> as I'm fighting uh. Baby Pop again with just a freaking yo yo. There are those dragons. I know, it's like the, the guy from Bubble Bubble. Ah! Thanks, he you sustained a pelvic fracture. You are dead. So you play as seven-year-old Skip Rogers. <laughs> I just... would, I would love to see the version of this. Just like, where the hell did the dragon come from? Yeah. <laughs> right. A Goonies remake. Oh. Uh, I mean, never I, say uh, die Goonies, unless a dragon is a. <laughs> the Goonies, uh, the Goonies maker said Mario, <laughs> Super Mario maker. <laughs> Oh man, that reminds me, I don't know if you guys seen it, but uh, I watched a lot of Red Letter Media because I have no life. But um, on there, they did a, a version of um, Friday the 13th with all the characters. They call it Dick the Birthday Boy, and he's being chased by the showbiz pizza bear instead of Jason. It's hilarious. Uh, wow. Well, Good. Uh, that was a waste Good of a key. Nothing here. Yep, nothing here. Well, I, can't yeah. I can't complain I have infinite keys.
The, the guy sacrificed his life to lock an empty safe. Oh! Whoa. You see that? That was Yeah! Oh, what? Damn. And I'm fighting. Uh, what the heck is that? Uh, one of those weird things. I was like one of those weird things from Star Wars with a weird neck. Right? With no Han Solo? Weird. No neck. Uh, yes! Yeah, Han no Solo. neck. It reminds me of Strong Mad from Homestar Runner. Han didn't shoot first. Oh, there, I just dropped the bomb. If you put Star Wars in here, you'll get 8 million views now. There you yep. go, Ronnie. You're welcome. Good night, folks. Spoilers! <laughs> Spoilers. Right. Han Solo dies! I know, right? Someone put that on there. I think there's a picture of someone put that on their minivan. I'm like, man, they're gonna get shot. I didn't even go see the movie I wanted to, but all my friends ended up already seeing it since we live, you know, away from each other now. It's like, well, okay. crap. So I just figured I'd catch the spoilers. Be like, okay, that's yeah. good. Good job. Can't wait for all the hate to come your way. Yeah. Star Wars spoilers. Uh, my name is Jeff, and I live in Alaska. <laughs> uh, Sarah Palin's my neighbor, so yeah. <laughs> right. I'll be okay. <laughs> all right, so let no me one's see okay you. when that happens. <laughs> yeah. All right, as I'm backtracking again, what what more of these stat shots of Ocarina Tom? Yeah, what, what are they? They're just ripping off Castlevania and Zelda over here. Just whatever. Right. Oh my goodness. I'm trying to figure out where the heck to go. Do, 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 go do. get a light. Oh, wait, go get a light. Oh, <laughs> yeah, go get some light. Why won't you die? I'm hitting you with a yo-yo because I'm a knight in armor. Yeah. Or something. I don't know. Wait, how... wasn't, that, wasn't that a rap song back then? Come on, come play with my yo, 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 yo. I don't know. I wasn't born in 1983, Ronnie. Well, you know what? <laughs> I was born in 1980. Uh, I was born in 1989, so me and Taylor Swift were the same age. <laughs> <laughs> I, knew you were, I knew you were trouble when you walked in. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know any Taylor Swift songs. I'm sorry. <laughs> I've heard that one. Today. Well, I'm gonna let you finish, Jeff. But we guys, one of the best up here's of all time. <laughs> oh yeah, the uh, Kanye West. That's right. Since nice. I've never done Let's Play yet, it's kind of yeah. You know. Yeah, listen here. He's a genius. Well, what is that? I, I, what, the, what was that? Hey, did you just did you just murder Nightshade? <laughs> Seriously, Nightshade was there. You just killed him. No, but there was some weird uh, looking sperm. Uh, was yo uh, sperm I'm sorry. come after me or something? I don't know. It hung out there. I just I, I felt. Oh, you're killing. Stop killing Nightshade. Seriously, he's a detective. He solves crime. No, that's Douche Shade. Douche Freaking Shade. Uh, Columbo, Dick Tracy's love child wannabe. Columbo, oh, screw you. That, that's Nightshade, best detective game on the NES, which there isn't Inspector many choices. Special gadget looking. Woo -hoo! All right. But deja oh. vu. Best best detective. Yeah. <laughs> Well, hello again, Moses. <laughs> it's dangerous to stay uh, go alone. It's dangerous and, not shut up because I'm about to bust him in the mouth. And, I've been here already. That? Okay, so you've got Noah and the android from Metropolis, apparently. What, I don't know what's going on here. Right. Rocky, did you slip something in my drink? I know you live a thousand miles from me, but I'm starting to worry. Did you say Rocky? Oh, I said Ronnie. Oh. Rocky, you great lightning and craft thunder. Yeah. Back in oh, this... Burgess Meredith. Do what? Burgess Meredith. He's been dead Mickey. for a while. <laughs> Back. Mickey won. Mickey won. Mickey won. Mickey loved oh. you. It was a job to protect you. He loved you. <laughs> yeah, but you have to hurt nothing. You wake up after a few years thinking you win it, but you're not. <laughs> oh, Rocky 5. We don't need Rocky 5. We need Rocky 4 all day long. Oh, Rocky 3. All day long. Well, Rocky 3 is great, but Rocky 4 is like patriotism boner. I mean, it's just getting yeah. ready. Like, it was depressing, a little though. One. It was depressing, though, because Apollo died. Spoilers. Yeah, that, That's that worse than the Star Wars, Wars spoiler. <laughs> Carl Weathers. Apollo 3 good. dies. Oh, if you want to talk about Carl Weathers, uh, watch Predator, then. He is the best in that movie. If I want to learn about the weather, I'll just look outside. Especially when he gets his arm blown off. Wait, you say Carl Weathers, right? Yeah, Carl Weathers. Yeah, yeah Carl, I want to look at the weather outside. Uh, well, it depends on whether or not I get through this game. Yes, we don't know. We make it. Okay, there is nothing here, apparently, Ronnie. You are you are now playing Resident Evil. Right. Really poorly. Oh, no. <laughs> don't open that door. Fortresses. What is it? 
Where are your pants? Oh. You almost became a Jill sandwich. <laughs> You're right. Wow, I sounded really like Jill there. That was scary. <laughs> I'm a woman, yeah. apparently. Not really. Oh my god. 26 years old, enough. and I still sound Where like a girl. You a Jeff sandwich. A Jeff sandwich. Alright, guys, anyway, you, you know this game better than I do. Where do I go next? Well, well first, you gotta sing. Yeah. The... Sorry, go ahead. Okay, okay. never mind. Anyway. Uh, anyway, you gotta yeah, sing first the city you do the... <laughs> Damn it, go ahead. I said... No, my, I was meant, I was purposely interrupting you. Oh, uh, well, first you gotta sing the Cindy Lauper song, you know, good enough. For you, it's good enough. For me, it's good, it's good, it's good enough. Okay, apparently that isn't working, but I'm thinking here. Come on, guys. Good enough. Okay, I gotta shut up. That's Ooh. like the last resort of the players. See, you killed you Mikey. Uh, well, Mikey yeah. needs to stop. Mikey Balboa. <laughs> Mickey Balboa. No, Mikey Balboa. Ralph oh, Mikey. Come on. What do you with Mickey? Hey, Mickey, you're so fine. I want to slip him a Mickey. Hey, shouldn't Noah be in Super Noah's Ark 3D right now and not hanging out with you? Right. Yeah. yeah, that's what your next best uh, play should uh, be. <laughs> Dummy. Is that fire down there? How come fire's not moving? I, I don't Look, know. They, they, budget, they didn't want to animate. It's just like, whatever, it's fire. We don't need to do anymore. Yeah, you do. Mario 3, fire moves. Yeah, well, that was uh, like a year or two ahead of nah, this. Uh, uh, no excuse. Well, they, the Japanese didn't do this as Americans, and it was union work, and they just didn't feel like it. It was a long story. Yeah. I don't know about any of that because this is all Japanese developed, you know. Konami. Oh, I didn't know. I thought. Oh, it is Konami. Yeah, no, it's Konami. Konami. Silly Willy. Well, I thought. It, why did I thought it might have been through one of their subsidiaries? Because back then you could only release five NES games a year, so they made I mean, separate companies. I mean, yeah. it would still be Konami if Ultra Games were publishing. It just you know. Well, there's their... no Konami, Ultra Games was designed stuff in America though. Different team. It wasn't the Japanese team. No, well, I'm saying they mostly published. They never really did any developing. Oh, yeah. No, I mean, Konami themselves did, but yeah, you're right. Yeah, they did. They published, like, they had a bunch of different companies, and Ultra Games was one of them. Yeah, for publishing. Yep. So, if we're talking about Ultra Games, we're playing an Ultra Game. Why aren't we playing Metal Gear right now, then? Well, this Just isn't saying. an Ultra Game, but I get you. Uh, oh. Okay. This is this is published and produced. Pub yeah, published and developed Konami. Oh. oh. Man, I bet Hideo Kojima worked on this stuff. Yeah. I mean... Maybe the first oh, Metal Hideo. Gear on NES. I thought it was Hideo yeah. too, like video Hideo. Yeah, but it's, it's Metal Gear Solid. Yeah. Like when you fight Psycho Mantis, it, sh it shows like those old school VCRs where it says play, then it says play again in the corner. Yeah. It said Hideo, and then Hideo. I was like, Yeah, oh. I thought play yeah. again. What a worthless yeah. feature. Speaking, speaking that, I finally got my last Metal Gear game on in my collection. I finally picked up the Twin Snakes. Could never find oh. it for some reason. Nice. I used to have that. What? You have all the Metal Gear games? Yes, I do. Officially you have Metal now. Gear on Commodore 64? No, I have on the MSX. You don't have an all! I didn't know it was on the Commodore 64. Yeah, it is. Get hey, Jeff has it all. I I have a C64, so I'll have to check that out. A C section? No, um. Well, here's a different section of the game right here, finally, in a different uh, area of the game, I guess. Are we in the attic here? The pirate ship level? I don't know. Are you toys <laughs> in the attic? Hey, a bomb created a bomb. That's... <laughs> Sorry, I was quoting uh, Sloth there after he saw the ship. Hey, you guys! Ooh, Where is it's Sloth? Fun to play the Goonies. Really? What? What? Really? What? Sure is. <laughs> what? If if I didn't have if I didn't have infinite keys, I'd be pissed. What the, what the hell was that? What you said, well, you have to plug your own game, Ghostbusters. It's not a good game. Thank you for playing with Goonies too. You just wasted sixty dollars, yeah, dummy. Really? Thank you for shutting up. Jeez. <laughs> How pathetic is that? This is sad. This is just oh my goodness. It's not fun to get jerked around and waste time. <laughs> what are you gonna get next in the next safe? A copy of Goonies too? Just right. I'm in trouble. I'm in. Without glasses. Okay, Pi May. Hold on a second. You just carry glasses what? around. Okay, I just try to give him the glasses and says you can use. What am I supposed to do with them? Well, just stop complaining about glasses if you won't take them, douche nozzle. That old man. Beat him in the head with it. Just murder him. I want to see if there's any more, any holes in this room, or hidden rooms. 
Jeez, nothing here, of course. Now I just impaled him with a ladder. Oh. All right, so. Murderer. So yep. when you report to the police, you know, what happened, you're like, how'd that old man die up there? I don't know. Yeah, There's a ladder through him. Would you rather be free or go to jail? Uh, I'd rather not take that ladder. Oh, I fail. <laughs> All right. You're so, so funny. Back here again in the attic where it's full of snakes and stuff. Hanging out in your attic. See, when when we saw it in the movie, we didn't see all the cool parts of the attic. I'm a Goonies 2 attic. Uh, uh, it, we are just full of puns here, people. Right. We're full of something as I'm trying to get through here. And then I think we are very oh, close love, to the end of the game. Oh. Also, I, I, lo I love the pink pieces of wood. They just kind of look like they painted them on there real quick. I thought it was like the background. Or something. Oh, oh. so? What is this, Mario Brothers? Right? Alright, now I'm back. Oh, I thought this was the same area. No, it's not. Actually, a different part of this game right I, Ronnie, I don't know how you do it, because I'd be lost at this point. Oh, I I've, I was lost for a while in this game. It took me a while. There's, a while. There's a lot of quick cuts and stuff. <laughs> so I, I knocked down uh, Nightshade again. Sorry, Nightshade. Oh, yes. Damn it. I like Nightshade. I don't play many NES games, but I play Nightshade. So did HPGN. Yep. Actually, he's the one who uh, introduced it to it. It's like, I gotta try this game. And it's like, this is amazing. Because I, I, I don't, I have an NES, but I don't play a lot of NES stuff. So. Ah, oh, dang it. Okay, we're on my way. Go down the ladder, you idiot. <laughs> there, go down the sta stairs. The ladder. At least Mega Man can jump off the ladders. You, you, gotta, you, you can't jump off here. You just gotta climb all the way up or down. Okay, time to summon Rush and let's get out of here. Just fly away. Yeah, I need to rush through this game right here because <laughs> I'm getting tired of getting lost. <laughs> Alright. Come on, there's gotta be something here. here. Nice! Center. Another door. Alright. More maze. Then you open up another, you, you go through this door. Congratulations, you beat Goonies do too. Uh, have a nice day, that and thanks for your money, sucker. Oh, another warp zone. Another water section coming up. All right. Nice. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Hey, this oh. looks like you're like going to go in and meet Tyrant in a minute. Are you, are you sure this is a good idea? Whoa. Oh. Hey, you did it. Wow, that, that's it? What's the final boss? So lady. This, is, this is a Bobo's woman, so be a fair Hooray for oh. Konami! And he has rescued... Oh, and he has. And he was rescued, and the Fat Tellies fraternities were arrested. Fraternities. <laughs> fraternities. Well, I only saw the fat one here. Yeah, right? Peace has arrived what, again. What happened to Agent Johnson from Law & Order and that other guy who was in U.S. Marshal? In the Don't town you? of the Goondocks. Really? Goondocks. No one called it that. Except for the kids. I'm Ted Koppel, and that's the end of this game. Finally. <laughs> and that's... Is. And that's the way the cookie crumbles. There you go. There you go. I was trying to think of that. <laughs> All right. So, geez, oh finally, finally, that's the end of the Goonies two here. I mean, geez, this game was, this game was pretty hard. I've never gotten far or beaten this game until now because I had help with YouTube. But man, hey, like, even with YouTube's help, I was getting lost. There's a lot of jump cuts and backtracking and stuff. And I mean, there's more backtracking than there is in Simon's Quest and Metroid. It seems like. Yeah, I mean, and I saw you, saw you had a map, but I mean, in real life, I feel like your map would just be scribble lines everywhere. Just be like, yeah, here, here, here. Yeah, and it, so, I mean, but but this game is fun, a good soundtrack, a d different, uh, kind of like, it reminds me of Fazanadu as far as like different environments, different backgrounds, and, and different music. Uh, that was pretty cool. Um, so, and of course, I love the movie, but I, I played this game first before I ever saw the movie. So as I mentioned in the previous parts, I was like, okay, so this is the Goonies 2. Where's the Goonies 1 for NES? Well, I don't see it anywhere. Uh, apparently there is one in, in Japan, I guess. But like, as far as like the American version, I go, where's the Goonies 1? And then I discover, like, I, didn't, I didn't see the Goonies movie until 1996. Which, Whoa! What, 10 years later? Yeah. Uh, 11 years later? 
And then, uh, uh, so I watched that, and then I heard Cindy Lauper's music. Oh, that sounds like the Indian soundtrack. Oh, wait a minute. And, and so I did that a lot when I, I was a kid. When I first heard the, the Tetris music, dun, 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 the Nutcrack, Nutcracker. Dun, yeah, dun, the Nutcracker. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. I thought when I heard it in, like, um, I heard it somewhere else, I go, hey, they're playing the Tetris music. And then, oh, yeah. oh no, that's Nutcracker. No, it's not. I play Tetris. Don't tell me what song this is. And so, anyway. Oh, man. I remember, yeah, I, I saw Goonies. I heard about this game a few years ago, but, oh, man. No, have you seen the music video for this, uh, for Cindy Lauper's song for this movie? They've got a bunch of pro wrestlers, old school, like The Sheik, and I think Hulk Hogan's there. And they're trying to close down their family gas station. Just watch it. It's hilarious. Cool. Yeah, uh, I've only seen the clip of it in, like, the movie where the song was playing, and then they escaped from their brother from the house or yeah. whatever. But yeah, uh, check it out on YouTube. Good. Yeah. Um, so, but this game, The Goonies 2, very fun game. I can see why people don't like it, though. J-Man's not a real big fan. Uh, but this game is not that bad. Uh, Ultra, Konami, whoever the heck made it. Um, I mean, it's not bad at all. Controls, uh, uh, controls are not bad. Graphics, pretty good. Music's catchy. Replay value. So, huh? Oh, I'm sorry. So, w would you say this game is good enough? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Goonies 2 is good enough. With Everything's pretty much good on it. Um, except it is kind of confusing and cryptic. How are you supposed to know where to bomb certain areas? It's almost like Simon Quest cryptic. But anyway, with that being said, it the game is good enough. I give it a 7.5 out of 10. Jeff? I give it a 2.5 out of 10. Because, dear Lord, who plays this stuff except for you? Seriously. We okay, we guy and you. I'm not making fun of you as people, but seriously, the Goonies too. Yeah, well, you, you, this you guys fun, are though, when I was a, It was really fun when I was a kid. I mean, and... I, Ooh, Picking my nose was fun as a kid. Doesn't mean I do it now. <laughs> well, your face wasn't fun as a kid. But anyway. <laughs> no, I'm not making fun of you. I promise I'm not. It's just the most out there game. You know what I mean? It's yeah. It's not a it's not a bad game. I don't, I'm not making fun of it. Just, you just don't it, like I, it because you suck at it. Uh, probably, yeah. But it, it's a ball buster. I mean, it's it takes some time. Especially without pre-internet days. Oh, it took us forever to beat games. You know what I'm talking about, Ronnie, and I'm sure you do too, Wee Guy. Man, before the internet, it was a nightmare. Wee Guy wasn't born to 93. He had uh, well, he, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> he probably remembers, because most people didn't have internet. I had internet in the mid-90s. didn't mean I used it a whole lot. Yeah. All right, but, but I... Yep. At least two. <laughs> it's a game right. J jump that you play... Point. And you jump and you make the things go boom and bop, and it's pretty good, despite being cryptic. <laughs> despite uh, being BS. Yeah, you know, guy games like that in, the, in these days, but and this falls victim to that, unfortunately. But for some, it can be still be fun if you remember. And of course, the soundtrack is probably the best thing to take away. You know, good old co classic Konami tunes. As a part of the grand uh, repertoire of, I guess you know, NES Konami, but uh, Goonies Two still a good game. I probably am, I I am uh, not a big fan of it, but you know, still play it and enjoy it for what it is. So for me, I'd probably give it like a five out of ten. All right, there you go. This game could have used a final boss battle. I mean, it really we're sloth. We're sloth. Fighting, fighting the Fratellis. Why didn't you add that in there? That should have been. I mean, not you, but you know that that. Come come it's on, nice. Konami. It'd be nice if, like, you can toggle between the Goonies you rescued. They have different attributes, like Switch once you up, like teens, yeah. And you play, and then of course Sloth. You know where's he at? I mean, and no boss battle. You just rescue a mermaid. And I'm <laughs> okay. Well, well, whatever. Also, I love how the Fratellis got out of jail again after escaping and kidnapping. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, throw Mama from the train. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so with that said, that is the end of Goonies 2. You know, it's kind of a fun LP to do. So, all right, we're out of here. I'm Ron Moore. God bless. Take care. Deuces. This is good enough. I'm satisfied. <laughs> Go ahead. Make
my day. Oh, and not this game again. And as I said in 2009, that was the only good part of this game. Welcome to Let's Replay Dirty Harry with NES. This is Ron Moore, along with J-Man and the Wee Guy. Yo. Yeah, so this is part of my promise to complete LPs that are concluded but never finished. And you had to start with this one. Yep. This is a great one. This is technically my first appearance in the SC2K back when this was done in like 2009. No, I think that was Wrath of the Black Manta, but... Oh, um, yeah. Well, second-ish. Okay. Yeah, it was around the time you started, yeah. It's good times. Yeah, so... You made your debut on SC2K. That's what helped you get your big break. So you can thank the SC2K. No, I was kidding. Yep. <laughs> that sure. and Dirty Harry. Yeah, SC2K was the uh, developmental territory before you moved to the main roster. Ouch. So, yeah, I can't get past Mr. Clean yet until I get some sort of a uh, special suit. Right. I remember Green was in this LP in 2009, and he's probably happy to not be here now. Bear and probably Jeff. Yeah, Jeff. Hey, seriously, Snakes. Might like, have to be Snakes. Right? Where's Jake at? He's not in this game. Right? He's like, forget that. Shh. Dang it. These freaking guys, they look like they're about to flash you or something. Man, this is quite the game. When they open their jacket or they're selling uh, cheap wristwatches on their jacket, one of those guys. They also look like Target Renegade Rejects. Yeah, but this game, at least Target Renegade looks better than this game. Yeah, and it has better music. Yeah, well, this is the... Oh, this is the style of Grey Matter, the developer. This is what they have how it looked like. Yeah, and I am using the ECW mode. I figured. I mean, you just put an AAAA at the password screen. Yeah, that's the code for ECW. No, I was kidding. Yeah, it stands for awesome. It stands for ah, as an ah, an angel throwing up after playing yeah. this game. I don't know. It stands for ah. Yeah. Seriously, me recording this, maybe maybe uh, screw Mister. Yeah, the freaking uh, pimp over there. I'll get to him in a minute. Uh, yeah. Okay, Chris Hansen. Michael Jackson. Yeah. Chris Hans is playing this game. I'll get to, I'll get to him in a minute. All right, so I gotta jump in front of this guy, and I get a suit just like that. Yeah, that's how it works, man. And I discovered that by accident. One of the videos I took down in 2007, I did Dirty Harry, like a little let's play with my webcam from the TV, and I was trying to figure that out. And as I was recording that, I just pushed the buttons, figured, what am I supposed to do with this guy? How do I talk to him? And I jumped, and then all of a sudden, I'm wearing the suit. And then I go to this guy, I'm like, I wonder if I get past this guy now, and then some woman in there, I don't know who she is, but all you gotta do is jump in front of her. What was that? It's a prostitute. Well, all you gotta do is jump in front of her, and you get extra lives, so there you go. Is that all that room was for? Yeah. Oh, jeez, damn it, when you fall down there, but oh well, it's going here. Oh, just got shot right in the head. Oh, man. These guys, they just jump out of nowhere from out of these dresser drawers. Or... Yeah, you just out of the file cabinet or right. whatever. Right. It's like, I'm hiding in here. Yeah, look at these rundown apartments. It kind of reminds me of the apartment complex I lived in not too long ago. Well, where does Dirty Harry or the movie take place? Like, isn't it like somewhere in the Bronx or something? I don't know, Philadelphia? San Francisco, I think. Oh, I've never seen this part of San Francisco. It looks like the Empire State Building's back there, so maybe it is New York. I don't know. Who knows? I thought it was like L.A. or something. Yeah, maybe. No, but I'm pretty sure Dirty Harry did, ha did take place. At least the first one was Scorpio. Might have been in California, San Francisco, most likely. We'll get some haters. You're wrong. Do your research before you talk about Dirty Harry. <laughs> this game is a cherished, cher cherished game. <laughs> yeah. This is a cherished title of the NES era. It's an underrated gem. HPGM will re review it one day. As I'm in the sewers and it's dark and I'm... Are you, uh, like, supposed to be here yet or, not, or something? Um, I, Is it, like, too early? It might be. I'm trying to select the flashlight down there. Well, let me go down there and select. I guess it's one of the items you can't select, but you have to collect and it automatically works when you collect it. 
Also, also, thank God it says the name of the game when you pause. I don't. I almost forgot what we were playing. Right? Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, at least, uh, at least it's not Miami Vice. <laughs> yeah, Miami Vice. Yeah. Because so you play as Don Johnson here. Right. And I Don guess what? Well, at least it doesn't have to remind you constantly what game you're playing. There's like Monster in my po pocket and Ninja Turtles in the bottom of the screen. It's a, but at least was... those games are better. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ooh! Ow, she just hit. Dang it! Jump over the freaking. Is Metal Gear Solid? All right. Metal Gear Harry, Dirty Gear, <laughs> Solid. Okay, and then you gotta keep these crates and then jump on stuff. And that's how you get random items and lives and. Hop All right, Bruce Lee, settle down. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there you go. Oh no! Plant the bomb. There we go. Oh, it still hit me. What? <laughs> Forget that. This is was not it, the crap. And cut was it Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde Bombs? Right? What the? Whoa. Uh, I think he's dead. Yeah, he must be dead. Oh, no, he's passed out. Drunk. Yeah. Clearly. I think he had a little bit of skin, scotch. Right. Okay, he's a green garden snake now. I'm gonna get you. Ouch, jump over the snake, you idiot. <laughs> oh, I just blew it up. Yeah, I remember that from the movie. Yeah, right, the snakes in the apartments where Harry has to shoot the snakes. Hello, random target, renegade, uninspired character. Jeez, this soundtrack is awful. I mean, who, who composed... Did you do... I'm sure you did 8-Bit Stereo Dirty Harry, did you? <laughs> yeah, I did. Who composed it? Well, it's interesting, because uh, usually the uh, Mindscape, which is what uh, who published this game, of course... Um, Usually Nick Eastridge is usually involved or in charge of the uh, soundtracks, but he just did the arrangements, which were actually done by Steven Samler and Elliot D Delman. Wow. So yeah, those guys, Steven and Elliot, but Nick Eastridge is pretty much in, um, known for the sound, which you hear in most other Mindscape games when it's actually a Mindscape like developed and stuff. Well, I'm going to have to sit down and talk to one of them, whoever was the main person that composed the music for this game. I, I guess both. I mean... They both just took credit. I, it's hard to tell who did who. I wouldn't take credit. Thomas. Probably a joint effort, you know? Uh, we had to do a podcast, get him on the show, and and uh, just grill him and ask him questions. What were you thinking when you composed the yeah, soundtrack? And I'll, and, and I'll grill some burgers, and everything will be good. Well, you know, we had limited resources. It's not our fault. LJN wouldn't let us do it. No, he's kidding. <laughs> LJN, jeez. Yeah. Oh, God. At least yeah. LJN was smart enough to hire David Wise. I mean, they hired Rare. So, oh, well, they got yeah, David Wise through that. Yeah. All right, and, jeez, freaking snake or electric eel, whatever it is. Oh, 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 almost got me. You got lucky. Yeah. All right. So what's in her? So what are those vases that you get? I don't even know. I can't recognize what they, they are. Like, I think those are about badges and it's supposed to be extra lives. Well, no, not that. Like, those... I don't know when it comes up again. I'll say what it is. That. Oh, what? What? I didn't it see looks that. Looks like a. It looks like a potion. Like a flask. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Soda machine. I wonder if you can use that to get energy. <laughs> Come on, Don Johnson. Oh. Come on, Dwayne Johnson. Yeah. I remember Gomes the Gamer did a review of this years ago. He did the same thing I did webcam from the TV. I remember when Spoonie did this. That was great. I don't think I've seen that one. I remember oh, when I reviewed this game. That was. Oh. What did he do? Was he hiding in one of the drawers and I kicked him out and it blew up? What the heck? I'm just kidding. I didn't review this game. Freaking Street of Rage reject character over here. So mean. You got a flashlight now. Oh, nice. Now, those canes, what are those canes for? I never understood that. Oh, a flashlight? Man, I didn't know they had those back then. Oh, God. What? Nice going. Flashlight? What? Is that what you said? <laughs> no, I said a flashlight. Oh, yeah, I heard that. Jesus. Oh, look at that. He tried to... Dirty Harry, not Dirty J, man. <laughs> I wasn't saying it was you. I was just saying Dirty uh -huh. Harry got himself one of those. Now in a while, it's called Dirty Harry. You can play every dirty game that comes down the pipe. Gets dirty because yeah, he, he like it's so hairy. Struck by God. <laughs> he like getting struck by slime, apparently. Right? Don't trust the acid. 
Now what is this so, dead end right here? Trying to figure out how to get past this part. As I'm contemplating what the heck to do. Ouch. Mm -hmm. I know what you should do. How about... Just, let's else. just listen to the 8-bit stereo soundtrack of this, of this game. Right. At least to enjoy the let's tunes. Let's just drive nails in our forehead. Okay, so they're down there, Pinhead. All right, so Ooh, did you... Dang it. Jump up there. All right, there we go. Oh, yeah, you did it. See? Oh, Isn't that what you wanted? It. I accidentally went inside the building. Oh, you can do that? I thought you died and restarted there. Right? You can't oh, you did die. When you... Or you did one of your famous jump cuts. All right. Oh! Ouch! Shoot. Aim the gun right! Broken controls! There we go. No, I blame you. I blame your face. This game has perfect controls, you just can't execute them. Right. Dirty Hair <laughs> NES is known for its fluent controls. Blame the controller, not the control. Wait. Blame the, the player, not the controller. The control yeah. not the <laughs> controller. Blame the player, not the controller. Blame the Wii guy. Why me? I blame because... the soundtrack. Yeah. No, the soundtrack's the best part, at least. Of course you say that. It is. There's at least a few good tunes. I mean, obviously, we're in the beginning. You gotta get the standard fare and just, eh. But later on, it actually gets a little better. I think the only good sound in this game is, go ahead, make my day. Oh, yeah, voice sampling. Yeah, dude. Very impressive for Mindscapes. No, though. No, I know what you're thinking, punk. They, they did do some voice sampling in, in other games, though. Like Gauntlet 2. Did he, find, did he have six lives or only five? Well, with all this excitement, I lost track myself. I mean, this is a sorry game. <laughs> I am. I just... Ask yourself one question. Do I feel lucky? No, I don't. We're not playing this game. Ah, broken ladders, broken controls, broken everything. Ah, broken head. Yeah, right. And like, these guys do look like the guys from Target Renegade in the green coats. Right. Weird. Yeah. And the guy from Ghost in the subway. Eat fresh? Oh, Whatever his name was, yeah, Gus. I don't know. Darren. 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 I Darren you. Yeah, Darren. Darren uh, from Subway. Oh, Eat oh fresh. Jared. Jared. Not Darren. Yeah. Eat fresh. Fuck kids. <laughs> Jeez. Wow. I don't think he did that. <laughs> I, I, well, maybe. He did. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. I'll I get, confused the, I'll get that. to that in a minute. Use that and whatever you know, like Chris Hansen, like stuff. Yeah. See, I don't know so if it was that is, or uh, touch. This is to catch a prey on NES. You're playing as Chris Hansen. <laughs> Trying your, your future, seeing Jared Fogel's future, and you have to catch him. Yeah, and you're like, uh, you have to catch a predator. Got to catch them all. Pokemon edition. <laughs> Got to catch them all. I'll take the turkey sub. I don't know. Fuck it. I don't care. Ah! Yeah, so Chris Hansen's like taking out all the predators here. This time he has no backup. Yeah, he that's gonna be that's gonna be the remake of Predator. It's gonna star Chris Hansen as like Arnold's character, and the Predator is like like Jared Fogel. Right. Who's this oh, guy? The Boombox guy. Yeah. Uh, he has his own. He has his own separate tune on the soundtrack. Yeah. Oh, cool. He gave me padlocks or something. I don't know what the heck that was about. <laughs> Padme? I guess I get through doors that are usually locked. I don't know. That's a nice couch. Yeah, I gotta love these rooms, man. They're always so diverse. Yeah. Sarcasm, but they're not. Yeah, these crackhead flea bag apartments in this game. Look, you don't have to reference your own apartments. I don't know. <laughs> I did live in something like that. No, not really. It wasn't that bad, but... Well, at least yeah, there's no can... roaches in this game. Yeah. I would have to imagine you lived in at least one apartment complex that was, like, kind of runny downish. Yeah, runny down, down, downish. Robert Downey Jr.? Uh, pfft, thanks. Good job taking, the, taking that joke that way. Yeah. Yeah, that you right sure? there, I'm not sure what that was. You sure are the man of iron. Yeah. Oh, the irony. Right. Yeah, the irony, man. Yeah. Ah, you missed. Oh, dang it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, jeez. 
Yeah, let me in. Let me in. <laughs> Shoot. Oh, no. Let me no, out. Let, let me out. out. Oh. Oh, jeez. It gets worse. Oh, pwned. Yep. Come on. Ah. Oh, you did not hit me. That's BS. All right. Green couch. I'm surprised the biggest, biggest buttons couch isn't in this game. Ah. Get out of there. All right. Back on the streets of San Francisco, wherever I'm at. This looks different, maybe. Yeah, I'm glad I got the, the uh, flashlight this time. Got uh, purple water this time. Jeez, yeah, really? What? What's a lily pad doing in the sewer? I thought it was like a dead alligator. Ah, oh. right. oh, jeez. That's ah. just moss. Right, okay, here. that's a death. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now he saves it. That's the ah, Actually, no, I just, I just got unlimited lobs. Okay, good. Yeah. Well, I guess you could drown in the purple Kool Aid as much as you want them. All right, purple stuff, Sunny D. Dang it. <laughs> Circle berry. Yeah. Oh, work out. Come on. Oh, no, 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 no go back. There we go. Now that's. Uh, uh, that was a quick right there. Alright, so apparently you gotta hit these switches in order to get past those barricades. Okay. I'm about to flip the switch. I, I wanna hit the power switch. Right? There you go. What the heck? Oh, yeah, you, you must be near the uh, boss or whatever. I don't know. Freaking toy uh, car. Didn't it happen in one of the Dirty Harry games, actually? Or. I remember that was the episode of LA Heat where someone used toy cars and put a bomb on there or something, I think. So apparently someone's doing that in this game. Another thing that's bunk about this game, Scorpio, Scorpio is not in it. Like, what? Come on. <laughs> what? Yeah, the bo the villain of the first movie, Scorpio. Oh, okay. Not Scorpion from Mortal Kombat. Okay. Yeah, this game's a freaking puzzle, man. A freaking maze, especially the sewer levels. And this music. The sewer's always tough. Yeah. Ah, jeez. Oh, well, look at ah, uh, ah. Toy car. What the hell is oh. going on? Man, if one don't get you, the other one will. R RC throw him. Right. Yeah, more like RC. RC W. Yeah. R RC not pro. Right. RC rookie. RC rookie. RC PM. RC pro got to get up a in the AM. Am I right? Yeah. Right. All right. Man. Back here. All right, so haven't been this part. Of the Whoa! Was that Mr. Uh, Clint? Just no, it's a Target Renegade Reject boss here. So are you like doing anything? Yeah, I am shooting him. Here we go. Oh, okay. Wow. Challenging. Yeah. Well, it probably would have been without me cheating, but all right. Oh yeah, that's right. You cheat, cheater. Yeah. Well, Dang playing cheating. this game is a challenge, so... Dang right I'm gonna cheat in this game. I'm not gonna play this game legit. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Alright. Let's go in this back alley right here. No, wait. Ah! Logan's alley. Right. Alright. Whoa! Oh, shit. Oh, God. Who the heck is this? So it's like a Mad Max character. It's like a this, combination of the Punisher and Rambo here. Looks like a pissed off Russian ninja. Uh, yeah. You know what? Ah, there you go. Oh, jeez. There you go. That Man. went down much better. Oh, jeez. All right. So that, is that... How many bosses are there in this level? Uh, four. Ah, oh, jeez. I'm out of bullets. Wait. Oh, oh yeah. You do run out of bullets. Skip is right. <laughs> you always need bullets. Was it like the first level of this game really long, and then like the the rest of it's like short? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the game is just one long one level. Right. Yeah. That's it's like level two, level three, level four, you're done. Yeah, that's stupid. Yeah. 
Yep. Oh, I keep forgetting I'm out of bullets. I, I, keep, I need to remember. Yeah, you, need to rem you need to remember to not forget. Right. Alright, here we go. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Oh, uh, yeah, right. Yeah, look at that. See, he's got it. Look at that. Great. That's Spawn jump from ladder to ladder. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Shoot him. Hit him. <laughs> look at that. Barry standing on the ledge. They're living on the ledge. You can't help yourself from fall. Okay. <laughs> oh! Right in the head. Jeez, jump on the crates. Great oh, job. Go. This is like Terminator jumping. Yeah. Terminator 1. Terminator 1 jumping isn't that bad, but this looks much worse. Yeah. It's a lot more like... Yeah, like well, it's a hop. At least the track right here is better than... Dun, 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 Whatever it was in the first level of the first Terminator game. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, it was something like that. Or one. It's like someone took a, pushed one keyboard button the whole yeah. time. Yeah. yeah, that one. That's better. Yeah. That is how the first one goes. That's okay, uh, I'm trying to. So you're uh, trying to get some wicked tunes? Trying to get some more extra lives and jumping in front of him. Well, there's a bunch of fucking safe. How do you need extra I... lives? ECW mode. Is, is this a safe room? I mean, there's green snakes. Oh, nice. It's, it's, a, safe, it's a safe space. What? Yeah, office space. Yeah, there we go. I'm going to need you to finish this LP real quick, okay? Oh, well, now you're out of bombs. Yeah, dang it. Oh no, whatever shall he do? Okay, now... What, yeah. the, what the heck? <laughs> oh, electrical it's a, field. Okay, it's, it's I, the I, I air conditioning. It's making you free. This is the ROM glitch? Or if it happened in the cartridge? But whatever that thing know. is, it's causing, me, it's causing the gameplay to go very slow. It's pretty cool, though. Yeah, it's <laughs> though. You want to hurry up and get out of here. There's the moon, Joe. Right? <laughs> Right. I'm using toss. That's just a toss run here. Yeah. That's a bunch of toss. Am I right? Yeah. I'm gonna toss this game out the window. I'm gonna toss you a baseball. I did have the cartridge to this years ago. I sold it. Really? For $2 did you have chip. the chip? Huh? What? I, I took a literal. Like you said, you had the cartridge, and I sued it. You know, you had just had the cartridge. Like I took a literal. You just had the cartridge and no chip. Anyway, let's get out of this room. Okay, thanks for not <laughs> admiring the <laughs> joke I made. What's this, Chips? The, the, the uh, TV show? It was the oh. best joke I made, and you just glanced over it like, like, like it was nothing. Nothing. Yeah. Oh, what, what? I'm like a donut eating Yeah, but it's, uh, it's whatever that thing is. I know. It, what is that? That's a it's game. A, it's, a, it's a game feature. <laughs> it's a... Air conditioning unit. I guess. Huh? Yeah, don't you remember? Don't you go slow mo when your air conditioner is on? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. Wow. Dude, why do you think people don't usually have their air conditioner on? It costs a lot of money to go in slow motion. Oh yeah. They just afford to not have it. Yeah. I'd rather go slow mo. No slow mo. All right, fine. Have it your way. No, as a pun, you missed. Oh, well, yeah, I did it just like you did to my cartridge my cartridge joke, so, well, huh. Well, mine was funny. No, mine was funnier. <laughs> your face is funny. Okay, yeah, all right. Well, you think I'm a clown? I amuse you? Yeah, doink. Yeah. Like, what, funny ha-ha? That's right. This ain't good, fellas. This is... Yeah, it... Almost kind but of... But this sure is a good time, am I right? Dirty, good... Dirty fellas. Dirty fellas, actually, I would really like that. All right, this room again. Like, I gotta look. I gotta do some research and find. God, out. he like stopped it there that time. Right? Yeah. Was there an umbrella doing? Oh wait, that's a lamp. Wouldn't it suck to live there? Right. It's like oh, I gotta get up, and then you just jump for like five minutes. It's like oh, I'm gonna get like, be late for work. 
right. Get up and then you gotta turn around and go back to bed. Yeah. Takes three minutes. Yeah. Come on. Come on. You, you can, can do it. Do it. What's this it. like? Is this like Saturday Night Fever? You look like John Travolta. No, it's a. Uh, well, yeah. Or... Friday night. Shit. Um... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? Oh man, I totally missed that that prequel. This Friday is... night shit. Yeah. This is a different room. The background is it's not like Sickle Fan. Now you got a really weird background here. You got Harvey Christmas with like Groucho glasses. Oh god, this is ridiculous. Why don't you just press I'm... the speed up? All right, because I forgot to and upload it, so we got to endure. Yeah, we sure do have. Well, let's kill some time. How was your day, we guy? Oh, no. uh, you know, I got arrested, and now I'm charged with arsony. I don't know. No. So you got <laughs> commentary live from the um, um, Oregon County Jail? State. No, I got arrested, but I got set free. I'm just charged. I got to pay the arsony. Okay. It's okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna pay it off by selling cocaine. Yeah. Well, this is Dirty Harry: The War on Drugs, so you better watch out. So we guys are final boss of this game. Plot twist. This is like a Melgar Melgar Solid where uh, that one undercover guy was actually liquid the entire time. So we guys been undercover with us on Skype the entire time. He's the boss. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. That's the boss of the game. I'm the boss of the commentary. <laughs> right? Because you're recording. Uh, I'm the one recording. Yeah. <laughs> you're the boss of Pamela. Yeah. <laughs> Operation Pamela. Pamela OP. here. Pamela OP. Here solid yeah. Ah, oh, forget that. Oh, not already... another. Ah, oh. and I've already been in there anyway. So let's... No, let's go back in there, and then we can talk about how Ronnie's day was. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Well, my day was shocking, actually. Um. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, another one. Good. Okay, J-Man. Uh, my day went really slow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> good one. I wonder if slow beef will make fun of this video. <laughs> Fail. Well, first we have to, if we find some meat, then we can really throw this against the wall, you hey, know? As long as, as long as he retrosprays it, then it's all good. Yeah. Well, my day was I ate. I had the most of the day off. <laughs> Only worked for like an hour or two and got overtime. Woohoo! Good for you. Yeah, I got a uh, day off tomorrow, and we're going to enjoy that. So that is ECW. Rough week in the restaurant business, best of Valentine's week. Ugh. J-Man knows what that's like. He's been in the business. Yep. Can't be any worse than when uh, that guy paid for that pizza when J-Man was that for all in pennies. That was a thing, uh, right? <laughs> oh, jeez. Check out the Horrible Top Experiences podcast. Shame is plug. Yep. Oh, I, I got a free pizza tonight. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Right, What'd yeah, you do? I ordered it from Domino's, and then when I got there, they were like, oh, it's not on the street anymore. I was like, is it free? They were like, yep. Okay. Nice. Oh yeah. That that's always be, a funny thing. That happened to me at Free seven. Large. Yeah, that happened to me at Seven Eleven. Like they, uh, something happened to where they gave me a whole pizza because they, uh, I think they didn't want to ruin or I forgot how it went down. And I got lucky. I was get part of a pizza. They said, "Well, I can give you whole this whole pizza pie here free. We gotta get rid of it." And it, uh, sure. our oven's not working right or something. And so yeah, cool, cool. Nice. They were going to give it to the bag lady, but they gave it to you. Does that lady have two big testicles? No, it flies around her head. No, I meant like the two testicles. yellow, the tam, tam, oh, ba I tam bags. I don't know. I was trying to take her purse, but she wouldn't let me. Oh, that's her testicles. She just Down got large. All right, so let's get out of this building. Jeez. Good job. That was a slow process. Watch out for the bullet. You jumped right on it. Right. I'm just trying but, to jump through it. Yeah, didn't you see the Matrix? You have to dodge the bullet. Run. Yeah, I'm you gotta just, make up. I can't run, so I gotta jump. Just like an Ocarina of Time, when you roll, you go faster. Yeah. Oh, don't you know the speedrun tactic? You have to you hold Z and then you walk backwards. That's that's the fastest way to maneuver in that game. Oh, okay. Start speedrunning. Right. Take up speedrunning. Speedrun Dirty Harry. Yeah. You'd be the first. Well, someone on World of Long Plays did uh, not speedrun. Never mind. Yeah, that's just a long play. I'm sure. Right I'm sure someone's. I'm sure someone has sped run this game already. I gotta check that out. I don't care if it's tool assisted. I still gotta see that. Yeah, I'm sure they did in like 13 minutes. <laughs> yeah. The World of Long Plays video was like 40 something minutes. Yeah, it's always something when it's like, damn, it's even about as long as part one of this video. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. Or part one of this video. Part one of this LP. No, this is part one of part one. Damn trains. Oh, now that now that train's going faster than this game. Yeah, this that well, that just that train just derailed my train of thought. I know I can't concentrate. Oh wait, am I wrong? There isn't a dirty Harry speed run. All right, be the first one to do it, Ronnie. Yeah, right. You do it. No, I don't speed run. I'll speed run away from it because I don't want to play this game again after this. I already did it like two, three times before I took it down YouTube years ago. And then this 2K LP. But you can be the master. You can be known for a Dirty Harry speedrun. Yeah, right. That'll give me a lot of views. Never know, man. Probably would, actually, but I don't... Look at the speedrunning, Kitty. It's not worth the torture. I'll set up a Patreon page. People donate $100, and I'll do it. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, God. By the way, check out my Patreon page that does not exist, so never mind. All right. <clears throat> All right, so... I think, I, yeah, at least I'm progressing finally in this maze of a freaking level here. Are you sure? First level, <laughs> yes, I am. I know for sure I'm a different part of the game now. I haven't been to yet. Yeah, see, there's a white bed now instead of that red bed. Yeah. Progress. Red bed, yeah. Red, red bed. bed redemption. Lady in red <laughs> bed. Red bed, red, 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 yeah. Red bed, like redemption, it. yeah. No, red bed, redemption. Oh, yeah. All right, let me... Well, I can't go in this room. Well, I guess I gotta blow it up. Let me see. Got a curl bars? Well, let me select it. So let's go in this room instead. Okay. Okay. Ha ha ha. Uh, stuck room. I remember this. A what room? The stuck room. You're fucked. <laughs> oh, wait a minute here. Yeah, I can't get out. What? 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 Oh, man. What? Is this some kind of sick joke? Really? So much for progress. Really? Yep. Ha ha ha. Was this the Joker room? Like... Seriously, what were the programmers thinking? They really thought, what a dick move. They knew there would be guys like you in the future that would use ECW mode. So they were like, yep. They would just teach them. Yeah. So I'd quick cut through that crap and just get to here. Whoa. Now we're really progressing here. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the water seriously, water. Though, seriously, though, that was a dick move by the programmers. Was that really necessary? Yes. Yes. Oh. <laughs> BS move. Seriously, I want to track down a programmer. Extra punishment have... for playing this game. Right? I mean, like, this game is torture enough. I never do that. Seriously, that is a dick move. I mean, I'm glad I never came across this game when I was a kid. There have been to... some controllers thrown against the wall. Alright, so... I think they were uh, with uh, therapists. Right. Alright, so more, yay, another sewer maze where you gotta flip switches and stuff. <laughs> yeah, I love navigating through the tomato maze. Right, it's bloody maze. Were you in hell? It, it, yeah, we are in hell playing Dirty Harry. Jeez. Dirty hell. Yeah. Dirty hair. Dirty helly. Yeah. It's like Tiger Helly, except dirty. Freaking remote control car, get out of here. It's the sewer music. How come video game bands don't do a uh, variation of soundtrack and dirty hair for you guys? I don't know. Because no one it, cause it knows, sucks. knows about it. <laughs> right. No. No, I just not all the people know about this one. They usually skim over this. There's a reason why. These sewers know, are worse than uh, Fester's Quest sewers. <laughs> oh, Fester's Quest sewers are sweet. Nah, dude, dude, when you got the, the turbo control and you're powered up on your gun, everything's smooth sailing. Yep. It sucks. Okay. It sucks. Oh, it jumped over two race cars. You could say fucking thing sucks? No. Yes. Get claimed. Wait, what? Copyright claimed. From, by who? By ABGN. No, I was doing Bill O'Reilly. No, that's uh, Bill O'Reilly. Yeah. Oh, right. Oh, well, he'll, he'll even we'll get claim copyrighted by Fox claim News. worse. So there's two pending. Yeah, he'll just sue you. Yeah, he'll be on. We'll be on his next show. In other news, there's two pinheads on YouTube for the ST2K channel. Take a look, guys. If you want to plagiarize somebody, think again. We'll be right back. And then he'll he'll be on the ST2K show. No, it's not like he created it. He just popularized it. Yeah. It's still his likeness, his image. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, well, no one likes Bill O'Reilly. <laughs> Wait a minute, I Bill O'Reilly likes Bill O'Reilly. Right. Whoa, wait a minute. Another, another dead body here. 
I don't think you can switch suits, suits with him. No, I don't think I want to. Yeah. That would suck. I'd say that's a little bit, I don't know, oh. it seems almost morbid. Okay, for so. For NES I, game. Look at that. So you eat a hot dog in front of him. Yeah, he's not dead. And he's he just, just moved. He moved for a second. Did he eat the hot dog with right. you or just flip you off? Hey, yeah, thinking. you shared. Yeah, you shared the hot dog. You lady in the tramp did. I guess. Yeah. Wait, well, dies awesome. again? Here, I have a hot dog. I saved your life. Yeah, he, he came alive for like three seconds and then died again. But he died happy. Yeah. <laughs> happy ending. Right, his last meal. The last meal. Yeah. Yeah, and you're wearing white like Jesus, so it all works out. Yeah. Pretty much. Hey, race cars everywhere. I keep saying race cars, toy cars, whatever. They're kind of the same thing. This game is racist. Fail. Fuck it. I mean, you're all white right now. Damn boss! Oh my god! Oh, and it, we bought two of them already. Where's the Duh. next boss at? Jeez! I like this, this game. This is the worst day of my life. <laughs> right? It's long. Thanks for this Whoa. game. Oh, there we go. Oh, Doctor oh, Evil. Uh, Doctor Wiley. Dr. Wiley. Here we go. No, Doctor Evil. Here we go. Skull sewer. Oh. Oh. Yeah, Doctor Evil, right? Okay, what are you doing? So apparently, the only way to beat this boss is to drown him or electrocute him. Do a little uh, uninvited uh, gameplay here. We make the water rise all the way up, and that's it. That's the stupidest thing ever. That's Probably. awesome. And then to escape, jump on the sailboat and shoot the beach ball out the way. That, that's like Barbie. It's pretty ingenious <laughs> yeah. design. And guess what? It's not over yet. Uh, it's not over yet, brother. But almost, right? Oh, almost the though. video's almost over. So. Yeah, thank God. <laughs> That's the good part. Fuck the level. Just get through the video. Right? Seriously. Think that, man, longest first level I've ever seen in a video game. I don't know. James Bond Jr. is pretty long. But actually, I would it would have been beaten by now for that game. That game's like 20, 30 minutes. 20 minute first level? This is, yeah, pretty uh, pretty bad. <laughs> I've never played that game. I've heard of James uh, Pond. Well, James Bond Jr. is great on NES. I love it. Uh, it's one of my favorites. I love the cartoon. I bet you do. Yeah. <laughs> Is that supposed to be some joke? No, I just wanted to say, I bet you do. Well, I bet you, um... Five dollars? I bet you five dollars that this video's about to end right here. Nope. Didn't end when you All said right. it, so it didn't work. <laughs> Alright, so that is the end, thank God, of Dirty Harry Part 1 for the NES. Jeez, at least the next parts are not going to be nearly as long. Because the levels aren't nearly as long, so we'll see you guys in part two. Until then, God bless. Take care. Peace. Oh, no, it didn't record. Yeah, right. Hey, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's not funny anymore. Welcome to part two of Let's Replay Dirty Harry. God help us. This is Ron Moore once again with We Got the J-Man. Yeah. Me, uh, me, Michael, Miss, Missy. Mista. Password Mista. here. It's Mista. Mi Misty for the password to level two. No, it is Misty. I don't know who Misty is. Uh, obviously the second gym leader from Pokemon. Maybe. Come it's on. the prostitute in the, uh, part one. Yeah, maybe, or the woman in part four. I don't know, but. Um, so now we're in level two. Not as long, thank God. The docks, the boondocks, or whatever. And we're yeah, fighting like, Popeyes. Yeah. Yeah, I like this too now. Popeyes, go, 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 go. Popeyes is a better video game than this. Yeah. So I guess uh, Dirty Harry can't swim. Right, just like Simon. Dude, he, he yeah, has to remain. Him, he has to remain dirty. Yeah, yeah. It makes him clean. Right, Mister Clean. Yeah, yeah. I can't, Mister. Well, Mister Clean's not in this level. So it's time to get down and dirty. Harry. Yeah. Oh, right between the legs. Nut shot. Right. Trying to conserve my bullets here. It's all about getting hit in the nuts. Yeah. It's like it's like it's like that show in the future of idiocracy. This Ow my balls. Yeah, this game would drive me nuts. Before we did this part, Jamie had to recuperate. Oh! Yeah, he had to go talk to Alice Cooper. Yeah, this game is poison. <laughs> wow, this seems like it's much harder than what you were having in the first level, even. It probably is, but at least not as long. At least yeah, it's not it's a like... fucking maze. Right? Good God. Jeez. No, that's amazing. <laughs> <Ew>. What? 
So why why are you why are you so funny? Why, calm down. All right. I think Ronnie's having uh, problems. <laughs> yeah. Oh, jump. Okay, fine. I got Don't. a problem solver right here, and his name is Revolver. Ocelot. Whoa. What the hell did you just do? I just blow up a bomb. What the heck happened? A bomb in the wall. I guess I'm trying to shoot this douchebag and uh, no, jump! jump 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 <laughs> jump oh so apparently awesome. that that was a barrel that i shot and then that's how you get rid of them uh, right there powder keg yeah oh, that makes sense right i just noticed dirty harry's not wearing the white suit anymore oh yeah hey man you got really better at this game all of a sudden yeah i did well he fell in the water so many times that it turned blue yeah <laughs> Man, it changed the color of the boardwalk. Yeah, yeah. Seriously, Ronnie, what happened? Where's this, where'd the skill come from, man? I know. It's almost as if I'm using someone else's footage or something. No, I don't believe you. I think I think you're taking my advice for speedrunning, and you're really gonna do it for this game. Yep. The skill's showing off, obviously. Right. Oh. Ah. What the hell was that? Uh, I don't know. What I just see you're just killing people. Yeah. This music, I guess, not as bad. No, it's it's nicer. The title screen music is probably the best. Yeah. Or the password theme, I guess, actually. Yeah. Or so, like, mean? if you were actually playing this part, this video would be like 20 minutes. Instead yeah. Of six. Right. You mean he is actually playing this? <laughs> oh, right. right sure. No, this is done by Ron Moore of World of All Play. Yeah, that's you. So you're playing yeah, this. Yeah, long play. You talk about a long play. That was part one. Oh, like a wrong play. Yeah. So you gotta watch out for that guy. And oh, you can't stay on the crate. You can stay on the ledges. But you, you know, this is you. like lethal weapon the game. Right. You mean? But there was a lethal weapon game on NES. Yeah. Right. right. Much better soundtrack. A much better game, I would say in general. Yeah. I mean, I you can at least get get through it from beginning to end and not have to go through a fucking maze. Right. Like comparing shit to shit. Yeah. It's not shit. It's, shit. It, it's, 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 shit. It's, it's not that shit. Lethal Weapon's not a bad game. Shit. It's repaired. It's not. And the music sucks. No way, not the music. Oh, yeah. yeah no, he, <laughs> he's trolling now. He's trolling. He's trolling. Yep. They see me trolling. They see hey. him trolling. And now they see him being dirty. I want to throw the controller. Oh, riding dirty Harry. You're gonna ride in dirty, Harry. You're gonna ride in dirty, Harry. Go ahead, make my Troll. day. Yeah. Troll track. Oh, I got a harpoon. Nice. You got some poon? Yeah. Harpoon tank. Oh. Nice jumping barrel. Yep. It's a bouncy barrel. It's a Donkey Kong all of a sudden. Lock, stock, and barrel. Yeah, right. All right. Smoke, stock, but yeah. Yeah. What you said. The candy cane stripes up there? Mmm, delicious. Mm. I wanna lick Whoa. it. Oh my god. What the heck is that? Jeez. Oh. It's long legged so Larry. If you eat hot dogs, like, you're invincible for a second. It's like <laughs> pissed off Mick Jagger. Oh. It looks like a, a giant Tito Jackson on steroids or something. I put him in the dick. Yeah, so right here, you, you do gotta kick him in the crotch. And then shoot the harpoon after that, but you gotta watch out for the barrels. I mean, Wait. the crazy. Uh, Crazy. I don't even see you like activating the harpoon. Like, are you shooting him? I'm trying to messing up right here. What? The... Too busy trying to avoid the crates. Arr. Come on, let's shoot him. I like how he has a little facial expression. Like, Ooh. oh, oh, you gonna survive after that? You probably survive, but you won't be standing up. What the fuck kind of fucking? Boss pattern is this, or way to the feet? Hits, jeez! Oh, five. Oh, six. Oh shit! This is about the stupidest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> right? All right, let's get the James Bond boat. Let's head <laughs> uh, I hope it explodes. Right? No, but instead it stops. Damn it! <laughs> and we'll see you guys in part three. Hey. Until then, God bless and take care. Oh, Peace. that was short. Good. Short and sour. Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, uh, no. The thing didn't record again. Oh, I'll put it in there. But it didn't record. Uh, for real no, for realsies. Right. Fuck it. No, I'm, I'm just kidding. Dang it.
Welcome to Let's Replay slash Let's Rediscuss Dirty Harry for the NES. This is Ron Moore along with the Wii Guy and Jeff. Hello. Go ahead, play my game. Right, and now nice. we're heading toward Alcatraz, the final level. Are you feeling lucky? Do ya? No, I'm not. Ronnie. J-Man wasn't feeling lucky, that's why he's not here doing during this commentary. I mean, not this uh, game anymore. Now, now, I'm not an expert, but I am a, actually, I'm a huge Dirty Harry fan. And, uh, I believe it's movie three, you actually go to Alcatraz, so... Me confused. Or, no, it is movie one. No, no, it isn't, no. It's... No, it's... It's three. It's three. Three, right? Yeah, it is three. Because, uh, uh, fat, fat guy dies. Yeah. The Enforcer, I think. And uh, yeah, his, see, his rookie partner takes a bullet for him to save his life. Oh, yeah, because in the original, he got that Latino guy, and then he gets shot, and then he quits the police force. And yeah. then in the third one, his fat partner dies, and then he gets that girl who takes the bullet for the mayor, not for him. Oh, I thought and the took, mayor. Are you sure? I thought I took a bullet for him. It might have been for her. No, she was trying to save the mayor, but she ended up getting hit. I think maybe she took a but she. I know she's trying to save the mayor from something. Well, the mayor's, not, the mayor's not in this game. No, yeah, I thought you were supposed to save that mayor. Well, okay, I'm sorry. The uh, the president of the uh, college from uh, Animal House. But... Yeah. Oh, so many old movie references. I can make that all day long. Now look at Harry here. He's taking on the whole the entire army. Also, for a middle-aged man, he looks pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> he was middle-aged even when he did Dirty Harry. I know. Yeah. He, and he's old. Yeah. yeah Clint Eastwood. Clint Clinton. If you remember, Jeff, you were in the original LP in 2009. Oh, was I? Yeah. And I bet my voice sounds just the same, like a 14-year-old girl on puberty. <laughs> and this right here, this is... Uh, look at the... I can't tell where I'm landing the platforming controls. Yeah, here. you get to that step, and then you see kind of like some green, and that, that's it. And you're dead. I can see the cliff now. When you die, I can see it. <laughs> oh, look at that. Damn. <laughs> what? <laughs> nice design, Mindscape. To where we can... uh distinguish where the actual platforms are they're supposed to land on instead we fall through the freaking cliff the, hey, in the if, background... you're gonna, if, if you're gonna complain you might as well play a good mindscape game that's uh they did battleship and that's really fun yeah yeah because it's battleship i mean not much to fuck that up oh. well, no i liked it because they did like fleet combat it was like you could fire missiles out of oh, your yeah. ship oh yeah they didn't mess it up basically no. yeah yeah it's hard to screw it up so i'm using link's grappling hook here i guess you know what? Why didn't Dirty Harry? This came out after Contra, right? This game. Yeah. I think it just did a Contra ripoff, and it would have been okay. You know right? what I mean? Or a uh, Gunsmoke thing, yeah. Dude, it's yeah. all about original con. It's all about original ideas. Yeah, but well, this, this original yeah. idea sucks. <laughs> oh man, you know what would be would be terrible? Uh, Michael Bay does Dirty Harry. Uh, how about the well, that, back yeah, that background change color quick? Yeah. Yeah. Must have screwed, screwed, screwed up the game. Right. Did, did you, is it later in the day? Did you put on your night clothes? Yeah, pretty much. It's later in the day. That's how long it's taken me to beat this game. The day to night <laughs> transitions are smoother than in Simon's Quest. Thomas Clint Eastwood went to go get his glass of warm milk before he went to bed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is screwed. Right. <laughs> this grappling hook, this game does not got me hooked. How do you know where to grapple? I can't even tell. You just you can grab any anywhere, man. <laughs> I imagine God, there were a lot of angry letters, even for the 80s when this came out. Right. Like mothers were like, I bought my kid this game, or some dad bought the game because he loves Dirty Harry, and it's like, what is this? Oh, you should have been in part one. They put oh, in the room where you get stuck, and you get to reset the game. I've seen that on somebody, maybe it was the old Let's Play I remember it from, but I remember seeing someone play that. It might have been you, but it was just like, why are, you, why are we still here for what, 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 what That... That probably got a lot of letters from angry, uh, angry mother sending to Mindscape saying, "What the? Uh, are you out of Mindscape?" Did you have to give the homeless guy some food or something or something? To... Yeah, in the sewer. Yeah. Yeah. It was... Man, Nintendo days. I'll never understand it. This game is just effed up. I grew up with the Genesis. It would have looked so much better on the Genesis. It'd have been super fast. Probably would have been. Then again, Action Picture Two was actually worse on the Genesis. So anyway. Yeah. Okay. There are some differences. Yeah. Right, but so. at least, at least Dirty Harry would have had like two. Also, how much life do you have? Well, you gotta put Star Trek to life. 
Oh, oh, well, of course, you know, because that, yeah. that's a game. Right. Thing in a game. So it'd be cool if, they, if this game was more of a Gunsmoke-esque type game and two players, you and Chico Gonzalez. Oh, yes. Also, I, I love the paratroopers. I feel like I'm playing Metal Slug, a really bad version of Metal Slug now. Yeah. A broken version. A very broken version. And that's why you should there, do a Let's Play on Metal Slug. Simple. Yeah. And down there, those are mines, so that's why I'm not going down there. Yeah, I thought those were mines. I just wasn't sure. I was like, uh, what, what, what? So, welcome to, this is The Rock for the NES, we play as Sean Connery. <laughs> what, do you have a water pistol? No, sir. <laughs> I, I, that, that's my only favorite Michael Bay movie. Is that's my only anyone's movie. favorite Michael Bay movie. Whoa. Is the, yeah. Okay, this guy does not have a water pistol for sure. <laughs> this is Colonel Matrix from Commando here. <laughs> it is Colonel, Colonel Matrix. Oh, I was thinking of Matrix from Commando, the movie. <laughs> <laughs> His name is Matrix. Yeah. I was and, just watching that a few yeah. days ago. And the thing is, um, he's on Alcatraz right now in this game, Dirty Harry, as well as in the actual movie Part 3, but he was also, Clint Eastwood was, was also in Escape from Alcatraz. Oh, that was a good movie. We should we should review, we should do that. I don't know. It's a good movie. <laughs> yeah. No, it'd be movie? copyright claim. Yeah. Yeah, where's why, the why fair not? use? Yeah, Everybody the else does it. W-T-F-U. Yeah, well, where, Where's the fair use? Hey, if we're talking about fair use, can we get ninety thousand dollars for a game show that right. we don't actually do? Yeah. <laughs> I made my I made my modern day joke there. So. so I feel like I'm playing Rambo now. Yes, again. A little bit, yes. Well, that's actually grenade. better than this game. It's true. You should try Rambo for the Master System. It's pretty good. I did. I did a long time no play of it a few months ago. Oh, okay. See, I, that's how much I keep up with you. That's how sad. Thanks. Uh, oh, sorry, I got a I got an item there. I forgot what it was. It might have been a rocket launcher. You have a rocket launcher? Yep. Are you putting it in your pants? Yeah. <laughs> oh, whoa! Oh, my God. Uh-oh. What, oh, what, what? This is going to be fun. <laughs> Attack helicopter. Yeah, oh, why not? There we go. Use the rocket launcher. No, I want to lay down. Yeah, right. So how do you do a no-hit run this game? I'm gonna keep... okay. <laughs> I think the guy who tried to do a no-hit run probably shot himself already. Yeah. It, just, it was not happening. Right. He wrote he wrote Dirty Harry in blood. Just kidding. Yeah. Well, here's the final boss, Kingpin. Jesus. You have the Kingpin. What? 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 It is Kingpin! What? Yeah. You have the Kingpin of the game, the Kingpin of the drugs here in this game, and the drug operation. The war on drugs. Yep. <laughs> oh, Ronnie, we got it's not a king anymore. It's a queen pin now. I know what you're thinking, punk. You're thinking that you fire six shots or only five. I will tell you the truth, I forgot myself and all this excitement. But being this is a 44, imagine the most powerful handgun in the world, and will blow your head clean off. You can ask yourself a question. Do I feel lucky? Do you, punk? Oh, he, nice. He felt lucky right there, but I bet you he wasn't. Dude, that's, like that's, a, that's some great voice sampling, I do got to say, that, for this game. That's, what, that's why they had to make the game like crap, because they took, like, I don't know, out of the three megs they probably had, they used two of it for the sound. Yeah, I'm yep. pretty sure. And as Dirty Harry killed Fat Man from Metal Gear Solid there, um, that is the end of... <laughs> Live long and grow fat. Yeah, that's the end of Dirty Harry for the NES, and it goes back to the tile screen, as you saw right there. And I did say the beginning of the game was the best part, but actually the ending was, because the he did the famous, uh, what do you feel lucky? What do you, punk? And so that was pretty cool. Too bad the rest of the game sucks. And controls are absolutely broken. Soundtrack is garbage. Gameplay, over, overall replay value is just terrible. I mean, it, it's just, uh, this game was not fun. And but it caught my attention in 2003 when I saw it in the glass case at Special Effects. Dirty Harry for the NES. I'm like what? Really, Dirty Harry for NES? But I had a feeling it was gonna suck because I never heard of it. And so, but I still bought it. Of course, whether it sucked or not, I could still say, "Hey, I have Dirty Harry for the NES." And I used to. I sold it years ago, along with my so, other games. So go place. down to your go down to your local uh, 
uh, uh, go down to your local Babbage's and pick it up. It'll be available. Yeah. Or, or go down to Funko Land. I think they sell a few copies somewhere. They're still around? No, no. I'm just naming off places that are dead now. <laughs> um, so I wonder how much Dirty Harry would be worth today. It's like 10 well, bucks. Well, I have... Let, let me let me look it up on the magical game price estimator. Okay, as Jeff does that, I'll give my final thoughts. Um, basically, uh, I gave it a... I forgot what I gave it years ago, um, but I feel like I gave it maybe a 3.5 or 4 out of 10. I mean, and the challenge is just... I like challenging games, but if it's broken challenge, no. And the 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 uh, trap room, or the joker room, whatever it's called, what a dick move by the programmer. Seriously, that was not necessary. This game is anal enough Did we really have to ha- have to deal with that. So, Amen. this game sucks. We guy? That's me. No, really. I thought it was J-Man. <laughs> I was going on uh, since y'all sound alike, apparently. Oh yeah, that's right. According to J Man, <laughs> but um, yeah, I forget if I forget was I in the let's discuss for the original Dirty Harry? I don't remember. I, I, uh, either way, I'm pretty sure I agreed like with the low score. But I guess re looking at it now, and I guess the whole game, yeah, again, um, I don't know. Yeah, it's it's a pretty bad game. It's definitely if that first level was like cut in half, and the, and the game was short until like maybe twenty minutes, so it's like you know. A game that doesn't take too long to finish. Um, it probably would have fared just a little bit better. Um, yeah, graphics are definitely hit and miss. I think the like sort of, sort of like raw and sort of like gritty design of some of the places fit the tone of like Dirty Harry. It's like, oh, we're in this rundown, like you know, in the streets. And uh, Alcatraz looked a little cool and stuff, but still, like that one area where you would jump with the hook is. Uh, I don't know what that choice design was, but um, of course for me, sound is the best part. Um. Even for Mindscape standards, yeah, it probably is, isn't is the best, but still some good tunes, at least. A few of the tracks are pretty good, I'd say. Um, and definitely that voice sampling, even for how bad this game is, it could be forgiven for some because of, they included that famous line, which, I mean, for like a lot of like games based around movies, like sometimes they just completely abandon certain source material. And that right there, I think, is at least a great tribute or inclusion to the game, but overall, still mediocre. I'd probably say it's like a four out of ten. Yeah, and the the track in level three was actually not bad, um, but yeah, it's just uh, it. There's everything else about it. Pretty much, that probably the only track I actually cared about. Um, and so at least the track in level three was not that bad. And uh, too bad Scorpio wasn't the villain. In this game. <laughs> that would be pretty cool. <laughs> Oh man, a creepy. Oh, I don't know. Scorpio, he killed like, you know, anybody who was different, gay people, African Americans, Asia. It, it that would have been pretty. That would have been pretty interesting. It would have been a. It'd have been crazy. Yeah. All right. Anyway, I I found out. Now, did you have it in the box or just the cartridge? Just the cartridge. It averages six ninety five. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, in the I was box, curious seven, because. Oh, games have gone up today, retro games. Oh, yeah. When, when did you buy it? 2003, you said? Yeah. This only has till 2008. In in 2008, it was like $1.47. <laughs> yeah. But, like, in the box, it's seventeen fifty, and brand new, it goes for forty nine fifty. Wow. But, um, um, yeah. Uh-huh. I was wondering if it actually uh, was maybe worth a little something because it's old. Retro games are going up higher these days, and it's Clint Eastwood in the game. The, the problem is, it's not a sought-after game. It, it'll go up, but this is going to take years before it becomes worth anything serious. Like, I have tons of games in my shop. If they never sell, then one day they're going to be a gold mine. But it could be a decade from now. That's the problem. But sometimes the game market jumps up. Like, some of my rare games jumped up 100% in, like, less than two months. And you just never know. It's a crazy market. Yeah. It's, just, it, it's like betting on gold. Well, with that video takes- games... It's always going to go up, but just depends on how fast. Sorry. Maybe the sequel to Crazy Taxi, Crazy Market. <laughs> crazy, crazy video game market. Yes, you, you play a you play an eBay buyer. Or, or Crazy Ivan for PS One. No. Uh... Oh, Crazy Ivan! Woo, Crazy Ivan! All right. But um, I have to say about this game, I give it a one out of five. The only reason it gets a one out of five because it brings the good old Dirty Harry line. I mean. 
Right. Kind of, kind of wish it was. Um, oh, I can't think of the black guy's name. I used to know his name. Anyway, he's a he's a pretty he's a pretty popular actor in the seventies. I just say I got to know. And if it would oh, have yeah. been him, that would have been really cool. Yeah. Um, hang on, I wish I could remember his name. He was Shaft. Okay. Shaft. Yeah. 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 Anyway, sorry, but yeah, the gameplay is garbage, and whoever bought this game for their kids or whoever bought it for themselves is, I'm sorry, if you guys should get a like a fifty dollar or a forty dollar, you know, gift certificate to something, Nintendo Land or something. I don't know. Yeah. I mean. Or or. Uh huh. I was gonna say the game is so confusing. The first level is the longest, and the game the game only has three levels, which normally I would say that's stupid, but in this case, that's a blessing. Um, because uh, the, the game is just terrible. You want it to end, and like after level three, all right, cool, I'm done. And uh, oh. but the first level is the longest, and oh, it's, yeah. it's just ridiculous. I just remember the actor's name, Fred Williamson. Oh, okay. To me. Yeah. But yeah, I I totally agree with you. Like I don't know if Mindscape is still around. People they'll leave a comment if they're so. still around because and if they have no, a number, I think they leave they it. Phased out. Uh, well, if if they've turned into something else or they voted, leave us a number for that, and I want to call them and I'll tell you what how I'll put it in the comments if I can find out anything, because yeah. that I want to know. Yeah. I want to yeah. I want to ask them why. I just want to Dirty Harry why. <laughs> yeah, and why'd you make that trap room? That's a douchebag thing to do. Exactly. And, like there's one developer still left from the old companies. Like I don't know. I was high, man. It was the '80s. We were yeah. all on cocaine. Yeah. And one more thing I want to mention: the passwords. Uh, Clyde is infinite lives. Misty is to get to level two. Bird is to get to level three. And I looked on Game Facts, and there's a secret password uh, called Gunny. I put it in, but it didn't do anything. And I go, "What the heck?" And so I went back and did some research. And apparently, it was supposed to do something, but I think either they forgot to program it in there or they scrapped it. So, and there's also an unused soundtrack in there. I, it might have been for a game over um, uh, screen or something, but it was not and used I, in the game. I'm going to have to find a copy of this and open it up and see how big the main board is, because it's got to be a decent sized board if it's hiding all this little, you know, an extra soundtrack would take a good chunk of a board up back then. Yeah. Or at least, a, a, you know, a little bit of extra ram, a ROM. Right. Man, this game. Yeah. Seriously, Mindscape. I don't care if you're you, they gotta be bought up by someone. I've gotta, I've gotta find this out because it's just. They were out of their mindscape when they made this game. <laughs> oh, Ron! So I don't want to escape, make... re, uh, <laughs> escape from playing this game. Jeez, video games supposed to help escape reality, but then you're after that, you're like, no, I want to go back to reality. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go back to my boring job. I don't care anymore. Just take me back. Right. All oh, right. My so goodness. that is it. We're out of here for the replay of Dirty Harry for NES. For those of you who still don't know. This is part of my commitment to finish all my LPs that I concluded concluded over the years, but never finished. So this is the first out of um, some of uh, the LPs I want to finish on both of my channels. And so um, there you go. In the case of any confusion, on my um, Raw More channel, I never finished Metroid, but I did on the S2K channel, so I would not be redoing that. So you can watch the finished LP on this channel. And so... Um, We'll have to find out what is going to be next that I never finished on the S2K. And so with that said, I am out of here. I'm Ron Moore. I'm Jeffrey. And the wee guy. It's me. All right. God bless and take care. Bye-bye. Do I feel lucky that this recorded? Yeah, it did. <laughs> I got to know.